All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first Getting Over It tournament. Uh, doing a bit of a duo sing here. Welcome one, welcome all. Uh, I'm your host, Rhetoric, and joining me is Aurora. Say hi, Aurora. Uh, hi, I'm here. <laughs> How are you all doing today? Um, let's take a second here and uh, look at the bracket for what's up to come today. So, uh, it'll be a pretty exciting one for sure. Our first match of the day here is uh, the Online Lime versus AS13B, uh, the Robotic Lime. Oh, sorry, the Online Lime and AS13B. Uh, the Robotic Limes, obviously AS13B, known well in the community for making the tool assisted speedrun for the game. And uh, they're going against Podium and 20 Dano 3, the uh, Blood Bros. Podium being our uh, resident content creator. So, got a few very popular names in this first matchup, and I think it'll be a very close one. What do you think? Uh, yeah, all these players here are, are really good. I'm pretty sure all of them, except for Lime, are sub 2. Codium's sub 130, so, really high level getting over it here. In that's this match. big names too so uh and one of them's gonna have to go so there's a lot going on right now in the first round yeah that's true big stakes and um you know it's gonna be a real rough run i think because these teams you know their times are very competitive it's hard to say which one will win at this current time i think yeah, uh, anything could happen. We, we've we never done this before. Oh. Closest thing was about two years ago with the charity event. Someone That's... could fall off orange and, uh, you know, it could be totally over for them. That's true. I mean, the nerves are surely going to be really high in the uh, tournament VC below us. Got about 30 people there. I'm sure everyone's a bit <laughs> anxious to be playing, especially uh, Codium and the Online Lines team because... I mean, in the first up, you know, you got to set the bar for uh, not falling off the orange or falling through the snake. So uh, I think it'll be a good one for sure. Uh, we're coming up on our first match. So I think we'll uh, just about drag Codium and uh, the Online Lines team into the cool, see how they're doing a bit before the match. Yeah, sounds good. And then good. We'll, uh, we'll count them down. Sure, I'll start dragging them in. Great. Hi guys. Hello. Good Welcome. to see you. Hey. Good to see you. Hey. Yo, yo. <laughs> Are we oh. live yet or what? Yep, we're live. You're uh Yeah. Everyone's watching. <laughs> yeah, you're oh playing God, in like two minutes. minutes. Less than one minute. Oh, yes, man. I, I, I... <laughs> what? Yeah, very spooky <laughs> stuff, guys. So how are you feeling before the tournament? I think I'm gonna have to go get my diaper. <laughs> you know what? I, I can honestly respect that man. Guys, one minute, I wouldn't be back. Wait, we that. haven't got one minute left. <laughs> no, are you gonna start at uh, o'clock? Uh, I mean, if you wanna take a minute, we're uh, more than happy to wait for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright. Pretty sure you guys can do three snakes in less than 15 minutes, so... Yeah, we got you. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. But yeah, we got a Codium down in the bottom, tweaking around the settings there. The production value, I know, Tycho. Crazy stuff coming out for uh, Season 1 of the Getting Over It tournament. We're hoping Season 2 will uh, definitely be receiving the same sort of hype around it, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Hello! <laughs> Got Codium waving to the audience there. But yeah, man, I'm pretty excited to see how this first one turns out, because I think it will set the precedent for uh, how the rest of the matches are going to turn out, man. Yeah, uh, a lot's on you guys. Uh, no yeah, pressure, yeah, no, by the way. no, no pressure, pressure, but you're kind of set. Guys. You're kind of setting the scene <laughs> for everyone else in this tournament. Yeah, just a bit. 
Uh, yes, so just to clarify for the chat, it's the team on the left versing the team on the right. Uh, we got the robotic lime, the online lime on top, air 13 b on bottom. And uh, for the right, we got the Blood Bros 20 Nano 3 on top and Codium on the bottom. And a uh, quick thank you to VBD and Zabba VBD. for their subscriptions. Appreciate it, you guys. Uh, if you'd like to contribute to the prize pot, maybe make this a bit more spicy, maybe see a few more uh, orange fools there. You'll um, exclamation contribute. Uh, any money donated this stream that isn't through uh, subs or bits will be um, adding to the prize pool. Currently we're at $175, which, you know, isn't too bad. Okay, okay, so... Uh, is everyone in the cool ready? Can we count you guys down? So okay, stressful. so just just to make sure for you guys, because you'll uh, probably get the Discord ping sound, we'll uh, we'll drag you right out of the call after um, counting you down, so you're not too disturbed by us. Is my stream looking good? Uh, all of your streams are looking fine to me. Yeah. Everything looks great. Right. All right, guys. So we'll count you down now. All right, get ready. On go. Three. Two, okay. one, go! Go! And that is the, the first match of getting over a tournament underway. Alright. All the competitors are in their VCs and the round has started. Yeah, got a, a bit of stream delay here, so you'll have to bear with us. But it looks like everyone's making a strong start to the tournament. Dan falling in the pit right after the tutorial. Uh, you really hate to see that happen, for sure. Uh, everyone is so nervous. Uh, Lime did it too, didn't he? Yeah, it looked like it. I think the only one making a uh, super strong start here is Codium. Uh, sort of miles ahead of the tournament. I mean, yeah, he is the best player here by, like, what, 10 seconds? Uh, yeah, he's definitely got 10 seconds, and, you know, we've seen him practicing. He's been live every day, just sort of grinding out the snakes, grinding out the wins, making sure he's ready for this tournament. So, like, if anyone's to be participating at maximum strength, it will definitely be Codium here. Oh, yeah, AS13B isn't too far behind him as Codium here is struggling at Anvil. AS13B makes his way to hat jump and does it first try, only a few seconds behind, uh, which is very surprising given he's several seconds behind in PB. Codium gets the first snake. Yeah, first snake for Codium. And the AS13B AS is AS definitely quick soon. to follow, yep. Ooh. So uh, it'll be a close one for sure. And uh, looks like the online Lime and Dan are pretty much just about at the same place here, so the teams are quite even. Just as we were saying uh, while looking at the bracket, it's going to be hard to tell who's winning this one. Yeah, they're just about neck and neck here, although it looks like uh, Dan and Cody are far ahead as Lime is at Chimney and... Uh, no, I'm sorry, as 13 b is at Chimney and Lime is at Snowballs, both... Uh, Dan and Cody have rode the snake. Cody is back at uh, hat jump, or just about. So, yeah, I uh, didn't quite like catch much better. Yeah, I didn't quite catch what happened, but it looks like a, a bit of a choke from his team B around chimney, and uh, he's struggling with orange falling quite a bit. And oh, ooh, we uh, nearly orange. saw our first orange fall there. That would have been a bit of a traumatic event, I'm sure, for the Tasman himself. <laughs> Yeah, that was super close. And uh, Codium, uh, looks like he's just got the uh, second snake, so uh, it's looking like the Blood Bros are uh, winning this one so far, but you never know what can happen. A slip at any second from the participa uh, participants can absolutely decimate here. Yeah, if any of them miss the snake, it's pretty much over for them. Of course, they should still play, but... Oh, yeah, I mean, I doubt any of the, uh, oh, uh, Dan struggling with the orange there as well. A lot of, uh, Munka moments for the, uh, Blood Bros and the Robotic Lions here. Uh, but he makes no it. Off, though, so. Yeah, yeah, no one's fallen off, making, uh, strong headway for sure. Dan's over orange and, uh, away. 
no longer got to worry about being the first slip of the tournament, so I'm sure he's quite happy about that one. <laughs> you can really see how nervous everyone here is. Uh, Dan playing uh, before Hat Jump, he was really just kind of churning through it. Uh, you can see the nerves that are uh, happening right now. Oh, for sure, and uh, I don't know if you caught that, but that's uh, the second snake for 13B there. The third and snake Cody for Codium on his final snake. lap, and the second snake for uh, Dan here. So it looks like Codium is going to be our first one to finish. Oh yeah, no surprises here. No, but uh, I honestly thought it would be a lot closer than it is, but we'll uh, we'll have to see what the Blood Bros have got to uh, show us. You know, it looks like they're out for blood in this tournament today. Oh yeah, absolutely. I can't wait to see how they do in round two. I mean, they're really strong right now. Uh... Yeah, they're uh, they're definitely playing up the competition. I'd definitely be afraid to play them if it were me. Codium has a pretty good orange, has a little hang up, but gets over it. Oh, yeah. Fall off and Absolutely. He's, doing, he's on fire. Stellar gameplay from Codium, really. I mean, honestly, I thought everyone would be. Absolutely. Would be, you know, having a bit of a hard time here. Oh, <laughs> looks like we're getting oh, a buffering. A bit of a buffering pop up there, but we should be okay, you know. Everyone, he's splicing, get him out of the tournament, right? <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> Teleporting right ahead of the competition. Podium on ice? Absolutely. This is what happens when you get the task creator in your tournament. Yeah, you true, know? just absolutely teleporting in front of everyone. But, that, you know, no matter what he does, it doesn't look like he'll catch up to Podium. Is on power right now, in space, Ooh, looking like the first finish. Yikes, launch. But it's Cody, he'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. He'll, uh, definitely Take struggling- 30, 30 seconds, please, yeah. True, but it doesn't even look like that. Looking like maybe 15, 16 seconds space. Not the best, but definitely strong. 5 minutes 20, which is an amazing time for Three Snakes. Ooh. Podium coming out strong in the first match here. We've got Dan and 13B on their third lap. Two online lines struggling a little bit. Still on his, uh, second lap here. Yeah, but, he's on his way to the third snake, though. He's not too far behind. He can really play well and absolutely catch up to Dan if he tries. Oh, for sure. And uh, looks like we got a bit of streamception here on Codium's channel. Oh, God. The stream so on stream on stream on stream on stream action. You guys miss Inception? Well, uh, you know, his part two coming at you live. AS13B gets to Ice Town. He's about to finish the game here. Only a little bit behind Codium. It's absolutely true. The online line finally getting his uh, final snake. Dan falls off orange. Oh god, I'm not quite He's struggling at slide skip. I think you're a bit ahead of me. Uh, I don't know if you're looking at my yeah, display but... here, but uh, I have not seen uh... that actually. Oh, AS13B finishes 6 minutes 27. Yeah, I. My Codium stream is behind yours. I have uh, uh, just a multi Twitch open because yours is like a little bit right. Yeah, yeah, you'll have to uh, look at my display here so you're not spoiling it for everybody. Because uh, we <laughs> haven't quite seen the Orange Fool here yet on stream. We're just seeing AS13B finishing yeah. up here, yeah. Oh, wow. I'm just in the future, what can I say? Yeah, we've got a uh, time traveler here, casting the tournament. Bit sad, but that's AS13B, strong time, 6 minutes, 20 seconds. You know, definitely nothing to be snarking about. That's a pretty strong time, but uh, I feel like no matter what the result here, it'll be the Blood Bros pulling ahead of the rest of the tournament. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they've just about won. Their yeah, round, they, they've... Oh. Just about sealed off, unless something really horrible happens to Dan here. They'll be uh, moving on to round two. Yeah. Really, not much room for a mess up here. I mean, the worst he can get is a bad ending, but even then, he could probably still escape it before. Uh... Yeah, we got everyone in. Lime catches on. Got everyone in the chat. Uh, weird championing you for spoiling the stream for him. So you'll have oh to uh, do with the low bitrate in Discord, I suppose. 
Not the best, but it will do. Dan, finishing 8 minutes 9 seconds. Definitely a strong uh, time coming from Dan, and I really feel like there's nothing the online line can do. It is set and sealed. It's over. Podium and yeah. Dan, the Blood Bros, moving on to uh, round two here. So uh, congratulations, first win of the tournament. I know, so um, I'll just wait for the online line to finish here, and then we'll get him back in the cool. Announce the winner for him. Because I know a few of them might not be watching the stream, and uh, we'll see how they're feeling after that pretty big win. Yeah, let me just update the bracket real quick. And yeah, that's uh, Lime finishing in there about 9 minutes, 6, 7 seconds it should be, if uh, this last rock isn't too bad here. Oh, but it is. He's struggling oh, a bit here. Bad. Struggling a bit on space, but he finishes 9 minutes, 12 seconds. 13, actually, just barely. Um, so let's get back in the pool, announce the winner, and uh, see how they're feeling. Yeah, sure. Let me drag him back. All right. Hello, guys. So the winners of that match are the Blood Bros, Codium and Dan. Congratulations. You guys moving on to round two. But the Robotic Limes yeah. definitely put up a really good fight. Yeah, well done, guys. Well done. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Definitely. You did, you did, you did really well. So how are you guys feeling after that? You set the precedent for the rest of the tournament here. A little bit of a shaky hand, but... uh. I had a uh, pretty on-target time from when I came through laps, so I'm pretty happy. Yeah, pretty impressive time coming from you especially. 5 minutes 20, well ahead of uh, everyone else by a solid minute. Quite surprised to see some gameplay like that coming from you. Appreciate you guys stopping by here. Um, let's, let's get the next team in and see how they're doing. Let's, um... Go to the bracket reel here, uh, real quick here. Our next match will be Hedda Bamid and Bear, Team Copernicus, facing against Stillo and Rallus, who have not yet come up with a team name. So uh, they're just Stillo and Rallus. But I mean, this is the match to watch, ladies and gentlemen. Hedda Bamid and Bear, very, very competitive team, but Stillo and Rallus, you know, that's second in the world. Uh, you know, the Serbian king, really. I honestly, I have no clue how this will go, just like the last match, it will be way too close to decide. I've been seeing a lot, seeing a lot of bracket predictions saying that the head of Barmid will win, but I don't know, man. We uh, we all know that he's been playing a lot recently, a good sort of four, five hours every single day to the point where it's become a meme for the Getting Over It community, just how much he plays. So uh, we'll have to see if all that practice will uh, be coming into play here. Yeah, still though, wow, 113, almost 112. Yeah, almost. Everything from him is going to be amazing. Oh, He's yeah. first to finish by several minutes, easily. Should be miles ahead of the competition. We'll just have to see how his teammate Relis can hold up. Quite a newcomer to the Getting Over It scene. Haven't seen him uh, too much or spoken to him, really, so I'm not quite sure how that will turn out. Uh, will definitely yeah, be an no exciting match. So, uh, let's... Uh, Anything can come from Relis. Oh, for sure, absolutely. Let's get them in the Discord, see how they're feeling before the match. If uh, they're not in already. Goodbye, uh, round one participants. Thank you for... Uh, yeah, see ya. See ya. I hope they do right there the other team. Let me uh, pull up my Discord real quick so I can move it over to my second monitor so I can actually see the tournament and uh, who's in the VC or not. Oh god, I can't scroll up while dragging people. There's too many people in this VC. <laughs> oh no. Oh god, we've got uh, technical errors, but not too bad. Do not worry. Hello. Right, I got him then. Hello. Hello, yes, yes. Round one, match two. Yep. It's me. Uh, we're gonna have to ask Rollis to undeafen there, because he won't be able to hear the start yeah. of the uh, tournament here. Might miss it and uh, throw completely for you guys. Yeah, he needs to be able to hear the 3 2 1. So, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna message him. Yeah, everyone just sort of spam undeafen in his DMs. Spam Rollis. Spam Rollis. But, uh, just what the people. The what is he doing? 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's how he's dating viewers. Five. five. Yeah, yeah. It's the <laughs> genius play. Egging on five, the chat five, here. Out IQing queuing us all. Oh, I've uh, I've got my um, tournament overlay here. Sorry for the people in chat. I completely forgot to take it away while looking at the bracket. But uh, yeah, how are you guys feeling about this? Terrible. Terrible? I'm, I'm, go I'm gonna destroy these noobs. Oh, we got a lot of confidence coming in from Huge Stillo. Confidence here. But that's uh, yeah, that's oh my God. definitely on par for Stillo here. Oh hey, Relis is un undeafened. You can hear the countdown now. All right, yeah. perfect. Yep, yep. It's like yep. getting hit by a truck. Should we restart on the countdown? Uh, you can uh, either restart or new game. New game, yeah. All right. Either way. Uh, yeah. Looks like all of you are up and fine. Yeah. Chat's it's giving okay, you a. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Chat giving you a plaque here, Relis, for a uh, light theme Discord. Bit of a, a few weird champs I'm seeing, but uh, let's get this going. I'll uh, count you guys down on go, hit new game or control R. Yes, Three, two, one, go! And uh, a bit of stream yes. delay here. Yes. Should be. Alright, oh, I should drag people. Yeah, I Whoops. forgot. Yeah, a bit of. Bit of delay here for our uh, tournament participants, but it uh, looks like everyone's just about making the same start here, except Relis, whose stream is uh, largely behind everyone else's, but Stillo, you know, making swift progress, as we expect from him. Oh, Stillo is destroying, although, uh, that Obama isn't too far behind, at oh. least if the stream delay isn't too No, bad. no, no, that's that true. Yeah, yeah. Mohammed is a really good player, don't underestimate him. He's only uh, 10 seconds behind Stillo. Yeah, that's for huge. sure. Well, Stillo may be second. The head of Mohammed has been grinding out like crazy recently, so definitely a competitive tournament for the both of them yeah. today. Recently got a 123, almost sub 120. Which I know, and wow. that was with a, uh, what, 14 second ice, right? Something like that. He had a really bad choke, so... Yeah, it's very clear that he's an amazing player. I know. But uh, Stillo making a bit of headway here. Looks like he's already gotten the first snake, but, you know, this is what we expect from Stillo going into the tournament. So some very stellar gameplay, but the head of Barmid, you know, coming in clutch as well. First snake for his team. Looking like Bear at the top left here is uh, at hat. Uh, could be a bit ahead of Relis, but he's got a bit of stream delay, so we really won't be able to tell how Relis is uh, doing in comparison to Team Copernicus here uh, until his match is done, really. Yeah, it looks like Obama and Bear have a huge lead over Stillo and Relis. Stillo falls off of Orange. Oh, this you hate. Really bad for them. You hate to see it, man, falling off the Orange. We knew it was happening, but I didn't think it would come so soon, and especially from Stillo. Oh, the nerves. I know. Um... As good as he is, it's probably getting to him, and Stillo and Relis might be really behind it might already be over but let's see what stillo has they're struggling a little bit with uh chimney no 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 i'm sure i'm sure stillo's uh got it here a uh, bit of like a 10 20 second delay on relis's stream so he's probably already ridden the snake uh so he should be uh just behind bear so if stillo can make up for that time it should be a very close match here i reckon yeah this is true and uh, Stillo is just so good. If he makes a mistake, it's only a few seconds. Yeah, really that's uh, it. Relis's first snake, I believe, lining up with the head of its second snake here. We got Bear on the orange. Look, he's making very swift progress through it. Uh, looking like no chokes coming from Team Copernicus today. Just some very smooth, very smart goy gameplay. Implement the safer strats, but you know, this is sort of what you expect when we're uh, playing in this tournament setting. Stella has a little bit of a moment on Orange Hell. Uh, folds a bit at the table, doesn't want to fall off, takes his time. For sure, and uh, let's take us in here to interrupt our casting to thank uh, Codium for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it, man.
and uh, stream buffering here. And every single stream buffering. That yeah. Also every on. every single. This is amazing stuff. You gotta love it. Everyone's hacking today. You love to see it. You you Twitch really do. DDoS. Twitch is DDoS specifically for the tournament. Some crazy stuff. Teleporting left, right, and center. Some uh, really quality insane. stuff, but it looks like Stiller's on his third lap, Bear's on his uh, second here, come tutorial. Well, uh, you know, so really, I mean, this is just, this is crazy. You have no idea how it's gonna go. Yeah, Aurelis here has ridden the snake twice, Bear has also ridden it twice, so everyone's just, yeah, it's really close. Yeah, I mean, you know, we said this would be a close match, but I honestly didn't think it would be this close. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, this is some surprising stuff. Uh, looking like Stillo and Bear let neck and neck with Stillo just about lapping Bear here. Uh, Everyone you know. was pretty much at the same spot. Everyone was at furniture or, furniture or slide skip for a bit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking like everyone just about on the same pace here. Oh, network error oh, from Obama's Obama stream. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, F5 the page here. Oh, Obama's probably just about at ice right now, maybe even at tower. Uh, you know, you really gotta love Virgin Media during these Corona times. Absolute impeccable oh, absolutely. stream quality here, you know, from the uh, 10 second buffers to the streams just completely cutting out. You know, these black screens are really going at it here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. It's some insane competition coming out from Team Copernicus and Stilo, he just teleported to the end! Don't even know what's happening! 4 minutes 56, but it doesn't matter. You know, that is some really impressive stuff. The best time I think that we will see today here. And uh, streams are just coming back live here. With the... Uh, I mean, this is just... This is you just... It, this is, you love to see this internet. Incredible stuff. Yeah, and you gotta remember here, Stello did also fall from orange, uh, so... Oh, and it looks like Relis is also falling from orange. Stello and Relis both making the orange blonde that you hate to see it. Uh, we'll really have to see if he can pull it up in his late game here. But yeah, this... is on his final lap though, isn't he? Yeah, with the streams buffering left, right, and center, you can never quite tell. We've got Relis' yeah. stream buffering, yet still going somehow. Bear yeah, I uh, are at orange. Obama falls off orange. This is a huge blunder. Three out of four players have fallen off orange. I know. Will the we see it? Really getting to everyone here. Will we see Bear uh, do it as well here? I'm not quite sure. You know, he might fall from snake, get up orange, and then fall down. <laughs> he definitely could. You know, a surprising he could absolutely destroy his chance of winning. Uh, yeah, next stream we'll have to, uh, switch down to 720p for sure. Uh, there won't be more buffering, I can promise you guys that. Well, I can't. But, there should be less buffering, at least, hopefully. And, uh, you know, actually a surprising turnaround from here. Looks like, uh, Bear is actually ahead of the head of Barmid, which is something that we didn't expect coming out of today, gentlemen. I think my internet's messing up, too. My streams are buffering. Oh dear, I think Not Twitch is it. I think Twitch is just getting DDoSed. This is you know, they heard the tournament was happening, they're like, nah 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 nah. We can't have any no, of that. Shut it down. Shut it down, get rid of it. Shut it all down. No fun here. Absolute no fun. Uh, zero fun allowed. Get rid of it. No, you know, no getting over it. And I think the uh, exclamation fun command in my chat will uh, prove to everyone no fun here is allowed today. Uh, but it oh looks God, like vomit about to fall from space? Oh yeah, I didn't even notice. That uh, Bear Obama, he fell Obama. from space all the way down to oh ice. My. Oh my god, and he fell oh from bucket. This is an incredible coming from Team Copernicus here. This is not what we expected from uh, the head of Obama here today. That's for certain. You know, Bear coming ahead of him, that is just, you know, out of everything.
Could have tragic, predicted today. Yeah. That is not something we uh, expected. Bear being a solid, uh, what, 20, Tom, 30 seconds slower than Obama. Oh, God, Obama is just having a really hard Obama. time. You know, you can really feel it, man. I do feel for Obama. He just, he keeps, he keeps having a rough time, you know. Time after time, he's back down again. And it's again! An absolute trade back for Obama to hit. You know, it's looking oh like. God. I know, it's looking like Remus will be able to catch up on his uh, his last lap here to Obama, which is something we just never never thought could happen. Obama oh looking like God. he's just given up completely. <laughs> he's, uh, he's had it there for a moment, but it looks like he's needed to regain his. Uh, God, I can't even finish my sentence, Obama. What are you doing, man? Oh, he's having a round up. He's down too. again. Ladies and gentlemen, he's we have an eye by power here. He has disconnected from the VC. Match two, I buy power playing against Stillo and Rallis. Oh, he just has a rough man. You can feel for him. You really can. This is an upset. Everyone expected the head Obama. And, uh, Bear to be pulling ahead of Stillo here, but, uh, no, looks like even Rambo's gonna be going ahead of Abamid here, but Abamid finally oh making God. it into space, you know, this is what some crazy is stuff. We definitely said this move would be unpredictable, but to this extent, and Abamid, he's just, he's done. Turn off the screen, it's man, I've had it. He's offline, he's had he's enough, offline. he knows he's just... Oh, uh, you really, you really have to feel for Obama here. Everything on the line, and uh, he just, he couldn't bring it together. So we won't even get to see the finish time here. But it looks like still up and Rallis coming in yeah. clutch, winning the match. They'll be moving over to round two for sure. But you really have to feel for him. Everything on the line. Rallis coming in with a pretty, you know, pretty commendable nine minute thirty four. Doesn't matter though. Cause they're just straight on to the next match. So uh, let's oh, get man, back in really the. Gotta feel for Obama, oh, you really Obama. do. Let's get back in the VCC. How they're feeling? Congratulations to uh, Stillo and Relis. You're moving on to round two. Bear, I feel for you, man. Your teammate dipped out of the tournament. I kept telling him, don't rush, don't rush. You know, just go, go beginner stress. You know, that kind of thing. Just kept trying to go fast and just kept falling. You really have to feel for him, though. Those repeated tower. Uh, so, what happened? Obama just had a massive choke at the end there, Stillo, uh, and he choked so hard he just gave up and ended his stream. So it's you and Rallis moving on to round two here. Appreciate you guys uh, stopping by today. And uh, for anticipating Team Copernicus and Stillo and Rallis, we'll see you back here in about an hour. I didn't see it. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm sorry. Yeah, you really got a feel Poor for you. Muhammad. So, uh, let's take a second here to go back to the bracket real quick. Because, uh, it'll be a good one for sure. Oh, man, Codium and Dan versus Stillo and Relis. This is going to be insane. This will this will be a very exciting match, that's for sure. <laughs> Did you see what Stella had up there for a second? No, I didn't. Oh, man. Oh, he's just bullying Obama. Oh. <laughs> but you know, it's understandable, Stilly bringing that uh, cocky demeanor. But this is what you expect coming out from Stillo, you know? He's a very confident guy. He's third in the world, you know? It's expected. Um, third and you know, in the world. Third, sorry, no, second in the world. I'm third in the, in the world. Shit. But yeah, this Stillo. You know, he came in clutch, coming in with a sub five, three snake time. <laughs> Sorry, very impressive stuff. Our next match here is Eclipse Flames and Crypto BG playing against Alvari and Real CCV. Uh, and I just realized I forgot to turn off my overlay again. Gotta get used to doing that. Sorry about that, more <laughs> Twitch chat. But I think this will be a very exciting match. I think it's, um, you know, unlike the other matches, it's definitely leaning towards Eclipse Flames and Trixo BG, I think. Yeah. We're uh, a bit ahead on time here. Let me start dragging the players in. Oh yeah, yeah. We can uh, we can have a word with them. Hello. How's it going, guys? How you doing? Hello. Hello. 
Hello, CCV. He's in, yeah, he's in clear. I, I pinged him in discussion and then I believe Zabadaba told me that uh, he's trying to contact him earlier, but no reply from his side. That's okay, we'll, uh, we'll give him 10 minutes to show up, but it looks like we might have our first no-show of the tournament. We take those. Very, uh, <laughs> very spooky stuff. Might just be a straight-up win for uh, Eclipse Flames and Tricks of BG here. Moving on to uh, play the winner of Llama and Seedmaster versus Tipia and Alfie Zentori. You know, really gotta, really gotta support RTX voice out here. Coming in clutch with my neighbor's dog going absolutely insane, man. You know, if I didn't these cars, dog, I, I live right to a highway. These cars are absolutely zooming. Can't pick it up though. RTX voice is amazing. Not sponsored. By not me. not sponsored, but great software. Best best frequently software but, ever. But Nvidia, I'd be down. Yeah, Nvidia. If uh, if you're watching, you know, hook us up. Maybe get a five hundred dollar prize pool next time. <laughs> Some uh, very exciting stuff here. Oh man, everyone in your chat is bullying Obama at Omega oh, Lola. Uh, but I mean, this this is what you can expect from the first stroke of the tournament. This is, you know, exactly what I was saying. Um, you just, you didn't know what was going to happen, and uh, something like this is bound to happen, right? It's just a shame to see it in such a competitive matchup. Um, so let's yeah, take a I second didn't here. To see a choke that huge. Oh like, yeah, I thought maybe a full through snake was uh, guaranteed sometime around this tournament, but uh, definitely not like that. Obama, I just I feel for you, man. Let's take a second here. Thank you, Renje, for the sub and um, Saint Hexagon too with the prime. Appreciate it. Coming in clutch, supporting the tournament. Uh, glad you guys are enjoying so far. For uh, Season 1, I'm sure Season 2 will be just as good. Probably much, much better. Um, Obama, that sounds like a choke to me. I'm not gonna lie. So, you know, three minutes in, we've got uh, seven minutes before we're gonna have to disqualify the real CCV and Havari for not showing up to the tournament. There's uh, only so much sad. we can... I, hate to see it. I mean, you really do hate to see it if he doesn't show, but there's only so much time we can give the participants before it's uh, sort of leaning on into everyone else's bracket. Yeah. Let's see Get here. Around. Chat's saying I uh, have a donation towards the uh, part of the tournament. I'll uh, quickly log into Streamlabs here to see if I'm being debated or not. But uh, if not, price pool could be increasing just a bit. Do you have an alert box on all your... Uh, uh yeah, I do, but it hasn't played quite yet. Oh. I'm saying I can't wait to miss it. Oh my lord, we've got uh, 40 bucks coming in from... Uh, Alvarian and Andrew S. 25 bucks coming from Andrew S. And 15 bucks coming from Alvarian. Alvarian saying, let's go. And uh, Andrew S. saying, big PP. Guys, the uh, tournament pot's getting a bit more spicy here. Now we're playing for 215 bucks. You know. This is huge. Yeah, this is huge. We really do appreciate uh, the support you guys have been showing. Yeah, thank you so much. So uh, let's go ahead and update our title here to the $215 Cast Boy Duos Tournament real quick. Um, but you know, we're just going to be sort of chilling here for the next uh, four or five minutes, waiting for, or waiting to see if Alvari shows up. We don't quite know. I don't think anyone has heard anything from him, have we? Yeah, I don't think he said anything. I mean, can't force anyone to play, but... Zabadab is saying we can't reach Halvari, been trying for a while now. Yeah, it looks like he's gone MIA for the tournament here. Uh, we'll give him a couple more minutes, but it's looking like just a straight up win. No competition for uh, Eclipse Flames and Tricks OBG here. You know, the most absolute unbelievable stump of the competition, you know, destroying them infinite amount of time. 
<laughs> We're actually not even trying. <laughs> well, you heard it here first, and not even trying, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, I'll go ahead and make Aurora a bit louder for you guys. Say something for the stream, Aurora. Oh god, no, I'm louder. <laughs> yeah, that should be a bit better. Uh, but yeah, definitely don't support the bullying of a bot. He had a rough, definitely yeah. had a rough Patreon game. Nerves are getting to him, and you know, this could happen to anybody, and we'll probably see it happening a few more times in uh, in the tournament for sure. Yeah, definitely. Three out of four players in that round fell off orange. It's I know that clear that those are head stuff for the competitors. I know those are some unbelievable statistics actually. You know, I thought maybe we'd see one, two orange fools a game at a push, but you know, nearly everyone falling off orange here, you know, quite I surprising. If we'll ever get a full hundred percent. You know maybe it's the fifteen snake. It's impossible here, actually. I mean, let's take a look at the teams we've got playing uh, on later on. We've got Squilly Bob Joe and uh, ILI Laser ILI, the uh, team ILI Squilly, playing against uh, the Oreo Valley, which is the first Oreo and Val Merrick. So I think uh, that would be a very strong game. Lot of competition there. Uh, right before that, we have Llama and Seedmaster playing against. Uh, Tipia and Alfie Zentori, that will definitely be a uh, fun one to watch for sure. Uh, personally, uh, my money would be on Tipia and Alfie Zentori for that much, but don't count out Llama and Seedmaster quite yet. They've uh, most certainly been practicing in the last week. Funny story about Llama and Seedmaster. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, we can say that. So, uh, you know, while we're waiting, <laughs> originally uh, it was Panza and Seedmaster. And 20 minutes before the tournament, Panza said he had a massive headache and he couldn't participate, so we were thinking, oh god, you know, our fourth match, you know, it won't have a competition at all, it'll be Tiffia and Alfie Zentori moving on into round two, but um, Llama coming in clutch, you know, like 10, 15 minutes right before the tournament, joining up with Seedmaster to sort of, um, you know, just carry it on make for some competition, so really huge thanks to Llama for showing up today. Yeah, 20 minutes before the tournament. You love to see it. Oh, you absolutely do. And uh, let's take a look at some of the later matches today. Right after the first story in Val Merit, we got uh, the Schoker Regal, I believe, which is the chocolate bar in German play uh, with St. Hexagon, uh, Team Rust, playing against Team Bad at the game, Schmeck and the Dup, and I mean, this is, that'll be a very fun matchup. We have two veterans of the game, two people who have been playing it and speedrunning it since the game first came out, uh, going against two up-and-coming names, you know, Schmeck and the Dup, we haven't really seen around, we don't really know what they're capable of, but we do know that they uh, should be a very strong team because they're in the Legends bracket here. And uh, Shoka Regal of St. Hexagon, they're thinking that they might be a bit rusty, but they've had some time to prep, so I'm definitely excited to uh, see how that match at 115 plays out. Yeah, and I mean, Shoko, he has a 133, right? I mean, I mean, he can rust, but 133 still has a lot of skill behind him, oh, even and... if he hasn't played for months. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's sort of, you don't get rid of the muscle memory in this game. I sort of left this game for the good part of six, seven months. I came back and I was sort of on top still playing, not as well, but after a bit of time, I was getting back in there. So uh, Shoko and St. Hexagon, definitely excited to see what the uh, vets can do as the rookies here. And uh, match after, I'm hearing that Demolition Bear also might be a no-show for uh, Pixic as well. But uh, they've got just about an hour, so we'll have to see if he shows up. Yeah, getting uh, almost 10 minutes after the round's supposed to start, Calvary. Uh, he and CCV are 
just about to be disqualified. And yeah, it's, it's looking. It's it like it's, it's looking like we're gonna have to disqualify him here. Eclipse Flames and Trixo BG moving on to round two, playing against the winner of uh, match four, which will be Llama and Deepmaster versus Tipia and Alfie Zentori. Bit of a letdown. And oh my God, Alva Ran. I believe it is donating thirty bucks to the prize pool. Going absolutely insane. That's 45 bucks from the man, the legend, uh, making this an exciting one for the teams for sure. Um, God, I don't know what to say. We really do appreciate it, man. Yeah, thank you so much. Wow, this prize pool. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a lot more popping than we were expecting for sure. So that's 245 bucks. You know, that's almost 125 bucks for each player. You know getting pretty big yeah uh well, i didn't expect it to get this far after you know initially what was it twenty dollars yeah we started this with twenty dollars just to uh get it started and uh you know 215 now or 245 actually this has come a long way for us um but unfortunately ccv and halvari you know Nothing you can do about that. Unfortunately, they're out of the first round. Disqualification by Havari not showing up. Clips, Flames, and Trixo coming in clutch. You know, I'm sure they're very relieved about that one. So uh, let's get Llama, Seedmaster, Tipia, and Alfie Zentori in to uh, see how they're feeling about this match up here. Yeah, sure. Let me get him in. Very exciting stuff. So, a bit of a disappointment, I'm sure many of you feel, but it'll be a uh, fun one this next matchup for sure. Oh, three people here are deafened. Oh god, we got a hug him. Hey. Hey, Llama, Hi. Seedmaster, Welcome. Tipia, Alfie Ray. Good to see you guys. Hello. How are you feeling? Well, no, I've been there for <laughs> All right. Um, wow. Damn. Dang. I'm feeling solid. That's good to hear, man. That's good to hear. So, um, you guys cool if we start a couple minutes before your uh, match? Yeah, your schedule? No problem. Uh, sure. All right. Let me uh, pull up your streams here real quick. Match four. Oh my god, that's the sound of another donation. Like the parts getting even bigger. No pressure, oh, are you guys. Kidding? Just like gonna. Just makes it more interesting. I know. Yeah, I guess. Take a, a minute. Yeah, Load up, so just go back to the bracket here. I have a lot of things like going on for this first one. So my girlfriend said that she'll break up with me if I don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Alfie, he's he's now just got the uh, now two hundred and sixty-five bucks after Zaba donated twenty-five to the tournament. He's got his relationship on the line as well. So. Uh, Definitely some high stakes coming out from this team. Watch, he's gonna fall into the snake. Oh god. Don't even... So yeah. Is, uh, is everyone just about ready? Uh, yeah, I'm just loading up everyone's streams, having a bit of a uh, problem with buffering. Right before, gonna make kind sure I'm a uh... Virgin Media moment, huh? Yeah, Virgin Media, thank you for being uh, literally the worst company in the world right now to have internet with. Oh, you better start to stop talking about that. They're gonna drop your line. I know. <laughs> but uh, it's looking like everything should be just alright. Um, so I'll go ahead and bring everyone up on stream here. Like so, everyone's ready. Yeah. Oh god, uh, that still says Panzer. Let's pretend that doesn't say Panzer. And <laughs> that says uh, Llama. 
funny yep. story about pans. <laughs> the funny story about that, actually. Uh, uh, yeah, so we've got the USSR, Tipia, and Alfie Wren playing against Llama and Seedmaster in round or match four of round one. It should definitely be an exciting one. Uh, go ahead and count you guys down now. So on go. Three, two, one, go! Oh, and uh, shit. they'll be off in just a moment here. Here we go. Alright, and they're off. Yeah, they should be Great. off. Uh, just a moment, we're uh, waiting for the stream to catch up with them. Yeah, I can only see what Rhett sees, so uh, just kind of waiting here. Seedmaster uh, continuing his old run. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I think we're on a bit of a delay here, but that's okay. So uh, let's just talk about this match real quick. I mean, the USSR, Tipia and Alfie Ren, they're definitely, by far, I think, one of the strongest teams in the tournament. 3 minute 20. Oh, yeah. uh, looking hey, like... They're at the cutoff point. It's really crazy how close they are to not being able to play. They're yeah. definitely gonna get to the semifinals, I think. Oh, like, I they think are huge players. I think this match is uh, definitely strongly favored for them. Looking like we're actually getting a start here. Chai is cute, coming from Alfie's stream. Got anime seed masters and uh, just blank for the rest of us. Um, but you know, looking you gotta like love it. I mean, the yeah, stream overlays. The on-stream overlays here, but. You know, look like we're getting has a little bit of a choke at construction. Yeah, oh, but they're uh... they're definitely making a strong start either way. You know, Alfie and uh, Tipia, the USSR. You know, oh, I say that, but Alfie just Ooh. about nearly fell from tub there. I was gonna say they're making a, a strong start, right but it looks like the team favored to win is almost just about on pace with Seedmaster and Llama here. So, uh, I don't know, stuff. man. You love to see this competition. You really do. So, so, you know, with a choke from Orange here, this could be a very even playing field for sure. Uh, both uh, players in the USSR managed to get over Orange with just about no difficulty. Almost oh, sure. miles ahead of uh, Larma and Seed. This is some big stuff coming from the USSR right now. Yeah, I know, the USSR just about riding the snake, uh, both of them, that's, you know, one coming out from, um, Tipia here, Tipia. you know, already started off tutorial, and, uh, Zentori, he'll be just about following right now, too. Uh, yeah, Seed, I'm not quite sure thing. what happened, but Seedmaster's back at Chimney! What is he doing? Oh, no! Did he- I'm oh, not quite wow. sure. I think he might have fallen from orange. I didn't quite catch it. I was too busy. Seedmaster, he's redoing slides, so it looks like this one might be nailed in the for the USSR. Llama getting oh, down the snake. Wasn't already enough. Yeah, I know. We thought it would be favored to win, but Seedmaster here coming out with the amazing choke. Llama's already got the first snake, but I don't think it will be matter. Uh, I don't think it will matter unless Seedmaster can really pull something here. And he's already struggling with Orange on his second time around. He might be getting oh, another oh, four. Oh. Here. If he falls off Orange, no, it looks it's like just about it. All right. It looks it's like Seedmaster's still in there. It'll be a hard one for them to come back on for sure after this already. But I think I think they can do it. I honestly do. You know, anything can happen. We're only one snake deep, two snake deeps for uh, Tipia here. He is just absolutely destroying the competition. Like, and uh, Zentori, not too far behind. You know, Zentori's you know just left seat there. Oh, they're uh, playing incredibly well today. I know, the uh, USSR, but... you know, it's definitely not wrong to say they've never been more on their game. Yeah, Tipier, uh, not Tipier, uh, Larma, though, he's just a little bit behind. He's doing great so far for his Seed gets his first snake? Yeah, that's the first snake, man. Uh, after that fall from Chimney, you know, it's gonna be pretty rough for them to come back for sure. Uh, I realize yeah, the uh, background's a bit, a little bit quiet, so I'll uh, raise that a bit for you guys in uh, chat here. But honestly, I don't know what to say. This is looking like a stump coming from Tipia and Abby Ren. The USSR proving they are not to be messed with. 
<laughs> you know, as absolutely, everyone's as, bracket predictions had them in a really strong place, and I, I think they're really living up to their expectations. That I think so. Them. You know, we've definitely we've seen some good gameplay from individuals like Codium and so There's no doubt they've been playing really well today, but just as a team, it looks like the USSR is the best we've seen in this competition. They're almost sort of um, on pace with each other here. Uh, but as Ooh, I say that, Alfie Ren orange. making a choke from Orange and he's not quite falling all the way down, so he'll be able to recover it. That's only a good five or six second choke oh, here. Seed falls off Orange though, oh. unlike Ren who successfully recovers, Seed falls down. Yeah, that's the, huge. That's the second choke from Seedmaster at Orange, I believe. So I think, you know, no matter what happens, this is just sort of in the back of the USSR. Oh, he's having a really hard time with with uh, furniture right now. Struggling a little bit just after the stairs. Getting his hammer stuck in the wedge there. The USSR is playing insane. Tipsy yeah. is about to finish off his run. I'm pretty sure Ren's also done three snakes. Just about. Oh, no. He's no, no. They're on their uh, last yeah. snake, it looks like. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Tipia, I uh, believe he's on his last snake, though he might be. No, actually, it yeah, looks he like just, he'll be I'm finishing sure his he just run. Needs to finishing the game, yeah. Yeah, Tipia miles the competition. Actually, you know the uh, the delays haven't been too far apart this stream. Maybe a couple seconds. So it's very apparent that Tipia is making a strong, strong entry into this competition for sure. He'll be almost rivaling Codium's time of 5:20 with uh, what I can assume to be about a five minute 30 run, which is uh, you know really impressive stuff. He has a good launch. Cody didn't have that liberty in his last game, but it looks like he's going to have a little bit of difficulty floating through space. Uh, yeah. Ren's just about halfway done with uh, his final lap here, uh, but I think no matter what happens here, uh, the USSR has just basically won. Yeah, I mean, unless we're uh, seeing them teleport right to the end, I don't think there's anything can, that can be done, but... I See that Tippy is having a really hard time reaching that rock there, but it's look it's looking like he's finishing there uh, with a 603. That space really getting him out of a uh, 30 seconds, really. Six, yeah. yeah, 30 seconds space, man. You hate to see it, but it doesn't matter because he's miles ahead of the competition. He can afford something like this. Hell, he could afford to just be sitting there for the BM if he wanted. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, that's Alfie Ram coming up mountain. It looks like the USSR will both be finishing before um, either one of the people on Seedmaster and Llama's team can finish their run. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they won. Yeah, there's just nothing else to be said here. Looks like Alfie Ren is keeping his girlfriend today. Ooh, but uh, having a really the tough worst launch. imaginable launch. I could even fathom. I mean, you get that in a run, you're control r -ing. There's no second thoughts about that. Yeah. He's just about to launch himself. Has a little bit of a choke on, on the tower. Uh, but yeah, it looks like he's about to get up and do his launch. Has a really nice launch, way better than Alfie's. Oh yeah, for sure. So it looks like he'll be finishing before Alfie. And Seedmaster on what I believe is his final snake uh, at tutorial with just have been finished. You hate to see it, but you know, we expected a few chokes, uh, not coming from any specific individuals, but we just knew that the stress would get to a few uh, competitors, and it looks like Seed just, uh, you know, you can't really handle it. Yeah, and it it looks like uh, the USSR has just won uh, yeah. to this tournament. It looks like, it, you know, 7-11 time coming from... Um, Llama here, Alfie. and uh, yeah, 7.43 coming from Alfie, both very impressive times, you know, it's sort of what we expected, uh, the average being about 8 minutes, so anything under that is a really good time for these guys. Um, and Seedmaster, I mean, he's just having a rough time here. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he could play like Tass and he would still lose, there's just about nothing he could do here. I mean... Yeah, even if he played like a Tass, there's nothing he can do. It's just a uh, done deal here. It's just over. It's yeah, over. And, uh, yeah, but we'll uh, and Alpha's and Tori will move on to round two. We'll uh, we'll see we'll see how Seedmaster does. See what I can pull oh, off. Yeah, absolutely. We've got six minutes to spare. Yep. 
Oh, having a bit of trouble with Orange here, Seedmaster. Once again, looking like his worst split for the tournament, falling uh, what I believe is twice. It doesn't fall off again, though. No, no, he's uh, cleared it for now, but you never know what can happen. We might see an Obama near the end here for Seed. Oh, and don't bully Obama like that. Don't do my man's like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but... But you guys, <laughs> you guys, you gotta understand. You, you gotta understand. Yeah. It. It's all yeah, in good fun. Seedmaster not having a good time with this hat for sure either. You know, something uh, we haven't mentioned actually, which I saw that a few people were interested in, is uh, where the uh, hat and orange are going. Because if you get it, you know, stuck on your uh, anvil split, you could be having a really hard time just sleeping over it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Batfish had a concern earlier about the, the bucket. While it is a pretty worthless concern, I mean, it is pretty easy to get uh, kind of just ruined out of a run if the hat is yeah, and, uh, remarkably for the, bad. For the, for the viewers who are at home who don't quite know about the bucket, there is a trap. It's only happened a couple- it's only happened once to me in my thousand hours of playing, but the uh, bucket can get lodged on the rock if you push it hard enough. But uh, even then, it's recoverable. Yeah. Uh, but it will just be a bit of lost time if we see that. But honestly, I don't think we will. you got to almost intentionally go for it to uh, get it lodged there. And uh, talking about make it Seedmaster, just about... He's gone for a fourth? Oh, Seedmaster is this his fourth or his third? I believe it's his fourth. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think it might be Ooh, his he fourth. He doesn't have a snake counter. I know, I... I think that he's gone for a fourth here. Uh, <laughs> Absolute lad. Yeah, this is why we recommended Snake Counter, so in uh, especially in the later rounds, people aren't getting uh, confused. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, I mean, at that stage, all the players are going to have the Snake Counter, because it's just so good to have. It takes so much off of you of, oh, am I on my ninth Snake? No, it's done for you. Yeah, I Not mean, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we gotta give a mega thanks to AS13B for uh, making the snake mod specifically for this tournament. He's an absolute angel. Oh, yeah, absolutely. On very short notice, too. Yeah, yeah. Amazing stuff. Hey, you wanna? You want me to uh, drag everyone back in? And, uh... uh, no, no, Seed's not quite done yet, it looks like. Alright. So, uh, we'll just wait well, to see round... how he... I mean, it's guaranteed. Match There's no way is... he's... Pulling it off. Well, match five starting starting in about three minutes here. Scully uh, Bob Joe and Laser versus uh, Oreo Valley. Yeah, yeah, and that will be an exciting one for sure. I mean, in a very, very close match. I don't know uh, which way it could go. I've seen Laser, Scully Bob Joe practicing. I know Oreo said he's been going four or five hours a day for the tournament, and uh, Val Merrick's. I've seen him practicing on stream quite a lot too. Yeah, Oreo has been practicing a lot. He got his first sub 130 lately, 34th person in the world to get it. Huge congratulations to uh, Oreo for doing that. And uh, Seed having a really hard time with the boulders here, falling quite again, but I'm sure he knows that it's uh, all over for him at this point. There's no way he's coming back. Oh yeah, definitely. If we're pulling people back, we should probably do it about now. Round five start. Match five starts in about two minutes. Uh, well, it, yeah. We'll see, these dragons. No, no, we'll uh, laser. we'll we'll wait and uh, just see how this match finishes out. Um, Seedmaster yeah, right. looking like he might hit a do not finish if he uh, falls from bucket here. Having a really tough time with the uh, right after anvil. Oh, definitely. I've been stuck here for quite a while. I mean, you hate to see it happen. I'll go ahead and uh, load up the next stream here for uh, match five. And uh, this one, this will be a very exciting one for sure. I can't make heads of tail, uh, heads or tails of it. I don't know about you. I think Oreo Valley has an um, uh, incredible match here. Uh, but Squilly is really good at the game, much better than most people peg him to be. Uh, I haven't seen much from Laser though, so yeah. I mean, Laser, he was he was doing 250 snakes yesterday just to prep for the tournament, and uh, oh, a bit, seriously, 
bit of stream buffering uh, because I'm loading up the next stream, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take us off of uh, Seed Master. I'll spare him the shame of finishing here. Poor man. Hate to see it. You really do. Yeah, so should I... Uh, yeah, yeah, the, you can... Five participants? All right, yeah. uh, we'll drag the round four. know who won, actually. Uh, oh, okay. So, I know you're not quite done, Seed, but... Uh... I finished, what? Oh, you did finish. It didn't quite show up on stream, but... Uh... It's a done deal, you know? It's just... I'm sure you know it yourself. It was a bit of a rough time for you, falling from orange there a few times. Thank you for the win. I don't have to break up with my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, so the USSR moving on to a round two there. Uh, okay, so thank you guys for coming by. We'll see you in a bit, USSR. Let's get a Val and, um, Squeeze team in here. Yeah, sure, let me drag them in real quick. Wow, Seed. Hello. What's Hi. up, guys? I can't Hello, Scully. Because my Discord is zoomed in. I have to zoom out. Are you kidding me? Okay. Yo. What's hey, up? Val. Hi, Val. Hi, Hi Oro. And we're just waiting on our last one, Laser. Uh, we'll have to. Oh, he's undeafened already. Good to see you guys. How are you feeling about this match coming up? Uh, um, hoping Laser does really bad and then we'll win. <laughs> I am nervous, not because of the tournament, but because I almost just peed really hard. <laughs> oh, wow. So yeah, Squilly, gotta... you yeah. know, he's on top performance, ready so for this tournament. So Squilly PB'd? That sounds like a DC to me. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Instant pepper uh, PB'd. Uh, so we'll go yeah, ahead man. and uh, count you guys down now here. Uh, just oh, making sure me. all of you are ready. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so if we're all ready, I'll count you down on go. Three, two, one, and go! Go. And uh, they'll be off, man. And, uh, uh, first Aria requested to be disconnected because VC lags his game. So yeah, he will that's. will not be talking with Val Merricks during this tournament. Uh, yeah, but I'm sure a lot of the teams won't be talking in general to each other. Uh, oh, just yeah, wait. Definitely. Well, uh, you heard from a bear that he was talking to a bombard when he was choking on his tower. That's uh, true. Yeah. yeah. Are... A few teams will be talking, but a few of them will just really want to focus up for this tournament, man. Yeah, it's impossible. Oh, who's that in the top right? Uh, that is. Let's take a look at my overlay. Oh, it's the Oreo. Oreo. Yeah. I mean, you could tell. Yeah. He's waiting for a new game. Good uh, yeah, so but just really just that everyone else has uh, made a start here. Val making a strong start ahead of the competition, but Squilly Bob Joe, you know, uh, actually just about ahead of him there, made really strong progress. You know, we heard from him right before the game that he was playing on PB Pace, and, you know, it's coming through, baby. Apparently, he's already demolishing Slide Skip. Oh, stellar performance coming from Squilly here, playing amazingly, and uh, I know. his teammate Laser doing really well, uh, additionally. I know, it, uh... He and Oreo are just about tied up right here. See, we say that they're tied, but we saw that Oreo was starting a bit later, so Oreo's on really good pace for Val's team, too. Oh, and that's a fool from Oreo! Oh my god, you hate to see it! We have seen so many of That's these today, so it is unimaginably rough. You already know that Ooh. Val's going to be giving him a lot of flack for that after the, uh, after the game. Oh yeah, Val was having a little bit of trouble at Orange too. It would have been even worse if both players on I Oreo know. Valley had a mess up at Orange. That almost That's would have been really it for Oreo the Valley. First to ride the stake miles ahead. I know, Absolutely very... Absolutely insane gameplay. Very impressive stuff coming from Squilly, playing on really good pace here. Uh, just about almost everyone at Anvil here, getting a bit of a stumble from Laser at a uh, hat jump and an anvil as well. Val making swift work the snowballs, and uh, looks like Oreo and Val will be just about riding the snake at the same time here. Yeah. Uh, oh wow, Laser's having a really tough time at the anvil here. Well, Val destroyed the snowballs. He's been, you know, churning this anvil out 
just gets the snowballs, has a little bit of issues on the first one. Almost fuck. And he. Ooh. Oh, no. Almost there. I know you're ready to say that he's fallen, but no, he hasn't. Don't count him I out. He so has ready. ridden his first snake. He set his snake counter to 0 of 1, so he might get a disqualification for their team by not knowing it's three snakes. He hasn't read the rules. He might just be going for it. Uh, but let's oh, hope. Should I, should I bring him in and tell him? Uh, I mean, yeah, we can really quickly. Yeah, let me bring him in. Uh, it's three snakes, Laser, not just one. So don't go ahead and yeah, get yourself disqualified so... here. Yeah, you might want to pause and add some snakes to your counter. Well, but I've already back dragged him back. Too. Yeah. Uh, alright. I know, very scary stuff. They nearly got a DQ, but uh, we saved him there. Fortunately. Yeah. Uh, and Maybe it's looking like, know. oh my Maybe god. We were just scared. Yeah, yeah, perhaps. It's a second snake from Oreo. Squilly's on his second one, too. Val's just about getting to Anvil here to get on his second one. Uh, Squilly's yeah, starting- Val's playing very well here. He's a 150 player, but he's- he's making rounds with people who are sub-130 or just about. That's true, he's uh, definitely making good progress. You can see his split set, he's about plus 30 at Anvil on the first time, but uh... You know, he was still making really good progress. Squilly Bob Joe yeah, having absolutely. no problem with the orange here, it looks like. You know, he's confident with this. He saw he saw Obama plays. He knows what's up. Ah, uh, yeah, the pressure isn't getting to him nearly as much as it has some other competitors. It's really great to see that uh, such a good player can play as well as he usually does. I know, it's great to yeah, see some... having a little bit of trouble at hat jump, just as we're talking about how good he's playing, but manages to get over it just fine. Oh! Oh, yeah, fell off orange! Oh, he we did! We totally missed it! But, uh, they've made good headway, so I don't think it will make too much of a difference, but he's failed furniture skip twice there! Uh, giving up on it completely, going for normal furniture. Laser gets his second snake, and Squilly is about to finish the game here. Oh, yeah, he is! Oh my god, it looks like he'll be on the best pace of the tournament, actually. I don't know if is he's he, really- Is he a snake ahead? I think he might be on two snakes. I think we'll have to review the VOD to see how many snakes he's ridden. Yeah, I- Oh, this might be really bad. This might be a DQ for Team ILI Squilly here, because Squilly's just not been counting the snakes. I mean, yeah, I think he's just completely missed a snake case. Well ahead of Stillo. Yeah, he, no, there's no way he's out of Stello. He has missed the snake. Yeah, uh, we've got chat checking the VOD here just to make sure, but I believe that uh, Squilly's missed a snake here, which will be a DQ for them. Which will be... Oh, oh, you hate to see it. This is why we oh, recommend the no. snake counter mod. This is the biggest meme since Obama's tower choke. I this know, is, if this is... to see this. If this is the case, you know, Squilly... This could just be it for him! Oh, Laser just fell off orange. Their team is having some real struggles right now. Val has completed his third snake. Uh, just a little bit behind Oreo. Both players are really doing quite well here. I know, this is uh, some definite. oh sorry, definitely some good gameplay coming out from Oreo Valley here. Uh, we'll just have to see if uh, Val's ridden the snake twice, or oh, sorry, not Val, Squilly's ridden the snake twice or three times here. I mean, uh, I mean if he's times, ridden it three times, man. that'll be a win for ILI Squilly. No problem. They can pace with Stillo here. Yeah, just about. And we got Naren Cat in the DM saying that uh, you missed one snake on the stream of Squilly there at the top left. Oh. So this might be it for them. Well, I just have to see Oreo making very swift pace up the uh, tower there. Ooh, falls off though. I mean, well, uh, we'll just have to. Kind of competing against a team that doesn't exist anymore. So I mean. Yeah, I mean, we'll just have to wait for verification from Codium that, uh... Oh no, he did only do two snakes! Squilly is out! Disqualified oh. for not counting! This is what we warned them, guys! We said use the snake counter because if you don't, you'll probably end up miscounting, but he's, uh... He's gone and done two snakes! This is all it! It's over for Team ILI Squilly! Nothing Laser can do about it! Mario Valley just pulling ahead and winning the match! Yeah, wow, even if that didn't happen, the Oreo Valley's playing really well. Like, I mean, yeah, they've Oreo been... finishes. 
6 minutes 37 and that nothing to scoff at. That's a very good time here. You know, competing yeah, with uh, just a bit behind him. Bearing in mind, player, he is really throwing his weight around. True, and uh, also bearing in mind, Mario is also a veteran of this game, coming back after about a year-long hiatus from the game to come back here. So a six-minute thirty time—that's really impressive with only a couple days to practice before the tournament. I absolutely squilly writing a message here, right? I'm. Yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah. I'm stupid. Oh. It, we all—he knows it. He knows, he knows he's oh. done it, he already knows. Oh. He knows. Oh, you hate to see it. And I was struggling wow, with space here, but it really, it really doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It's all over. He can, he can be doing whatever he wants, it really doesn't matter. Coming in, uh, it's really coming in clutch for, uh, Oreo Valley over here. Uh, so Gotta let's get him back in the- voice. Let's, uh, get him back in the VC here. Yeah, sure. Hey guys, you probably already know. Uh, uh, uh Squilly, Squilly what do you have two to say? of three snakes <laughs> cheating this the contest. This advertisement is brought to you by IS13B Snake Counter. Thank you, Valor. <laughs> but yes. I don't know what happened. I know, that's why we recommended using dude, a snake dude, counter. I was looking man. in chat, I was like, like five seconds into my run and someone said Squilly had finished. I was so confused. And then someone <laughs> said that he hadn't ridden the snake. Oh god, you hate to see it, but that'll be ILI Squilly out of the competition. Oreo Valley <laughs> moving on to round two Dude, here. Dude, I feel so bad for Liza. Like, Liza was so nervous. And yeah, Squilly I'm just bad. Oh. Didn't run the snake. Alright. Well, I completely forgot about the tournament. I'm like, damn, this run though. We're vibing. <laughs> yeah, we... This run though. What the... You know, five this... Five minute god. run. Cringe better finish it. Alright, thank you guys for stopping by. <laughs> we'll uh, put you back in the waiting room. And, uh, you know, I think, oh, you just, you really hate to see it, guys. Uh, I mean, that's, that's just, it. that's the worst possible thing, you know. While I was doing my, uh, Golden Snake, going for the world record, I was, uh, pulling the same thing, you know. I was looking at my chat, I was accidentally beating the game, and I was going, God damn it, I'm an idiot. I've just beaten the game. I'm meant to be riding the snake, and it looks like that's happened to Squilly here. I'm wondering if we'll see something like that happening no. in the, uh, the later games. Hey, Shoko. We're, uh, we've got him in the call a bit early. I was going to review the bracket and talk about the next game, so I'll just mute him really quickly. Uh, oh, and you guys bad. can uh, put up with the next game. So we've got a couple minutes before the next match is scheduled, so I'll just take a second to uh, review the bracket here. Um, our next game, match, what, six of the tournament, making good progress through round one. It will be uh, the Shoka Regal and St. Hexagon playing against Schmeck and the Derp, Team The Rust and um, Team Bad at the Game playing together. You know, I think this will be a very exciting match here. We've got two OGs of the game who have been playing it since almost its release. You know, I can I can remember competing against Shoko's time. Up, oh, sorry. Yep, take off the overlay. Always forget it. Thank you, thank you. Um, yep, yep, against yep. Schmeck and the Dup, who, like we said earlier, they're two sort of newcomers to the game. We don't know how they, uh, they're they going to participate, haven't talked to them too much, so I'm uh, definitely I've excited. I've seen a run from either of these players. Yeah, neither have I, which is quite surprising. They've gone sort of under our radar here for the tournament, but they're definitely two very good players, so I'm excited to see how this one plays out. Um, let's unmute the players, see how they're feeling. You guys... I'm nervous like shit. <laughs> I'm nervous, rusty, but most of all I'm ready to have a great time. Let's do this. Oh, fuck yes, man. Uh... Nice energy. From... Yeah, I, I can respect that Hexagon. energy coming from St. Hexagon. Fine. Like yeah, I mean, that's the worry, really. Almost everyone has choked here, so I... Yeah, we've seen a lot of orange fells. We uh, just saw that massive fail from Squilly and counting. And, uh, you know, we've uh, seen a few tower messes up here and there. Yeah, just a few. So I think it'll be exciting. Just gonna load up the stream here, and then we can get on the way with our next match. Uh, I think my getting over just crashed, Lloyd. Uh, that's okay. You've not started just yet, and if your game does crash while playing, we'll let you, uh, relaunch it and, uh, continue no, on. I, I just, uh, straight went... 
into the credits. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But yeah. So is everyone ready? We all good? Yes. You got it. Okay. Right. So let's get this underway in three, two, one, go! Go! And uh, that'll be them off. Saint Hexagon and uh, Shoko Regal versus Schmeck the Dub. I'm excited to see how this one plays out. Team Bad yeah. versus Team Rust. Got a. Uh, Got a pause coming out here from the dub at the beginning. Um, bit of choppy frame rate too, but that's okay. Uh, seen a bit of a struggle right after tutorial there from uh, oh, St. Hexon. I don't think you turned on your overlay. Uh, did you? yeah, oh, I did, yeah, I did, I did, I did. I got you. Yeah, I think I'm like 20 seconds behind on your stream. <laughs> um, yeah, so, god, I mean... Team Rust, I like the uh, texture yeah. they have on their pot. Yeah, going with the classic um, CSGO, no texture, or uh, other Valve games, no texture, I can respect that. And uh, Team Bad ripping the bad part. Um, but you know... <laughs> I can't even see it. I, there's like five pixels for every player here on Discord, so... <laughs> Yeah, um, Shoko Regal making the best start to the game. Oh, actually, no, Schmeck! Ooh, oh, so Shoko Regal falling from Schmeck orange. Schmeck is playing really well. I know. Oh, Schmeck's one ahead of the competition, but Saint Hexagon falls off of falling from orange. Oh my god, you hate to see it from the vets of this game. Team Rust having, having a rough best. one at orange, man. Shoko Regal and Saint Hexagon just really can't get past orange now. Oh, Shoko Regal falling <laughs> Oh my god, he's back at tutorial. This is almost it for the newcomers. This is terrible! Oh, the newcomers are playing really well here! I know, we're the seeing a bit of a blunder at Orange, yeah, but Schmeck, he's playing off his mind, he's here, you know, almost at Snake, taking his time, doing some safe stuff, and I don't know how I can see it's Team the Rust. first to ride Snake. I just, I don't see Team Rust coming back from this, I mean, after both of them pulling a massive blunder at Orange, they're still, you know, You've got Saint, uh, sorry, you've got Shoko just about on orange now, while, um, you know, the dub's just about lapping him, well, not just about, but he'll be lapping him soon enough if he keeps it up like this. Uh, and Saint Hexagon on Snowball's there getting the uh, first snake, but bad at the game, you know, they've already ridden snakes, they've got both players already done with the snakes, and, uh, Schmeck, right up there. That slide skip, having a bit of trouble here, but he gets it, no problem, still well ahead of the rest of the game. Yeah, absolutely. He can afford to have a few small blunders, just as long as he doesn't, you know, do anything too huge. Both players on Team Rust have really had some tragic mistakes here. Both have fallen off orange. I know, but that's the thing. Anything can happen now, you know. We can see a choke from uh, Team Bad here, and, um, you know, Team Rust could definitely be capitalizing on it. Um... Yeah, but, you know, we'll just have to see how it like, plays uh, out. Mac has no issues getting over Orange. Oh, absolutely. He's just gliding through it. No problem. You can tell he's been practicing before the tournament. Absolutely. The Derp is having some issues with slide skip, but, uh, yeah, he's managed to make it over just fine. It looks like, uh, Shoko Regal has managed to catch up with the Derp. Uh, got a lot of catching up to do before he uh, gets to Schmeck, though, but. He can really pull some stuff out, you know, he's a 133 player, really good at the game. Don't know yeah, there's, uh, down but not Schmack out, as they say. Snake. Having a bit of buffering coming in on uh, the Dirt stream there, but I think that might be on his end, because we are seeing his game stutter a lot on stream. A bit unfortunate, but, uh, you know, that doesn't matter, because he's still making great headway on Team Rust, and, uh, you know, Schmeck, he's just well ahead of the game. He's already ridden two snakes. I mean, there's nothing really else Absolutely. to say. He's just making strong progress, really capitalizing on the fact that everyone on Team Rust has fallen on Orange. Yeah, I'm quite baffled at how well he's playing. I've never seen him before. I, I'd never even heard of him before this tournament. Yeah, the newcomers to this game certainly coming in strong. They'll be a team to be possibly feared in future rounds. Aurea, uh, yeah, it is. Uh, Oreo Valley might have uh, some work to do in their next match here. 
absolutely. What's the dirt bond? His second or third? Uh, that's second for everyone at bad at the game. We've got um, Saint Hexagon on his. Actually, I believe everyone's on their second snake now. So it wow. actually looks like Team Rust is coming back after their blunders. You know, bad at the game, we were saying they were capitalizing, but they've just been losing time here and there, you know, struggling a bit on slide skip the both of them, actually. And, uh, you know, yeah, Shoko's that's... almost back up with Schmidt here. As consistent uh, as they've been as they've been playing, they are definitely quite a bit slower than St. Hexagon and uh, Shoko. Yeah, you know, they saw that they were... Mess up a bit, um, Team Rust, oh, and they Shrek were like, okay, let's go off. Yeah, yeah, but he, he glides through it, no problem, you know? <laughs> Not like uh, my 500 Ooh, snake stream. <sighs> I know, that means that Shoko and uh, Schmeck are pretty much going to be head on head, but Shoko failing Anvil here. And oh Ooh, my god, Schmeck! huge choke from Schmeck, having some huge trouble with the snowballs. Shoko having no trouble, however, gets his third snake, final lap. I know, Team Rest are just well ahead of the game here, almost. You know, Shoko yeah, making good Saint headway. But I... Hexagon a little bit behind, but he can definitely catch up with the rate that uh, Team Bad is playing at. They've been at Anvil for quite a while. Yeah, I know. Second on Team Bad to have issues with the snowballs. Schmeck oh, just, he huge. he just cannot do snowballs, man. He gets there, he keeps falling, and, uh, you know, it looks like St. Hexagon, despite being really rusty, like he said before the game, he's catching up. Yeah, absolutely. He's made it to Anvil. Uh, Schmeck finally gets over the snowballs. Oh, it. Uh, so Schmeck's yeah. stream, I believe. Wow. Uh, Schmeck's stream has. Oh, sorry, not Schmeck. The Dup stream has just died. He's oh, just pulls there. I, I think that might be it for uh for the German and uh, the USA. The Rust coming in clutch. I mean, unless it comes back really quickly, I just think. Bad at the game isn't going to be able to do anything about this. Wow. With uh, the dub stream going offline. I think this might be it for, uh, for Team Rust. You know, Shoko, he's making it up ice while, um, the... What, wait, what? What happened to Shrek? He's back at orange. What? Did it, he's back at orange on his second and he's fallen again. What's happening? Oh, this is oh, it's all over. Shmeck. He's given up. He's tapped out to look at the stream. I don't know what's happened. I didn't quite catch that. I was too busy focusing on uh, Rust and the offline stream here, but Schmeck has uh, had a massive blunder somewhere. So it looks like Team Rust are just going to be pulling ahead and getting the win. Joker's having a bit of trouble on space, but it won't matter because the derp stream is still down. Oh uh, yeah, Saint, uh, Shoko about to finish his entire run. Looks like he could get a sub eight. Really respectable time for someone who's just come back to the game after such an activity. Well, it does look like that, but he's having a bit of problems with this last boulder here, so it'll look like he'll just miss that sub eight by a small margin. And uh, yeah, that Shoko finished first one in the tournament. We've got uh, the Derp stream back online, but you can see it really doesn't matter. It looks like Team Rust has this in the bag, unless St. Hexagon does something really incredible, uh, you know, for a failure, it's just in the bag for them. Yeah, has no trouble getting over these snowballs. Gets, oh. Having a bit of trouble oh, on Bucket, bucket. we might be seeing uh, something like GDQ a couple years ago from St. Hexagon. <laughs> Schmack has his third snake ride a little bit overdue as he went under the snake uh, when he should have. Uh, the derp has paused out. It looks like he's just fallen off orange and he's. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think the derp's just completely given up. Well, Schmack's still going hard, you know. 8 minutes 50 at Chimney. That's definitely a respectable time here. Choco's just done. He's having a good time. He's watching the stream. Oh, he's absolutely vibing. Yeah, he's just. He's chilling. And uh, St. Hex gone you know his bucket troubles are no more he's climbing up ice mountain at a good pace making it to tower let's just hope that uh nothing tragic happens here
And he's uh, going for the slow tower there. Stuck on the last one. Falls. Will it be all the way down to eyes? It won't be. He'll uh, just be taking another run at tower, but he's got the time to spare with uh, a Schmeck being the closest the one. And uh, yeah, I just caught that. The derp has fallen once again. I think that's it for them. That same oh, hexagon on space, man. It's just, it's yeah. over. You love to see these comebacks. Team Rust has absolutely pulled it back. Yeah, I mean, we at the beginning, we... Schmack and the Derp were on their stuff. But... We thought Team Bad at the game, you know, had it in bag, but it looks like they're living up to their name here. <laughs> um, and that's a 10-minute time on the dot. Very nice St. Hexagon. Um, that'll that be it. There's nothing... Uh, yeah, 10 it. minutes like flat. Oh, nice. Very nice. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, a, uh, yeah, the Derp's, Shoko and Hexagon. Derp's given up, so let's get him back in the call and get a few words from the teams here. Yeah, sure. Good to see you guys. How was that one? And I don't know if you've caught it, but that is Team Rust moving on to the next round. There were some difficulties on the other side. Uh, yeah, so we. Sorry about that. Yeah, it was a bit unfortunate, I, but. I, I I just been shaking the entire round. So have I, man. My yeah. start was so bad. I I fell from uh, the orange head towards the beginning. <laughs> Once I fell off the snake, I just knew that I wasn't gonna win. Oh man. Yeah, you uh, hate yeah, to see it. That was really tough, Schmack. But thank you guys for stopping by. We'll uh, see you in about an hour, Hexagon and Shoko. Alright, see you then. See ya. See ya. Alright, well that was a stellar match, a comeback, I'd say the comeback of the tournament to watch. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. I know, I really that was... Team bad, had it. I know, we really did. We thought they had it in the bag, but no, they just, uh, they couldn't hold it together, man. It's, uh, really sad stuff. You hate to see it, but let's go back to the tournament bracket here real quick. Our next game will be Pixic and Demolition Bear versus Blobfish and AIV. And let me check the team names real quick, uh, because I'm pretty sure we've got some funny ones. So, yeah, that's the, uh, Cock and Bull Connection playing against Don't Smile. Should be a fun one, but if, uh, what I heard earlier stands true, I don't know if Pixic has his teammate right now. Yeah, I, th I don't see Demolition Bear in the waiting room. This might be another, uh, Halvari moment. Yeah, I think this might be another no-show. It might- it may just be Blobfish and AIV, um... Just getting a free win here, but we'll uh, have to see. Let's get him in the call and see what's up. See if we can find Demolition Bear. Yeah, sure. Let me drag him in. Hi, guys. Hi, Pixic. Hello. I'll uh, just go ahead and turn everyone up here. Yeah, my teammate is, doesn't exist. I don't know. I mean, we're more than happy to wait for him if you'd like, but if you don't think he's gonna show, we can yeah, just go I, ahead I and move on. I don't on. know, I don't know. Uh, he will not come, I guess. Just uh, continue the tournament. tournament. Okay, well, I mean, that's really? that's it. Blobfish and AIV moving in by forfeit from uh, Team Don't Smile here. That will be the Cock and Bull Connection moving on to round two, playing the winner of the uh, next game, which is Crumpet and... Versus Batfish and no healing. I think this will be a very fun match to watch. Once again, two people coming back from uh, retirement, really. They haven't played this game in a long time, playing against two people who have been playing a lot recently. Hmm, being a brand new player. And uh, Crumpet, you know, eighth on the leaderboard. He's a really strong guy. For sure. Yeah, so, you know, I don't want to say anything. I think it'll be a very close match, but I'd say it's more favored towards, um, I'd say it's more favored towards Crumpet and Hmm right now. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, Hmm, he's in the 230s, but Crumpet is just so fast. Batfish and No Healing are a little bit closer to each other. Uh, I'm pretty sure No Healing's in the early 210s, while Batfish has a 122. A really strong team. Don't sleep on him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So uh, let's uh, get him in the call. Yeah, let me drag him in. Hello? 
Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Um, don't know. <laughs> don't know. That's fair enough. Know. Like I've been up all night though. Fifteen minutes of sleep. Jeez, that isn't good to hear. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's all. One second. Um, I need to get okay. my stream on. Okay, yeah. yeah. I had to start streaming kids, uh, uh, well, I wasn't expecting to be starting yet, but... Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. I know, getting a dropout <laughs> from uh, Pixic and Demolition Bear, another no-show, surprising to see. You know, this isn't you out of nowhere, they've had a week. to warm up, you're about 15 minutes early, so, uh... uh okay, I think things are starting up. Uh... Is my stream good? Is it on for everyone? Uh, let me take a look. Uh, we have, what, match 8 now? Because match 7 was another no-show, unfortunately. You hate to see it. Alright. Is the stream on? I can't tell. I guess I should yeah, look. Uh, let's see. So, Crumpet, yep, yeah, you're all live. Oh my god, you guys are so fucking One second, I wanna, I wanna make the, sure the stream is, like, not laggy and shit before we start. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, go for it. Right. Am I allowed to have music on while I'm streaming? Is that okay? I, yeah, 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 do what you want. Yeah, we're we just, we're gonna have... One. Yeah, we're just gonna chill. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm just making sure it doesn't... Okay, yeah. alright, I'm good. Uh, alright, so is everyone ready for Match 8 to take uh, away? Yeah. Uh... I think so. Is my stream on? Is it working? I can't uh, think. yes. Everyone's stream is live. Okay. Okay, then we'll, uh... Wait, wait, sorry. J just to clarify, when you guys move us, are you gonna, like, deafen us as well, or... Like... Uh, no, no, we're just gonna move you into a call so you can talk among yourselves as a team. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that works, that works, yeah. Okay, sounds good. So, uh, our last match here for round one, the Cumpets versus 1.048596. Thank you for that name, by the way. Not gonna be complicated to cast at all. Yeah, no issue. You said eight characters no. was fine. I asked the other day. No, no, it is fine. It's just gonna be a bit awkward. Um, so... You said there was no issue, eight characters. No, 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 it isn't. It's no issue at all. Don't worry about it. Okay, okay, Le lovely. So, uh, we'll count you down. So, on go. Three... Two, one, and go! Go. And uh, that'll be the last match of today going on. Or at least for round one. Yeah, for the last match of round one, yeah. Uh, I'm very excited to see how it plays out. These two are very close in times. It could be anyone's match, oh, yeah, really. I can't wait. Pixic making a one very strong four, start yeah. here. Oh, I'm a bit behind. Batfish, uh, though, playing just about as well as you'd expect from a 122, though. He's having a little bit of an issue with Chimney, though. Yeah. 27, a bit slow for, uh, you know, anyone short of 130. But Pixic is uh, struggling with construction there, too, and it uh, looks like his teammate will be picking up the slack well into a uh, slide already. Oh, well, sorry, furniture. Oh, Batfish and No Healing are, are ahead of uh, the Cumpets right now. They're playing really well right now. Sorry, I completely messed up the name. I immediately uh, saw the Pega part, and I assumed it was uh, Pixic playing. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm, almost falls entirely off Orange. Crumpet also having a little bit of an issue here. Both players are not as much on their- Ooh, Crumpet falls again! Yeah, but it doesn't Still look like we're going to be having any catastrophic drops yet. Everyone just about over orange here. And uh, it looks like team 1.048 will be uh, getting the snake a bit before the compets here. Yeah, Batfish gets the first snake of the round. And uh, no healing follows very shortly after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've uh, both gotten the snake already and the compets have yet to get one. But as I say that... We have Crumpet here, who's just gotten his first snake, and ooh, ooh, just fell from ooh, snowballs. Really bad snowballs! That is a failure. You really hate to see it. 
Absolutely. Crumpet, though, picking it back up. Just about to get ahead of no healing here. For Both sure. On one snake. Crumpet having a very strong chimney, a very strong construction, bringing it over to Sly. Some very impressive splits coming out from Crumpet here. Ooh. And really another fall gonna from, fall from oh, oh, again. Gosh. You, you hate to see it for the Crumpets, man. But they can still pull it back. I mean, we saw that last game with uh, Shoko and St. Hexagon. We thought they were done for. And uh, just a few yeah. slip-ups and it was all over. So this could be anyone's game, really. Absolutely. But Batfish and No Healing really strong right now. Batfish about to get the second snake. And he gets it. Doesn't fall under. Crumpet about to get the second as well. Not too far behind. Uh, we'll definitely maybe be seeing him catch up, as he is faster than everyone else here. Hmm, finally gets over the snowballs and gets his first snake. Oof. I mean, that's a relief. We, I don't think I could handle it if I saw him fall from snowballs again, man. Oh yeah, absolutely not. But a Batfish, you know, for someone who's not been in the game for a long time, he is playing really good, well ahead of 8th in the world here. Having a bit Absolutely. of a slip, at, uh, slide skip, but you know, he's playing really well today. Crumpet, you know, we've seen some fantastic splits from him too. Uh, and it will be the teammates, No Healing and Crumpet, they're both uh, having a bit of a hard time getting their footing here. But, uh, you know, they're both playing super good today too. Yeah, absolutely. You got, you got to really hand it to Crumpet. He's Australian. He's playing, uh, it's about 5 a.m. for him. Yeah, what that's is, true. Was he, he just the one that got like 15 minutes of sleep? Uh, I'm not quite sure. I think it was No Healing who said that, but Crumpet had uh, just woke up before the tournament, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Crumpet gets ahead of Batfish, but, ooh, they're both neck and neck. Ooh, we nearly just saw Snake fall from Crumpet there. That would have been the first of its kind uh, in the tournament yeah. today. That would have been really quite awful. And not not even the first. Schmeck had a fall of under orange too. Under snake as well. Wait, really? I didn't quite catch that from Schmeck, but it all makes sense now. Yeah. Uh, no healing. Well into furniture. Hmm, not too far behind. Just about to ride the snake for the second time. It's about 30 seconds uh, difference between those. And they're stumbling at orange a bit from no healing here. Doesn't fall all the way down though. Crumpet, Crumpet has managed to from it. Orange. Oh my god, that might just be the decider for the Crumpets. That puts Speaking him well behind Team 1.048. Jeez. Crumpet has managed to almost catch back up though. Batfish I know. And Crumpet's only a bit behind. He's really. He an fell from orange. He, he wasn't having it. He was saying, nah, man, none of that. I'm catching back up. I'm winning this. Yeah, he really did. Uh, but Batfish, oh my, wow, he's playing really well today against Crumpet. No healing on his final lap. Yeah. Batfish having a bit of trouble with uh, Bucket, but uh, Crumpet was uh, having a bit of trouble at Anvil there too. And then from the snowballs, oh. no, you hate to see it. He's gone and disabled his timer. He's worried that's uh, throwing him off. God, I mean, Batfish it's just... Is well ahead of Crumpet, what we thought would be a neck and neck round has batfish has really taken over really incredible stuff to see from him both batfish and no healing are on their final lap they, they have a really strong chance hmm, he's got to really catch up here Crumpet's just about to win batfish yeah he launched. does batfish and Crumpet sort of neck and neck here they'll be getting very similar times near the end so very impressive stuff coming from batfish to uh, be Bat tying finishes. with a six minute time and Crumpet will be just slightly ahead of him by five seconds here. Uh, so it will really just be down to their teammates, you know, um, no healing and hmm. And by the looks of it, I uh, I think it's just, I think it's guaranteed almost. That yeah, no unless, healing uh, and uh, no healing does something really, really bad, like fall under the snake. I don't even know how that would be possible at this point. Oh, that would be huge. I mean, so as speedrunners, you know, we've trained ourselves to uh, never touch the snake. So uh, it would have to be some really bad BM for uh, No Healing to mess this up. But other than that, I think he has it, but it's been a very close competition, as we uh, predicted, coming from these two teams.
Having another struggle with Bucket. We've uh, seen it happen a few times before in the previous matches, but uh, nothing too crazy yet. No healing. Easily getting past it. And, uh, hmm. Still on furniture, you know, if we see a really bad choke at tower, the uh, compass may just be able to pull it back. And maybe. Who's well, uh, got a lot going on him right now? I mean, no healing. That's... If he oh, doesn't mess that's up a full from that's a from tower already. You know, two more and uh, hmm, could be right back in the competition. But it doesn't look like he's having it. He's in space, so uh, I think that's the match. Really, he's uh, taking so, his no time. No has got a really quite disappointing space right now, though. Yeah, yeah, he was probably going for the uh, safer strat, but he just got way too much height on that, and now he's being pulled all the way to the left for some reason instead of down. So that'll be a bit of extra time, but I don't know if it will be enough for hmm to pull it back. Really? It will be, no. But you really hate to see a launch like this, and uh... Oh, that's another point! It might just be it! This might be the turning point! We know that the asteroids are well away if Hmm can do something, but it doesn't look like he has enough time with no healing just about finishing it, you know? Yeah, it looks like Batfish and no healing take, uh, take this match. Yeah, it should be a very close match, only about, what, 10, 20 seconds between the teams, but, uh, yeah, that's a very impressive launch coming from Hmm there. So, uh, yeah, the pump is just start. slightly losing. Yeah, no healing. Almost completely lost that full um, with that launch there. I don't think we've we've seen a single good space out of any competitor in this tournament. Yeah, I... Everyone has seemed to have such issues with the uh, asteroids. You know, that's, uh, that's not true. We saw Stillo absolutely blasting through space there. This is true. I mean, it is Stillo, though. And, uh, yeah, that's about 30 seconds that uh, Team 1.04 has on the compit, so they'll be moving on to round two. Um, I mean, that's really all I have to say. Let's get back, uh, get them back in the call, announce the winner, and see how they're feeling about this one. So, guys, how are you feeling about this? Okay, so, like, well... So what happened? How did so, happen? by 30 really seconds, hard. Team 1.048 beat the Compits, unfortunately. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, Compit has... Okay, so, Compit has now been banned from... Uh, seconds? By just about uh, 25. I went into this thinking we lost for sure. Yeah. I... No. Uh, if I didn't mess up boulders twice in a row on the first run. Other yeah, you would have had that, like, man. Yeah. I no, was so good. No healing had a really uh, rough launch. They had like almost a minute yeah. in space yeah, that, at the end. Dude, we were actually scared. Yeah, I really was. Oh my god. I was getting like like 630 is like average um, doing three snake runs like yesterday and today. And then eight minute kind of sucks, but I guess we still... I was getting like 820s and here we get an 853. It's so bad. It's not bad. So, uh, my, my first, um, my, my first, like, run wasn't at, like, the same pace as No Healing. Yeah, first god. That's just so crushing. Yeah, it's very unfortunate, but a very close match, and, uh, hmm, you'll I have to find a new teammate for the next one, because Crumpet Poma banned for being a dick, Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we wouldn't do that to Crumpet. <laughs> Um, but a very good game coming from you guys. Uh, yeah. Fun yeah. to be a part of it. Thanks for yeah. having me. Definitely. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Alright, so uh, let's go back to the bracket real quick here. I'm gonna go ahead round and. Round one is finished off. Yeah, that's round one done and dusted. Um, yeah, so yeah, this now. is how uh, round two will be shaping up. Our first match here will be Codium versus uh, Stillo and Rallos. This will be a really close match. I don't know this how this one will huge. go. I, I really don't know how this one will go. Two massive names in the Getting Over It community clashing right here. And this is no longer just three snakes. What's this, five snakes? Uh, let me yeah, check. I believe it snakes. is. Five snakes. We'll uh, have to remind them that it is a five snake time. Absolutely, yeah. It's easy uh, to forget. 
Yeah, but after that we got Eclipse Flames and Prixo versus Tipia and Alfie. I mean, Tipia and Alfie, they're a really strong team, but we've seen some good gameplay from Eclipse and Prixo, so that will be a match to watch too. Following that, Oreo oh, versus yeah. Shoko. I mean, we saw some blunders at Orange from uh, both of the teams, I believe, but um, other than that, great gameplay from them, so that will be a really good match. And uh, Blobfish and AIV, we haven't seen how they've been doing today. I mean, they were just uh, straight-handed the win. Oh, actually, same for Eclipse. I don't know why I said that uh, we saw some good gameplay. They were handed a win on a silver platter, too. Yeah, basically. Uh, so we'll have to see I'm how they're doing today. I'm interested to see how today. these players will fare as new to the tournament. I know. Yeah, it will be the first time we're seeing them in uh, match two and match four of the tournament. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, make a new multi-twitch. And uh, then we'll be back at it for round two, match one of the tournament here. So... Uh, so it is... Cody versus Stillo, and Relis2 is his Twitch handle, right? Oh, also, right, your overlay is still on. So overlay's still on! Let's go, boys! I'll remember That's it eventually! Cool. I'll remember it Bob eventually! Champion. Very professional stream coming at you. Uh, you know, good thing we're not actually sponsored. <laughs> Oh yeah, because <laughs> this would be maybe some next embarrassing time when stuff. We actually know what we're doing. Yeah, maybe, maybe next time. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Um, but 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 Relis Two's his Twitch handle, right? Just making sure. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, yep. Oh, it's Relis One, not Relis Two. Okay. Relis One. Cool. 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 Uh, actually, no, it's fine. I was uh, saying we could, oh, I was thinking about taking a quick intermission break while I set up uh, the streams, but we're all good to go here, really, so it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, we're, we're pretty ahead of schedule, too. I mean, if uh, Blobfish versus Pixic happened, we'd be starting uh, Batfish versus Crumpet right about now. That's true. Okay, so uh, I'm all ready. Let's get the participants in the call and uh, see how they're, uh, you know, gonna fare. Or how they think they're gonna all fare. Right. Uh, Do yeah. they know they're here? I don't think so. I'll uh, add them in the Discord. At Kodyum, at Relis, at Stillo, and Dan's here. Hello. Hello. Good to What's see you, up, Stilla. Stella? And we are back. Yes, you are back. How are you feeling about this First one, man? First match of round two. I mean, the last game was just too easy. <laughs> this won't be any harder, but yeah. So let's just get over it. And, and smoke hey, this YouTuber up. off. <laughs> Need to smoke this wannabe YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> Got the uh, classic yeah. Stillo cockiness. 300 DPI, can't finish the sentence. But... Yeah. So, uh, Codium, how are you feeling about this one? So, who was it earlier, before the tournament started, someone said they smoked their funny bone and they injured their elbow? Uh, I have no <laughs> idea who said that. Because just now, when I went to the bathroom, I did that on the door. So I'm a little handicapped, but I think we got this. <laughs> oh, Cody. <laughs> the bathroom door trying to take down Cody. Uh, I know, no. Stillo's paying the bathroom door to win him the match. No wonder uh, he's so confident going into round two. That yeah, Cody was the bathroom that, door. That's Bigger that's match that's than Cody versus Stillo. Stillo's going for the 10 that... minute five lap. 10 minutes minimum. <laughs> nice joke. I think it's just the fear of going against me. I don't think it's not even pressured. Alright, good luck, guys. Okay, is uh, that count again? Or what? Uh, what's that? Uh, yeah, yeah, so this is five snakes this time. 
that you'll be doing. Yeah, just to remind you. Okay, so countdown goes from five this time. Uh, no, no, no. no countdown is the same. You'll be doing five so snakes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just making sure. Just making sure my uh, stream overlay is actually going to work here. Uh, just change that a bit, and then we should be uh, good. There we go. Alright, so we're good. Are you guys all happy to start? Yep. Here we go. Alright then. Three, two, one. Actually, hold go. on. Yeah, go. Oh. Do we go? I, yeah, uh, just, yeah, just go. I forgot to pull it up on stream. Whoopsie. Good streamer, by the way. Professional tournament. <laughs> yeah, so a bit of a silly from me. But, uh, you know, this is what happens. It's alright. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. No one's going to judge me too hard for missing two seconds of the title screen. But, uh, you know, Stillo making a yeah, yeah. pretty good start. Dan actually making a really good start as well, matching Stillo here. This is some impressive stuff in podium ahead of the game, too. I think your overlay is messed up. It's, oh, never mind. I'm I'm brain damaged. Uh, but yeah, Dan is playing really well here. Codium, of course, is also playing, but Relis uh, kind of dragging Stillo down a bit. Still is gonna really have to uh, outpace Dan and Cody for this to really work for him. But yeah, I don't know. Cody ahead of Stillo right now. Oh, Dan. Yeah, Dan falling. So on pace with Relis. This is a pretty quick. Uh, uh, sorry, pretty competitive match. I mean, Stillo and uh, Cody just about on the same pace here. Well, Dan and uh, Relis are just about the same as well. It's neck and neck right now. Uh, yeah, Cody had a bit of struggle with that first tree and Stillo getting over it with ease. So uh, that puts Stillo ahead of Cody, say, uh, made up for the snake time. Yeah, Dan has he's managed to recover from his orange blunder quite well. He's managed to make it ahead of Relis, uh, even though Relis has had basically, as far as I know, no slip-ups as, as far as we know. Yeah, Relis has been playing a quite consistent game today you know he's not quite as fast as the other participants in this um match but you know he's just playing a nice slow game and uh he's doing well oh, still having some trouble at orange almost falls off but manages to get himself but, back together hopefully yeah got himself back together and still just barely ahead of the rest of the competition in this game yeah, Dan gets his first snake. Uh, Cody and Stillo are basically at the same level right now. I mean, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's really neck and neck. I don't think we've seen something so neck and neck this tournament at all. We said it would be a close match, yeah. and man, these guys are delivering. No mega chokes at Orange today. Absolutely. Well, from, aside from Dan, but he managed to recover from it quite well. He's managed well, to... Yeah, it wasn't too crazy. Relic. He uh, made a really quick recovery. It wasn't straight back to the beginning like we saw Shoko do earlier. So, um, you know. It's really close. You know, the Blood Bros, they're making great progress. Uh, Podium Absolutely, getting... Yeah. You know, he's really keeping on pace with Stillo. And Stillo, he's the number two in the world. He's uh, one of the best out there, and Codium keeping pace with him means that uh, he's playing a really good game today. Oh, Stillo! Oh, that was really close. He almost just threw himself off orange, but he's managed to pick himself up. A bit of stream lag coming from uh, Relis's. Uh, a bit of choppy gameplay running at 1 FPS. Guys, it's teleporting! Somebody hit him! Next slide? Hey, He's can we get the next him. slide, please? Uh, yeah, next slide, next slide. <laughs> oh. Cody... And it yeah, looks like, uh, Relis is just about to teleport to the end, and we're gonna be like, what? <laughs> He's about to get a four minute five stakes. Ah, still choking at the... Still choking at the tutorial, Cody's gone well ahead of him, a good four or five second lead, while uh, Dan Ooh. is also about four or five seconds ahead of Relis, so that's about a nine, ten second lead for the Blood Bros so far. Yeah, Cody's, uh, I mean, still has have, had some issues at, at Chimney here, having some issues with Tub Jump 
I wonder if he'll be able to catch up with Cody. He's much faster, but Cody has been really playing very consistently. In round one, we saw him. Uh, As we say that, he's four with Trick Orange. Oh my oh, god, Cody, oh, that might right. be it. That might be the match. Cody has devil. just fallen from orange, ladies and gentlemen. This is catastrophic for the Blood Bros. It's absolutely terrible. Dan having some issues at the start of Furniture. Definitely some nervousness. Do you hate Cody to see him struggling again? We might see a second one from Cody, but he recovers and still oh, It doesn't matter. He's already taken the lead. He's run with it. He's going on the snake. It doesn't matter. Stillo is playing phenomenally in comparison to all the, all the other players. He's definitely going to be the first to finish by multiple minutes, maybe. I don't know about multiple minutes because Cody, he's making work for uh, that blunder earlier. We'll just have to see how it pans out, really. Absolutely. Dan's having some trouble with Hatchet. Manages to get over it, does the anvil successfully, playing very well. Yeah, it's uh, Dan and Relis competing for uh, first to the third snake, while uh, Cody and Stillo are uh, both on their fourth lap already. Yeah, Stillo, Dan definitely got it. Stillo, you know, massive lead on Cody right now. And uh, Dan had uh, just a couple seconds on um, Relis, so that slip up at Orange, that might have cost them the game. Yeah, I... This is really neck and neck. Stillo and Cody are quite a distance away, but also Dan and Relis are, and I think it matches everything out. Stillo's about to get onto his last lap, rides the snake for the fifth and final time. Cody on his way to the hat jump, a little bit behind, but he can definitely catch up if Stillo keeps choking tutorial like this. Yeah, true, but Cody's having a little trouble grabbing onto that snowball. And he just about gets it there, but with great trouble, and Stillo, you know, he's just taking that time, he's running with it, man, he's uh, just about on to slide here, but nope, he falls at construction, something that uh, us runners really hate to see happen. And, you know, Relis, still running, 1 he's FPS buffering playing. here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> Cody's playing very well for this pressure here, he's had a few tiny slip-ups, but really uh, other than his, what, did he fall out of orange? Yeah, he fell out of orange. Really? Yeah, that's his only, uh, that's been really his only slip up here. I mean, who knows, maybe Aurelis' internet will go out completely with how his stream's acting up, and, uh, Silo and will get a do not finish because, uh, Aurelis just won't be able to show us his end time. Because the next slide never came. The oh, next slide man. never came. Hate to see it. You really gotta hate that, uh, I believe, Russian internet. Is Relis Russian? I believe so. Let me just check speedrun.com to confirm. But I'm 90% uh, I'm he's Russian. I know he comes from a uh, Eastern European country, really. Podium, uh, still actually just finishes, or just yeah, actually, he's I just about that done now. Five pixels I can see right now, and uh, Podium, Mountain. yeah, Cody's made up for his time loss there for sure. And oh, sorry, Arellus is uh, from the Czech Republic. My apologies. Uh, ooh, Codium looks like he's getting a really good space here. Yeah, that's the first really amazing stellar, space huh? we've seen, but that's still 20 seconds between Stillo and Cody. That orange made all the difference, so it will really just depend on how well um, Dan and uh, Relis are playing. Yeah, absolutely. This round is all on them, basically. For sure, man. Relis casually going um, frame by frame, but this is, uh, we've come to expect it, and uh, then, you know, making solid progress. Eight Just minutes as in. As we can see he's playing, it's it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine for now. Uh, Dan, he's been making really good progress, so three snakes in about, what, it was seven minutes, I mean, that's a pretty impressive time, no matter how you cut it. Dan's playing a yeah, strong absolutely. game of Goy today, but it looks like Dan and uh, Rundus are pretty much neck and neck, and if you keep it up like this, it will be still a- And oh my god, Dan's yeah. just about fallen! And now he recovers Huge it. Save. A massive save wow. coming in from Dan. 
absolutely incredible just on the ledge there manages to take it back yeah pretty impressive stuff from dan i know if i was in that position i probably would have launched myself well off into the distance so i absolutely got... right back at tutorial yeah i you gotta you gotta really really just commend those icy veins that dan has Oh, both players having some struggles with uh, pre-snowballs. Yeah, they're pretty much like neck and neck here. But they're right next to each other, taking it nice and slow here. And uh, they're both yeah, riding they the both snake pretty the much snake at the same, at the same, same time. time. And uh, that's it. This is the last lap for them. So if Dan can really pull ahead of Relis, it will be the win for the Blood Bros. But if not, it looks like Stillo will have uh, put enough time between Cody to uh, win the match. Yeah, just about. This is uh, definitely a 1v1 at this point. It Two pretty much is a 1v1. They both keep pulling ahead of each other, time after time again. I know, this match can go any which way. Relis falling from construction, we've seen that all too many times today. Absolutely. They're both doing the tub jump right now so close to each other. I know, they're pretty they much finish at the same in. time, that's a win for Stillo. Relis has, has to go insane here, go 20 seconds ahead of... of uh, Dan you mean Dan? Dan up. needs to go ahead of Relis. Oh, right, yeah. Relis is on I five, and on Dan five. are on five, yep. Five snakes each for uh, both of them. They're on their final lap here. Oh, Dan fell from Dan, orange. I didn't even notice it. it. I was too busy counting the snakes. Oh, that's that's going to be it for the blood probe. Relis is just taking it and running it. It's and definitely it. That's it. Unless he like falls under the snake. Th there's no way. Then he'll have to make an amazing blunder for Dan to be able to pull this one back. This yeah, is pretty, pretty much sure set in stone here. Okay. Wow, really tragic stuff coming from Dan. You absolutely hate to see the tides turn in such a manner. But we have seen good runs come to an end right here. Power, the run stopper. Will it happen to Relis? That is a question on everyone's mind, I'm sure. Relis makes easy work of the tower. Launches... Seems to have a good space so far. Yeah, a bit of a blunder though, but he is recovering it quite well. And uh, doesn't look like it will be too big of a deal, but I just don't think Dan can uh, make up for the time. Absolutely not. I'm pretty sure it's impossible. And yeah, both players have finished. So let's see and, here. That's 11.43, uh, so that's already a 30-second lead on Dan, and he's not even finished, so the Blood Bros are done! It is Stillo and Relis that are moving over. on into the semi-finals. This is, I mean, this is just shocking, really. Match. Yeah, that was super close the whole way through. It's just those blunders coming in from the Blood Bros at Orange that really put the nail in the coffin. I, uh, yeah, as well as Cody played, uh, man, Dan's fall at orange. I mean, yeah, Cody was really keeping it. up pace with Stillo. I didn't expect it from him, but uh, that one blunder at orange, that was it. And Dan's having a hard time at space it. I think he knows it's all over. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, we're just waiting for him to drop. There's nothing else to say. This match is set in stone. There's nothing that can be done. It was a good fight from the Blood Bros, but Stillo and Rallis, they're pulling their heads. So uh, let's give them the call and congratulate them on their win. <laughs> so uh, that's the Stillo and Rallis team that are moving on to the semi-finals. But a good fight coming in from Codium and Dan, the Blood Bros. You called it a good fight? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, GG is Cody. Still is trying to not be toxic. So, <laughs> Cody and Dan, how do you feel about those orange blunders, man? You nearly had it in the bag. Nothing. Nothing, absolutely <laughs> no comment, but I can respect I was, I was, it. I was fairly satisfied with my run. I didn't see uh, too much of Dan's, but uh, he did pretty 
Yeah, it was uh, really impressive stuff. I think the difference was just the both of you falling out orange. Yeah, it happens. It does happen. It can happen to anybody, of course. Um, you just hate yep. to see it, really. So that was a good match for uh, round one, definitely. We'll uh, be moving on to the second match of... Sorry, round two. We'll be moving on to the second match of round two as well. Thank you guys for stopping back. We'll uh, see you soon, Stilo and Rallus. Yep. Well played. So uh, let's take a second to uh, look at the bracket again while we've got a bit of time before our next match is scheduled. Eclipse Flames and, and Tricks, so we've never seen them play before. They're practically new to the tournament, and they're going against Tippy and Dentori, who we have seen. We have pulled their weight hard. Yeah, we know that Tippy and Zentori well. have been playing on top of their game right now, so Eclipse and Tricks, so I don't know if uh, not playing the first round is going to really benefit them not being able to get that practice in, so I just hope they've been uh, grinding at it, really. Because yeah, um, this... This will be a close one, I would assume. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and set up the Twitch link for Eclipse Flames and uh, Trixo here. Uh, just going to find their Twitch links. Uh, da -da -da. Yep, Eclipse Flames, Trixo, cool, 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 cool. And, uh, yeah, they're playing against Alfie Ren and, uh, Tipia One. Alfie Ren, Tipia One, and then we can, uh, Vanya says more money? Hold on. Uh, hold on, more money. Let check me, uh... Check streamlabs. Yeah, yeah, I'll check my streamlabs. I didn't quite catch the notification, but I might have been a bit too caught up in the, uh, last game to notice it. Oh, um... Yeah, I can't blame you. That was intense. Yeah, that was a really, uh, close match for sure. I'll, uh, refresh my streamlabs here really quickly. Uh, hold on, if you just give me a moment here. Alright. Uh, I'm fixing my stream overlay, which is probably why I wanted to take a break before, um, just to set it up, but you'll have to give a moment here. Streamlabs is not wanting to load for me right now, actually. Uh-oh. There has been too many follows, Streamlabs just isn't wanting it. Having absolutely none of it. Uh, just check to make sure this is working. Alfie Ren is uh, a bit off to the left or off to the right there, but um, there we go. This should be good, right? Not quite. There we go, that's fixed it. Okie dokie, let me just... Streamlabs has loaded here. No, no more money coming in with the, uh... to the tournament, but I do appreciate all the support from uh, Zaba, Alvaren, and, um... Gosh, who was the other guy? Andrew. It's Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, supporting the tournament, being real ones. So, uh, let me go ahead and move Absolutely. on to the, uh, streams here. Turn off the uh, chat really quickly, because you don't want to be seeing that. Alright, let's get the ult. Now there is the sound of an actual dono. Let me uh, check my streamlabs real quick. Looks like the pot's getting even bigger. 
Um, Alvaran with another five dollars to make it an even two fifty. That's uh, forty-five dollars support from this man. He's just about the biggest donator of the tournament, man. That's uh. I'm very glad you rounded it up to two fifty. Thank you. My eyes were in pain. Yeah, we appreciate the support, man. Let's get the uh, teams in the call to uh, see how they're feeling. Yeah, sure. Let me drag them in. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. How are we feeling about this match? Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Both yeah, teams. Yeah, so, well, right. Both teams lighted up there with a the horrible <laughs> Alfie and Trick, so so uh, this <laughs> At least my girlfriend won't won't be able to dump me with this one if I lose it. Yeah, you go past from True. one man. Dude, if it looks uh... like I freak out in the middle of the game, it's because my dog has jumped on me. Oh god. <laughs> so uh Your dog dog's sabotage. Paid by Alfie. Yeah, they're paid actors. <laughs> Just a Stillo it. paid Cody's bathroom door to mess him up. True, yeah, I think Cody lost that one because of the bathroom door, to be completely honest with you. Really? That's the only explanation possible. <laughs> Alright, so are you all ready to uh, get this underway? Remember guys, three snake runs, okay? Five snake <laughs> runs. <laughs> Five. 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 Don't listen to them. Um, three snakes, three, then yeah. Okay. Flex. Yeah, I'll... Yeah, we'll uh, just do three and then two more. I'll Easy. count you guys down now. Three... So Two, one, oh, then Aurora will have to count you down. Oh wait, so we don't start yet? Uh, no, just go back to the menu. Eclipse can't hear me. Eclipse can't hear me. Aurora, you'll have to count the match down this time. Can you hear me, Eclipse? I can hear you. Okay, I'll count it down. Okay. Is everyone at the menu? Okay. Alright. Three, two, one, go. Alright, and they're off. And they're off, yep. And uh, I just heard the sound of another donation to the tournament. Let me check Streamlabs really? here. Yeah. It looks like Trick, so is, is that his previous run? Or is, is uh, I, I believe right it's his previous run, yeah. Yeah. I think he's uh, just behind us a bit, or maybe he's ahead of the game. But I, I think so he's, he's like that far ahead. I I think he's just I think he's just uh running that with it. Ahead. No, I think he uh just didn't rest. Oh, there he is. He's a bit behind. He's oh. uh redoing right. it. And I say uh one dollar from Andrew making it uneven. Thank you, Andrew. Oh, ruining Andrew. the pot completely. And I get a weird champ for Andrew in the chat because let's be real. Come on, how are you gonna make but it one fifty? Also a pog champ because money. <laughs> we take those. Uh yeah, so let's see here. We've got Trixo a bit behind, but that's okay. Uh Alfie Ren struggling a bit with a slide skip there, but he uh gets underway. Just about everyone started at the same time with the exception of Trixo, so we'll be able to see how close it is. Eclipse Flames is the only one with Oh, that he's making part. such strong Someone progress through Anvil. Oh, absolutely. He's doing great, but he doesn't have the mod. I can't believe it. Yeah, but I mean, he's making solid progress through the. He's uh, matching Tipia almost. Uh, you know, absolutely, I. Absolutely, but Tipia is doing great as well. True, Tipia is making strong progress. Eclipse is already down the snake once. You know, I knew that it would be a. Strong competition coming from Eclipse's team. I just didn't know how strong, and he's showing us he's not to be messed with. He got the first round for free, but he's coming in hot on this second one. Absolutely. Alfie is really proving himself here against Trick, so right now, uh, Tipier and Eclipse are pretty much tied. But uh, there's a lot of difference between uh, Alfie and Trixo. So. Yeah, but you need to remember Trixo is at least 20 seconds behind, so it may not be as it seems. Oh, yeah, you're right. You know, you can take a look at Trixo's timer down at the bottom left, and then uh, Eclipse's timer at the top left. You know, there's a good... Oh, he's like 30 seconds behind. Yeah, 25 seconds between them, so it actually looks like Trixo's making pretty good progress. 140 for the first snake, that's not too bad. 
That's pretty good, yeah. You know, two minutes in, Eclipse is already at Anvil. He's just sleeping it. He's not having oh anything, man. Well ahead of Tippia, and Tippia is struggling. He's fallen. Oh. He's recovered. He's managed to uh, save himself the embarrassment of falling from Orange. And that's Eclipse's that second so state. He's just flying ahead of the competition. He's on fire. 244. I know. That's like a 120 snake each. That's some really good stuff. That's incredible gameplay coming from Eclipse Flames. I know, some surprising stuff. And we've He's got Alfie. He's burning through Chimney. Oh my, wow. Yeah, Tippy has just started his uh, second one. He's like t a good 20, 30 seconds behind um, Eclipse there. And uh, Alfie was struggling a bit. Well, not struggling, he was taking his time with Orange at the beginning, making sure he didn't fall. He's seen the blunders of his... Uh, Previous opponents, or opponents that could have been. He knows how many uh, falls have happened, Alfie. so he's taken his time, for sure. Just had a little bit of trouble at Anvil, but it looks like he's just going to be fine. Given the stream delay, it looks like Trixo has managed to pull ahead of Alfie, probably, as long as he doesn't pull a huge Oh, yeah, here. that's for sure. Even, like, forget the stream delay. Like, even with the stream delay, he's almost caught up, so... Yeah. You know, 317, that's nothing to be mocked at. 350 for Eclipse, he's just fine. Oh my God. He's just, he's gone, he's running with this contest, man. What's like, that's like a minute and 10 snake? That's huge. Yeah, you really cannot say that um, he got that win uh, for nothing, man. He is proven that it wasn't I for mean, nothing. You kinda can. <laughs> well, you can, no, but really uh, you can it. tell if he was playing that match, he would have won the way he's playing. Like, regardless, oh, it doesn't yeah. matter. He's, you know, playing almost some of the best getting over it we've seen in this entire tournament. He's just blazing yeah, through absolutely. it all. You know, next Ooh, to uh, Stillo. Some trouble at slide. This is some impressive stuff. Absolutely. Just, he hasn't had any major uh, blunders, but then again, I don't think anyone here has like, fallen from orange or anything. Everyone here is playing really well. Yeah, we haven't seen any major blunders yet, but we've still got a couple snakes to get for them. So, and as we say it, yeah, trick so. So it may not matter what Eclipse is doing for the contest, that might be it considering how close these teams are playing right now. Oh, that would be so sad to see. Eclipse is playing out of his mind. I know, he's on his fourth snake. He's got one more to go, and then he's out there, right? Yeah, he's got one more to go, and then he's done. He's making Jesus. insane plays. Yeah, this is almost a scene. He might, like, he might get a sub-8. He might get a sub-8. This might be the best uh, we see in round two. It won't. Solo got a 7.30. Oh, but I didn't a sub eight, quite remember. That, like, yeah, you're but right you, next to Cody. You need to remember that uh, 750. Stillo is uh, world two. Uh, yeah, world second. So playing close to him, that means you're really playing on your game. Yeah, Cody got like a 7.58 and he's a 125. I like, know. Eclipse being is... able to square up with that is incredible for someone who's not even sub-130 yet. True, Eclipse is a bit behind, and he's uh, been at Rusty too, I've heard from him. So this is some really surprising stuff to see from him. Definitely not expected going into this round. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Alfie, Ren, and uh, Tipia, they've just been playing a bit of solid goy, and Alfie's having a bit of trouble getting over Orange there, but he does do it. You know, a few minor slip-ups, but they've just been playing consistently, that's for sure. Absolutely. And he's quite a bit ahead of Trixo, so even giving the stream delay. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That fall from Orange, man, that really did something for him. Yeah, as good as Eclipse is, I mean... I don't know... Tori, yeah, they've just been playing house. solid getting over it, like, all day today. I don't quite know how this will turn out. It will probably be a very close match. Absolutely. Eclipse is definitely on pace to hit a 740, 750, which will be our second best time in uh, round two, right after Stillo. 
It would be heartbreaking to see Eclipse lose if he gets a sub 8. I mean, yeah, he's been playing solid gold, but what do you do? It's a duos tournament. If your teammate's not quite there, or if he makes an unfortunate play, you know, that's... Ooh, Eclipse having some issues with the... Oh, I'm a bit behind. No, no, he is having a, a few issues with Bucket, but, um, he gets oh. over it. <laughs> gets How's over it, guys. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> That's so funny, dude. I know. We should be comedians. We should not. <laughs> yeah, we definitely right shouldn't. Now. But yeah, it looks like Eclipse is just about to finish here with a bit of struggle from Tipia. Uh, Orange and Alfie's just down. Oh, yeah, the double oh. fall on the same. He almost time. saved himself. This is insane. Tipia's fallen again. This might be it for Eclipse! That might be the time that they needed! We didn't see this coming! This is neck and neck stuff. This really is after that fall from tricks, so man, I just don't think that the USSR can pull it back! This is really insane stuff. Gets, uh, Tip here gets an amazing orange on his final lap, about to finish the game. Yeah, and Alfie's just about a lap behind him, you know. Trix was already well ahead of him, and that's considering there's a 20 second stream delay on his stream. Yeah, I think this might be it for the USSR. I, I think the USSR are gone. There's no more. I don't think they ever stood a chance after that fall from orange. Oh, and Alfie's fallen breaking fall from snowballs. I think that's it. I think the USSR think just are just done. Over. I don't know. We'll have to look at the final the time. It's over. It's over. It's all over for the USSR. I believe. I just don't think they can pull it back. Alfie's still got another lap to do too. Tippy finally just about to finish here. Or will he? Oh, he's oh. having a bit of trouble in space there. That's some extra time, a good 10, 20 seconds, depending on how long it takes for him to get to the next boulder here. Oh, really heartbreaking stuff. But he's, uh... Yeah, Trixo is well ahead. Given the stream delay, he's probably just about at Anvil right now. That's what I'd assume, oh, too. Them. And, uh, Tippie, that's a really terrible space, you know. It, you just hate to yeah. see it. And that's a ten-minute time. That's two minutes between Eclipse Flames and, uh, Tippie there. I don't think they can pull it back, especially with Alfie still to go. Trixo would have to make a terrible blunder here. So I think it's all over. I think we have our winners, guys. Man, I... I didn't expect the USSR to go like this. I, they were an incredible team. They have a 320 flat, but Eclipse and Trick, so. I know, we didn't quite know how they'd show up in round two, but they've showed up. They've not just showed up, but they've got tuxedos and guns pointed at the USSR. It's insane. All kitted up, ready for Goy, man. It is insane. Oh, as we say this, okay, Trixo gets over the bucket. Eclipse has also uh, reminded us that his team has a 320 combined too, so it was neck and neck as for the team times. This is true. It was a very good match, but those synchronized fools from Oranges, they're just gonna do it. I don't think there's any- well, I mean, there is no coming back. With Trixo just about done, a Ooh. slight fall from Tower, but that isn't gonna be enough. I have to fall all the way back down and ride the snake. He'd have to go just about two minutes slower than Zatari, which, frankly, I don't think it's gonna happen. I just, yeah, especially with him in space now, it's an impossible, really. And he's having a really good space, if he's able to finish here. And yeah, that's a definite finish. Yeah, it. it should be anyway. Yep, that's it, just barely. Yeah. 11 minutes, 12 seconds, a wow. minute slower than Tipia, but still, it's not enough Eclipse Flames. Carrying hard for his team, putting two minutes between him and Tipia. Yeah, and that's, uh, is that match? I mean, that's, yeah, there's not- Going to Eclipse? Yeah, match two is going to Eclipse's team. There's nothing that can be done about it. Some solid goy coming out from the USSR, but it wasn't enough. Those fools were just Absolutely too much. incredible round. Eclipse is absolutely insane playing right now. I, I really know. want to see how he does on a longer time period against Stillo and Relis. 
Oh yeah, it will be definitely interesting to see how they can compete. The semi-finals are going to be a very exciting one for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, let's uh, get him back in here and talk to him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Very well played, all four of you. Incredible and, uh... Match. <laughs> oh, yeah. Construction yeah. Tower and Orange just... They didn't go. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I had a couple bad anvils, but I didn't, like, fall from Orange boulders or snakes, so I was good with that. Yeah, that was some impressive stuff, Eclipse, and that sync Pull from Alfie and Tipia, man, you fell at the exact same time at Orange. It was oh, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was synchronized like almost to the millisecond. It was pretty impressive, but that was just it. It was too much. But it was a really <laughs> good game, I, guys, for sure. I missed Construction Tower like a solid eight times, but that's okay, you know. Yeah, it yeah, was. I apologize for the family in the background. <laughs> it's fine. This is why we are team bad mic game. <laughs> I gotta say, well played, you two. Yeah, it was a good match for sure. Incredible stuff. Did you guys do three tower or three uh, snakes like we said? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they got they got DQ. Two extra ones as well. Okay. Cool. I felt like it might be worth a flex, but it just yeah. didn't go as planned. Oh. Yeah. Only reason they lost. <laughs> now I'm gonna cry in my chat. Ah. <laughs> oh. uh, Hate to see it. You Such really do. Game. Also, Trick, so you're muted if you didn't know. If you even care. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Take off the overlay, rat. Uh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Well, alright. Thank you for uh, playing. And uh, Eclipse, yeah. Trick, so good luck against Dillo in the semi finals. For really sure. Big match going here. Thanks I'm for going yeah. for Stillo. Stillo should win the... Go Stillo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're taking a look at the bracket again. And uh, our next matchup, I mean, it'll be a fun one. The first Oreo and Val Merix, they've been playing pretty well today, going against Choco and St. Hexagon. I mean, I don't even know what to say. This is just going to be a fun one. There's no two ways about it. Absolutely. It's impossible both, both to say had who had a very win. fun round one. Yeah, a few slip-ups, but we'll have to see if uh, that sort of thing happens again in the Fire Snake tournament. So I guess all there is left to do is uh, get them in and uh, see how they're feeling right now. Yeah, sure. Let me drag them in. Hello, can I drag? Oh Thank you. Not Shogo. Not slow. Alright. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello again. Welcome to round two. So, how do you guys feel going into uh, this match? Twice as nervous. I'm twice as nervous, yeah. Okay. We won in 66, <laughs> we're gonna win again. Alright. Yeah. Hopefully it's not gonna take a toll as much as it did last round. Yeah. Alright. Guys, uh, Shoko and Hexagon de-rusted a bit after that round? Uh, not at all. <laughs> not at all, okay. Oh, all right. cool. That's a bit worrying. <laughs> uh, waiting for a laser to go live. Oh, not laser, he's not even playing. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> he's been out for, like, an hour. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let me just refresh, make sure that everyone's live and it's looking good, and then we'll, uh, get this next match underway. Alright, and as a reminder, you're riding the snake five times, not three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah don't do a squilly. Yeah, no squillies. <laughs> no squilly modes. Alright, I think we're good. Okay, yep, well, we're fine. So are you guys all ready for this? Yeah. Uh, my name is misspelled again. <laughs> is it? Oh god. S-C-H. Oh god. Oh god, I'm terrible. <laughs> yeah, it is. S-C-H. I got you. 
Do you might want to move Thank the verses in the you. middle, because no one can see my, uh, like, my snake count. Um, it's fine, we'll just count it live. Yeah, uh, alright. Are we all ready? We all ready? Yeah. Okay then, guys. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Go. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. And uh, it looks right. like they're all just about off here making a start, except Oreo, whose stream is behind, but we saw this in round one. Yeah, his computer, he lags when he's in VC. I, you know, really incredible that he could play this good on, like, the potato computer. Yeah, a potato, really. That's all he is playing on. Yeah, absolutely. And a bit Every of... single player here is pretty much tied. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Very thing. close, except Oreo, who's uh, currently buffering. Gotta love yeah, that. Can we uh, get the next slide, please? Uh... Ne next slide? <laughs> Alright. One day. One day? It's fine. He'll just teleport to the end, we won't even be able to see it. Yeah, he'll get like a two minute time. Can't, can't say it's false, I mean... Oh my lord, Renji, Renji just donated might... $50 to the tournament! Are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit! That's crazy! Renji, Renji making it 301 bucks! And uh, Oreo stream's wow. gone offline. If it doesn't come up by the end of the stream, that'll be oh, Val's no. and Oreo out! Oh no. You hate to see it. And uh, it looks like we're having the same problem from Shoka. We might just have to redo this match. Yeah, we we might just have to. The streams Let's have completely Actually, broken. Also fell off of Orange. This is going terribly for everyone. I know it would be amazing for them if uh, they got to redo it because both the streams were gone. Absolutely. Just gonna check. It does say he's live. His streams just completely busted. Oh no. And it's obviously not buffering, it's just, it's gone. So, uh, here Next we have the slide. 1v1 between Val and, uh, the Saint Hexagon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got Shoko and, uh, Oreo oh. back. Oreo's back? Pog no, Oreo. Oreo's still offline, but, um, Shoko's back. Nice. I'd love to see it. You really do, and uh, he's already ridden the snake once, he's uh, just about on pace with Val, we don't know how Oreo's doing. This might just be the win for, um, Team Rust here. It might just be. I mean, if Oreo well, uh, never comes back, that's just an instant disqualification. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about it. And, uh, that's even more money! Holy shit, I uh, just saw, but I- Are you fucking kidding? I think it was- my Streamlabs has gone completely black here, but I saw a glimpse of more money, so let me just refresh and thank the uh, lovely person who's donating money towards the pot here. Looks like Val and Shoko are tied. Oh, Shoko falls from the snowballs. You hate to see it. Looks like Val is uh, kind of in the lead here. It's impossible to tell how far St. Hexagon is. I haven't really been counting the snakes, but... Uh, yeah, St. Hexagon's on his first one. After that fall from Orange, he's struggling with, uh, with Orange once again. He's just about tied with Val. Shoko's making good progress. I'd assume he's on pace with Oreo, but Oreo, once again, nowhere to be found. I'll try, uh, Paul's player's stream. He's just not going back online. Oh, I, I message him. Uh, yeah. He'll see it. Here, let me go in his chat real quick. Yeah, but it, uh, it looks like St. Hexagon making smooth work of these snowballs once again. Shoko's not having any troubles with slide on furniture, it looks like. Val's doing pretty great so far, though. Oh my god, Alvaria, uh, Alvaran again with 50 bucks and Zappa with 50 as well! That's 100 Are you bucks! Kidding me? That makes yeah, it 400 man. in the tournament, ladies and gentlemen! Now there are hyper stakes! 
This is something. This is huge. This is huge. That's 400 bucks in the tournament, man. That's insane. These players are really going to be sweating it out in the semis, man. The biggest stuff that's happened to the getting over it tournament in a while. I'm We're never... totally not commentating on these matches. No, 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 we are. It's fine. Um, ba ba ba. Let's see here. Shoko, right in the third snake, not having any trouble making swift progress. That was quite a bit behind. It's impossible to tell how Team Oreo Valley are doing because, you know, half of them are offline. But Yeah, half of their team just aren't responding here. Still offline. I've gone into Oreo's chat and I've let him know, but if he has no idea and he just finishes it, it that's a disqualification. As yeah. Much as it sucks to say. Oreo and Val, a lot of people thought they would go crazy in the, in the yeah, bracket they would, predictions. They were definitely fan favorites in the bracket predictions we've seen, but they just might be disqualified. It's a bit of a shame, but what can you do? Shoko and uh, St. Hexagon, uh, St. Hexagon a bit behind Shoko, but they'll still be making really good progress today. St. just about on his third snake there, while Shoko is uh, well into orange. Yeah, both players are really going strong here. Yeah, Val well, and St. Hexagon. Behind, but not by too much. He's on pretty much the same pace as St. Hexagon. But... Yeah, $401 pot. This is crazy. I mean, you can just really feel for Val right now. If Oreo doesn't come back, this is just it for him. Absolutely. That would be a heartbreaker. Alvaron and Zabadu uh, donated 49? Yeah, I just Is rounded it, it to 50. It's 3.99. Oh my god. <laughs> We're a dollar off, boys. <laughs> <laughs> That's another dono. Yeah. Let's see who from. The Streamlabs yeah, like refreshing. Real. There's not too much commentary to give about this game because there's just nothing we can say about the competition. We know that uh, Choco's playing a good game, St. Hexagon slightly behind, Val's playing pretty much on par with St. Hexagon, but there's nothing we can say because Oreo, half of the team for Oreo Valley is just not showing up here. He's still offline. Let me try his stream. It just, it's not there. He, I don't think he's reading his chat. He has no idea. People are in his chat talking. He has no clue. And that's another no $25 from Andrew S. Damn, Andrew S. Four twenty sixty nine. That is some insane support. Yeah, if so everyone else... Uh, four twenty four. Uh, yeah, four twenty four. Yep, four twenty four. Damn. Jesus. Wow. I mean, yeah, your support over this tournament has been nuts, guys. There's definitely going to be a Season 2. Absolutely. I mean, this has just been insane. St. Hexagon having a little bit of trouble at Tutorial here. Yeah, it's looking like the Oreo's gone completely rotten. Ready uh, to be thrown. Don't know how an Oreo gets rotten, but... Wow, I don't know, man. Nice. Give it a give it a hundred years, you might get some mold on there. Eh, maybe. I don't think it would exist, but I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll uh, we'll have to wait. <laughs> Someone set the Oreo for a hundred a uh, hundred years, please. Yeah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I move all the time. Uh, but yeah, Shoko's having a bit of trouble with orange here. Um. Say Hexagon, I believe he's on his fourth. Val, um, a good bit ahead of him. And uh, we're coming into the closing uh, parts of this. So if Oreo just doesn't come back, it's all over for Team Oreo Valley. Another straight win. Yeah, for Shoko. That's what the third, like, W given to a team because the other team didn't exist in some capacity. Yeah, that's yeah. I didn't think it. I thought it would be worse, to be honest, but, you know. Yeah, it's just, you hate to see a team go like this, especially a very competitive team like um, Oreo Valley, who were predicted to even win the whole event by a lot of people. Absolutely.
and they're gonna get taken out in round two. Really sad stuff to see. I know. Oh, you just message me back on Discord. It says he's still live for him. No, he's offline still completely. Yeah, he's still off. Shoko and that's another donation. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding? What's it at now? I'm not entirely sure. Streamlabs is a black screen here for me. But it looks like the pot's getting even spicier. Wow. With Zap oh, no, and Renji so both donating $50, they can't be here for God are they here in spirit, going crazy with the donations today. Jesus fucking Christ. $524 prize pool. They really want to see these players sweat today, that's for sure. This is next level. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh, Oreo just finished. He did? He was messaging me in Discord, yeah. <sighs> I mean, I don't know. I really don't know if we can accept that in the tournament with it not being live. There's just no guarantee that it's, you know, a cheated run. And while I know Oreo and I know that he likely wouldn't do that, there's just no guarantee if it's not streamed. We've said it before. It's not legal in the yeah. tournament. It has to be streamed. No exceptions. And yeah, I, this, I think this just gives Team Rust the automatic win. I mean, yeah, we've set it in our rules. We can uh, check to see if they'd be winning otherwise, but, uh... Mm, no, his stream's just gone completely dark. We, yeah, we can ask Shoko and, um... Yeah, say we Hexagon. Uh, we just giving them we the could do a, We could do a rematch, or we could ask them if they want to count Oreo's time. But, um, normally... Yeah. Oh, his stream's just gone back live. 9 minutes and 15 seconds. Oh. Very impressive. Beating Shoko by 15 Ooh. seconds here. It looks like it would be the win for Oreo Valley if, um... Shoko and St. Hexagon don't want to do a rematch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chad's saying we'll do a rematch. So if we want to do a rematch, we'll do a rematch. But, uh, if they want to yeah, just hand Oreo yeah, Valley the win, yeah. we'll, uh, give them the win. I but, really don't think they would want to do that. <laughs> uh, well, we can ask, because... Yeah, we are definitely going to be giving them the win. So it's either a rematch... give them the win. But... Uh, we'll ask, we'll ask, we'll ask. We'll come to a decision with the players yeah, yeah. in the tournament. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, guys, so I don't know if you heard, but their uh, Oreo stream went dark completely, so we're... Wondering if you'd like to do a rematch, or if you'd like to just accept humbly um, that you lost because Arya's time uh, puts him in the lead ahead of you guys just by a bit. They're more than happy to do a rematch if you'd like, because the stream went dark for the entirety of the run. It started and then bop for nine minutes and then we're back at the end screen. But, um, so, uh, did, did he have a, a counter for the snakes? Uh, we have no idea. His stream just went dark. <laughs> Half okay. the players don't use counters, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to uh, say that he's cheating. No, um, I don't want to either, but we've already stated it in the tournament rules, right? If you're not streaming, no, I mean, then... He, he runs... no, we all know that he wasn't cheating. Well, yeah, of course. It's not fair on them because his stream went down. It wasn't really fair. And the problem is, if we do a rematch, we'll have to uh, put it back a bit, because Aria's intent is likely just gonna do the exact yeah. same thing. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't want to decide this. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with uh, just giving them the win, because... Yeah, I don't, no, that's not fair, dude. Because if I was in your position, I'd be pissed. Yeah, but it's like they, they did break the rules, like Oreo did. Wait, no, it's not his fault. But a little bit disappointed that this dream went out again, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, I'm either or. Uh... How much did Anything we win from Oreo here? They won by about a minute. Oreo's okay, saying we should wait, wait, wait. give it to him, and Val's saying we should give it to him. So 
I, ha I have an idea. What if we did it again, but we have... So what, however much me and Oreo won by, we start with that advantage. That's just a, an idea. Wait, what? <laughs> so you guys have an extra minute 10 added to your time? Is it, wait, did we really win by that much? Oh, yeah. It's like a few seconds. No, oh, it was a minute 10. Yeah, you won by a lot. Yeah, you won by a lot. I mean, we can always re. It, de it depends on you guys completely. If you'd like to rematch, we're more than happy to have a rematch. But if you'd like to just, you know, call it a win for either side, we're more than happy with that. It's up to well, you I'm guys not as call players. It a win for me, because that's just a dick move. I'm okay with a uh, yes <laughs> with a rematch. So I'd be alright with a rematch as well. Yeah, okay. Rematch, so okay. complete rematch. If Oreo, Let's go. Go, if Oreo goes down, then we lose. Fuck it. Like. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if Oreo goes down even, again. Even if we win, even if we win, we're not going to win the tournament. Oreo's not going to do a 15 snake run without his internet. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. true. So, okay, so, good so everyone rematch, and if his internet drops, it's a loss for or your yeah. Okay, that sounds more than fair to me. Everyone in chat saying rematch. Sounds good. So we'll just rematch it. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Good. We'll uh, count you down now. So three, two. Wait, wait, don't wait, 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 wait. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Let him get off the end screen. Okay, sure, 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 sure. I. Right. Okay, is everyone on, on the menu? Yeah. Now? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Go. All right, the rematch has started. Let's yeah, the Oreo's, rematch. Let's hope Oreo's uh, capture software doesn't go out, because he did say it was because of his software instead of his internet. Yeah, we've got Shoko's stream a little bit, uh, oh, sorry, St. Hex's stream a little bit ahead of everyone else's. I think that might just be because he started on my original countdown and he's just running with it, but that's more than okay. That's fine, yeah. Or his stream's buffering Ooh, again, it isn't looking at good. He's still live though. Which is... Uh, next slide, please? Next slide, please? Please. Please, Oreo. Oh, he's back, oh, and he's uh, oh, he's screen. buffering again. He's at the end screen again. Oh, what the? F <laughs> yeah, he beat it in nine minutes fifteen. Congratulations, Oreo. Look like they're gonna be uh, moving on to the semis here. Easiest win in the world. <laughs> He's just so good at the game. I mean, you know, you really, you love to see this sort of stuff. Oreo destroying Stillo. I'm sure that there'll be uh. Really strong team in the finals here. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, this is really sad stuff. No, but it looks like Oreo starting. He's just well ahead, or oh, well behind everybody else. Um, Wait, did uh, did Joko fall off orange? It looks like he did. We were too busy making for. Oh, his stream's He's doing gone again. Oreo's stream's gone again. That looks like it's it. Choco uh, yeah. fell, he's doing it again! Oreo streams offline, that looks like a win for Team Rust here. Yeah, ah, oh, you hate to see it. Such a, such an amazing team brought down by such... By internet! Circumstances. I know, you, yeah, it's man. really disheartening to see, but... Both people Sucks. agreed upon it. I think we uh, just go ahead and let them know that it's all over. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, wow. Because, yeah, we just can't have this round for another 10 minutes. Guys, yeah, you won. Yeah, I do won. Congrats. That yep, that's it. Oreo stream went off. Oh man. I know, it's a real big Yo, shame. Someone... Yeah, Let someone... Let me go into Val's chat. Yeah. Marshallow, it stayed offline for the entirety of the run last time. It's uh, probably happening again. It's just his internet isn't able to stream. Yeah. You know, both really players sad. agreed on a rematch. You know, some great sportsmanship coming in from you guys, but it, you just hate to see it, really. Nothing can be done. Yeah, yeah so I guess uh, congratulations on the, on the win. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Yeah, win by default, it's probably not all that satisfying, but you guys are moving on to the semi-finals, it looks like. Alright. Okay. Yeah. 
so GG, I guess. Yeah, we'll uh, see you yeah, guys for I the guess. semis, man. Yeah, good luck. This I is. I think Val is still going. He's not reading his chat. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, have to pull him. I guess he'll just keep or going. Or at him. Yeah, he'll keep going. We'll uh, take him off stream. Uh, take a look at the bracket again for our next match. Real big shame about that one, but oh, there's really the nothing you can do. Yeah, I think he knows. Uh, so our next yeah. match should be quite a fun one. Fish versus Fish. Uh, we've got oh, Blobfish fish and AIVV. The Cock and Bull connection playing against 1.048. It should be a really fun match here, I reckon. Some incredible names coming out here. I mean, for sure, yeah. I mean, Blobfish and AIV were handed the win for uh, their opponents not showing up in round one, so we'll just have to see how they're playing. But if it's anything like Eclipse was doing earlier, you know, he was also handed the win, then this will be a really tight match for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait to see what happens here. Yeah, it will definitely be a really exciting one. Uh, so let's get them in the Discord and uh, just see how they're doing. Hello? Hello! Hello. Welcome to round two. Yes, you made it, guys. Congratulations. Absolute silence. Good to know. Good to know, uh, yeah. I'm just checking, making sure my stream's good again. <laughs> no, no, it's alright, it's alright, dude. Nice. Oh, right, your overlay is still on. Still on! Gotta love the overlay <laughs> sticking on. Very good Gotta love it. Very professional stuff coming out from the uh, stream here. Love to see it. You really do. Alright, yeah, I'll uh, go ahead and close the stream here. Of um, Val and Aurea. A bit of a uh, disappointing one. I don't know if you guys were watching. I was. Yeah, a bit of a sad oh. one. Yeah, Oreo and Val lost by default because Oreo couldn't stream. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. Big sad. Yeah, that's just really unlucky. Yeah. Nothing you can do about it. It really is. But uh, your streams are uh, all looking good. I'll go ahead right. and uh, bring them up in just a moment. I need to uh, just change my overlay here. A bit more professionalism for the uh, semi-finals. Don't worry, guys. And uh, no healing. There we go. And uh, that should look fine. Nope, doesn't look fine. What's happening? Uh, I'm just make changing my overlay real quick. Okay. Um, but in just a second here. There we go. AIV okay. says don't start. AIV says don't start. Okay, yeah. So yeah, if I wasn't doing my overlay, what are you talking about? We were waiting on AI for yeah. you chumps. Do you not listen? Of you guys deaf? God. God, this is an incredibly impre uh, professional stream here. I'm talking about very professional. We have the uh, PBRB coming in from AIV. On screen. <laughs> On his MS Paint grind. I mean, you gotta love the say. MS Paint. It says PBRB. And then Squiggle. Yeah, and then Squiggle. You can read that? Uh, yeah. I'm kind a god. Of. <laughs> I see that yep. <laughs> coming on screen. Ooh, ooh, Kippy, ooh, we ooh. didn't put the hundreds of dollars in, okay? We're not CTM. Stop bullying us. Okay. We need more AIV is here. Yep. 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 Alrighty. Any yeppers? Yep. Yep. Spam the slender to make a blobfish blunder. <laughs> Kibby, Kibby, we are not profiting at all. But thank you. 
All right. Uh, is everyone good to go? Yeah. Are we all ready? Uh, yes, yeah, should be. Okay, cool. I'll count you guys down. Three, two, one, and go. Go. All right, and they're off. Cock yeah. and ball connection versus 1.048. And I mean, you really got to appreciate the pop coming out from the cock and ball connection here. Absolutely. I can't even see what they have because there's like five pixels per person on Discord. <laughs> it's okay, though. I think, I, I think it's good that I can't see it somewhat. Uh, yeah, so we're having a bit of a blunder here coming out from uh, Blobfish, I believe it is at the top there. Yep, just cannot get construction wall down, and AIV struggling with slide skip there, while um, Batfish is Absolute more than happily shock. getting to orange, and uh, no healing, just struggling with pub a bit there. Batfish is really just playing his best out here, getting no blunders on orange, straight. He is miles ahead of everyone else. Yeah, really he's just crazy stuff to see. Having a good first snake, that's all there is to say about it. Really makes you wonder if he can, you know, keep this this good playing up uh, for the rest of the rounds, but Yeah, I mean it would definitely be exciting to see. Uh, no healing. What is that fish doing? Okay. <laughs> he forgot he had to ride the snake. Alright. Oh, could it be another squilly man? <laughs> could have been another like... squilly. <laughs> he could have been the but, squilly that never could. Yeah, we've got Batfish riding the snake one. Same with AIV. They are pretty close. And no, no healing. healing. Yep, yeah, no healing's Blobfish got it. Blobfish is and... the last person to ride it, which is a surprise. Blobfish is a sub 150 player. He's he should definitely be be you know doing a bit better, but you know he might pull it back. Oh yeah, you know, he's not too far behind the competition, you know, bit of a rough start, but I'm sure he can pull it back. Batfish, though, already yeah. at slide skip, and uh, AIV just falling down construction again, you hate to see that, that's a good couple seconds, now he's pretty much tied with uh, no healing here. Yeah, it's pretty much anyone's game here, I mean, Batfish, if he falls off orange once, I'm pretty sure that just ties everything up. Yeah. Batfish had a stellar orange, and he's really, like, burning through this lap. Yeah, but he's having really trouble with Pat see. here. He really can't get that jump. He's going for negative pool. Can't quite get it. He gets it now, but that's a bit of time loss. EIV's quite nearly caught up with him. And uh, Blobfish... Yeah, playing really well, doing some weird anvil shots. Yeah, I'm Blobfish right. he gets up. really can't do this orange, man, but he gets it, and he uh, looks like he's going to carry it all the way through. Uh, same goes with no healing, except his orange was uh, more than fine, and that's going to be the second snake for AIV, just barely behind Batfish here. Yeah. Both players, AIV and Batfish, aren't too far behind. I think Batfish has kind of close the lead he has a little bit more on AIV and uh yeah and it was pretty neck and, and neck uh, but looks like no healing just cannot do this anvil man he's been struggling for a while here and that's given um blobfish the opportunity to rise back so it looks like the teams are almost neck and neck with batfish being a bit ahead and uh, no healing being a bit behind this could be absolutely. anyone's game if Batfish, you know, keeps closing the gap between him and AIV, this could, uh, you know, end up going from in the favor of 1.04 to in the favor of Cock and Ball connection. I uh, mean, yeah, that's he's still pulling out some amazing stuff. He's not even halfway done with his game. We've uh, definitely been seeing Blobfish struggle at some spots, uh, a bit of orange in that chimney just there at the beginning of the split. You know, he just wasn't quite getting it, but it looks like he's uh, picking back up the mojo now. And uh, AIV, you know, he's uh, nearly on his third, just about, what, seven seconds behind Batfish? Just about. I think he's a little bit more than seven seconds behind. Batfish is almost done with Chimney. Oh yeah, oh, Batfish well, has really been making up for it, man. He's well ahead, and uh, no healing, and Blobfish are just about tied, so it looks like Team 1.048 is fine, oh, but no healing? healing's failing! Will no it be healing? a fall all the way Ooh. back? He's saved it, but will it happen again? He's really struggling oh. with this, giving Blobfish the lead. Oh. Now the teams are neck and neck. Everything Batfish is doing, like, it's been negated. 
Damn. It's been it's closer than ever. It's insane. It's really anyone's game. One blunder could really put one team in a huge advantage. That will do it. You and miss orange once. Kind of goes insane. Yeah, you miss yeah. orange once. You know, we've seen it many times today already, but if you miss it once from here on out, that's a game pretty much. They're falling from Anvil. And oh my Ooh, god, AIG. AIG! No, he's quite alright. He only lost a couple seconds there, so they're still that's really fine. neck and neck. This is insane. Absolutely. God. I just don't know what to say. I'm almost on the edge of my seat watching this match. Yeah, really intense stuff happening. I mean, you no have- No almost an entire lap behind Batfish. Both players are pretty close to each other. Yeah, I know it's- point of before, is having some really good consistency. I know, but as we say that, we have no healing falling from construction again. Oh, this is true. I don't know. He's been it's... having a really hard time with construction this round. Yeah, it looks like the cock and bull connection are uh, just about a bit ahead because he really just couldn't nail that construction. No healing, just having a hard time today, it seems. First with that really long space in uh, round one, and second with all those uh, construction fools. We'll just have to hope he can uh, pick it up. Yeah, if no healing can't pick up his, uh, you know, chokes, this this might be really bad for Batfish. Batfish, of course, is an amazing player, but you know, as of the faster player on the team, you kind of have to carry your, your teammate as like an anchor. Yeah, but which you know, might be really bad for Batfish. He's definitely playing a good game today. He's a good bit ahead of uh, AIV. Already ridden the snake. Well, AIV's just about. Well, he's struggling with Hat, just about on Anvil now. Blobfish on his fourth. Uh, pretty much, Batfish has lapped Blobfish there. And uh, no healing, just about ridden the snake too. So, um, I just think the he's teams really are back neck and neck again. Under the snake. After AIV messed up Hat, but they're just back where they were. This has just been constantly I back and forth, man. I think Cock and Ball Connection has a major lead over 1.04 right, right now, though. I don't think so, with uh... By major, I mean like 10 seconds. It's still really close, but... I mean, Cock and Ball Connection might have to do a serious blunder to bring this back into... I don't think serious blunder, man. I think it's just a slight difference. A good 4 or 5 seconds, that's about it. You know, Batfish has just been playing really well, and if he continues like this, it'll all be on no healing to decide whether or not they're winning this match. But don't get me wrong, Bloodfish and AIV, they've been playing really well too today. Absolutely. It's an incredible match. He gets to the orange. He's already, he's almost messed it up once. We haven't had a single orange blunder this entire round. I know, it's, it's really pretty impressive to, see, how, to uh, see. Oh, I mean, we've seen people fall, but not the way. Yeah, Batfish having a hard time with ice. He's yeah, still not quite. He's ahead of AIV, though. Not quite who, sticking which it. Which are on their last lap. Yeah, Batfish that's true. No healing, really struggling to uh, get on his final lap. I think it may just be Cock and Bull Connection's game, but we'll have to see how it turns out. It might come down to the timer on this one. It might just be. Batfish having a little bit of hard time in space gonna- oh, no, actually, never He mind. nails it completely! Has a great space. 8 minute 29, now that's a solid time. We've seen that's some teams- That's a great time. We've seen some teams in round one with three snakes getting 829, so this is some really impressive stuff coming from Batfish. We'll just have to see if no uh, no healing can stick the landing on this final lap. Yeah, absolutely, but I, I think it, I think the nails might have been put in the coffin for uh, 1.04. Cock and Ball Connection, both of which are on their final lap. AFV is about to finish. Wow. Yeah, uh, but he's having a bit of... Fish is just about at end. He's having a really hard no time with staggering. space! AIV lucky that the other bolt is there, otherwise he'd be in there for ages. But that is a really long space, that might be enough for no healing to pull it back. But I think this is going to the timer. Absolutely. Wait, wait, what? What just happened? Bloodfish wrote it again! He was 5 of 5! Uh -huh. He's now 6 of 5! They've just found the game! Bloodfish should just throw it! Bloodfish threw the game! Batfish and no healing 1.048 wins game because Bloodfish has gone down one too many times and he knows it. I think he realized it the second he did it. 
Um, yeah. Oh my. We've seen it the reverse squilly for the first time in the tournament. I mean, this is some amazing stuff. But you just I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. You know, this is tragic. One too many times. Ah. No matter how bad No Healing does, it's just a win for them. He'd have to really throw it. Yeah, Bluff is having a hard time at Orange, about to fall off. And I think Batfish might be watching the stream telling No Healing to take it easy because he's just, you know, doing some nice palm strats at Bucket. He gets up pretty quickly. And his tower, well, I have to see how it goes, but it should be pretty quick. Bloodfish is making up for it, but I don't think it'll be enough. We'll have to see another really bad space from No Healing. And, uh... Oh... Bit of a blunder! Nice. It may just be the difference if we have a repeat of last game, but I don't think so. It'd have to be a really bad push away from the second asteroid here. I think No Healing can make it up here. He can, yeah, this is just He's it. He's playing it super safe. It's all in that oh. extra snake, man. It's all on the extra snake, that was it! That- that was the decider, and yeah, wow. That- that was it! That, that was the match! No they take the round. They take the wow. round! I can't believe it! What an upset! We really thought Cock and Bull Torture- Torture? Cock and Bull Connection <laughs> were going the full way on this one, but uh, it just- it didn't happen! It just didn't this happen! Is a tragedy. I can't believe it! What an upset! It's incredible to see how how like the odds just turned so fast instantly like wow i know incredible stuff that happened here and it looks like he's even finish like uh barely finishing off he isn't he isn't he's falling all oh. the way back down if that wasn't bad enough he wrote the oh. snake he's having a really bad space this just oh. isn't blobfish's game man it's not it at all. You hate to see it. You really do, but I mean, that's the thing. This can happen to anybody. It's just really heart wrenching to see something like that. Absolutely. I bet Blobfish is absolutely heartbroken right now. I'm sure. And AIV is probably flaming the living hell out of him. I don't think so. I think that yeah. everyone's been really supportive of this uh, tournament so far. You know, a lot of nice players. This is true. This is true. AIB has just started watching another stream. I don't think he knows he's still alive. But yeah, so that's that. We're uh, just gonna go back to the bracket here. And uh, Batfish over here. three more matches before the winners decided. I know, that's just, you really hate to see it, man. But what do you Can't do? I know we'll have to see how Blobfish is feeling after that one. Let's get him back I, in the call. I don't think anyone predicted this uh, final four here. So, wow. that is 1.048 taking the win. I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, yeah, I saw. it was pretty wow. brutal. Blobfish, how are you feeling? Shit, yeah, okay. I can imagine. Wow. Yeah, oh, I just, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine what was racing through your head then. Really sad stuff. Wow. Yeah, very well played, everyone. Very close game the entire way through. Yeah, that was a really close one for sure. Absolutely. I just, I can't believe it, what an upset. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by. Batfish and No Healing, we'll see you in the semis. You're going to be playing against Shoko and Saint Shoko Hexagon. And Saint. Two very old names. And they're getting over at Community, playing off against each other. I'm excited to see it. So uh, I think we're going to take a quick five minute intermission here to uh, set up the stream, get some water and whatnot, and then... Uh, the semis will be underway in just a couple of minutes, guys, so uh, stick with us for now.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, who's ready for the semi-finals of the Getting Over It tournament to be ready? You know, I'm pretty hyped about this. Let's uh, take a second to uh, look at the matches real quick. Uh, our first yeah, match. This, this match is going to be the first match that decides, you know, who gets some money. Yeah, this will be. Huge pot. This will be the money decider for sure. We've got Stillo and Relis playing against Eclipse Flames and Frixo BG. They've both been playing some incredible getting over it today. I mean, I honestly, I can make heads to bills or who's winning. You know, this is just going to be a great matchup. I'm excited to see who's going to play. So, um, every single um, person here competing works great uh, in their in their team. You know, Stillo is incredible, and Relis doesn't slow him down too much. And uh, same with Eclipse and Trixo. Yeah, you know, there's one slightly faster player on both teams, that's for sure. But they're both they've both been playing some amazing goy today. I'm just I'm honestly really excited to see how this one turns out. Yeah, this is going to be an insane match. There's a lot of stakes here. And now oh, God. I'm and, sure there's uh, eight snakes. Eight snakes, yes, for the semi-finals, each participant is doing eight snakes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, talking about the stakes, they've gotten one dollar higher with Alvaran donating an extra dollar, which is crazy because that puts oh, him God. at what I believe is 80 bucks for the tournament, which is crazy stuff. That's insane. $525 prize pool. I know this is the stakes. They've definitely never been higher. So let's get them in the call. That's all we can do. Yeah, Let's get them in the cool. See how they're feeling about this match upcoming. All right. Hopefully they on death. Uh, yeah, we can give them a give them an at on Discord. Yeah. Uh, oh, still is here. Oh, still is here. Yep, we're just waiting, Rallis. Yep. So how's it going, you guys? I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> first Good response. first yeah, yeah, thing we've heard from uh, Trixo so, today. I remember this is, a, this is a five snake one still, I remember that. Remember <laughs> this is eight one. Eight snakes. Yes, yes. This is my Relis in here. Good man. Yeah, someone wake Relis <laughs> up, he sleep. Good he sleep. Still to yeah, us. he sleep. <laughs> still a hood. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Oh, okay. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and pull everyone up on stream. How many six or seven is eight? This will be a very exciting match, you guys. So is everyone ready? Yes. Oh wait, yeah. Eclipse can't hear me, right? Well, eight, eight, I can hear you now for some reason. Okay, perfect. Can I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll count you guys down now. Three, two, one, go! And you know, Did uh, hear Stillo listening to David Goggins? You know, I'm not surprised. Stillo needs some inspiration for the tour. He's the Goggins spot! Clearly. He's got the Goggins spot! <laughs> yes! Yo, that's hype. For those who don't know Goggins, uh, Stillo's a very big fan of his uh, inspirational talks. Um, but that's them <laughs> off. Stillo using Goggins to get a bit of a start on everybody with a good anvil. Uh, a bit of Anvil. splicing what? there. Oh, Ooh, sorry, yeah, <laughs> Anvil. <laughs> sorry, I meant Chimney. Um, but he's oh, making dude, a bit of a blunder. Uh, like right construction. Next to each other. Yeah, Eclipse Flames getting a bit ahead. This and is uh, a true testament to how good Eclipse Flames actually is. True. Yeah, I uh, I didn't know what to expect from him coming in this tournament, but he's going guns blazing, and uh, you know he's tricks insane. up. Not too far behind the competition there at Furniture, and Relis currently in last, but not too far last. He's uh, just about yeah. doing slide skip. I don't know, yeah. this is anyone's game. Stillo just about to get the uh, first snake there. Of wow, eight. that's like a 105 snake. That's yeah. really fast. I mean, that's probably one of the best paced snakes he's gotten in a while. I can tell you that much watching a stream the other day. <laughs> Was he playing, like, really awesome? 
I mean, yeah, he was having a rough time yesterday, but, uh, you know, I brought it back today. He was uh, supposedly pretty tired, but that's not going to stop him. He's got the Goggins in the background. Inspirational speak. Uh, speeches, no way he can bringing him through the competition. Thing. Clips had a little bit of a hiccup there at Chimney, but he manages to get over it. He's lost his uh, lead on Stillo by True. quite a lot. And talking um, about losing leads, uh, Brixo has lost his lead on Rallus there uh, by fumbling oh, Anvil okay. a bit. Rallus just about getting the first snake there, but Trixo isn't too far behind. But, but struggling to get on the Whoa, snake Trixo. there, nearly Whoa. had a fool there, Trixo, but he managed to get lucky and get that snake. So uh, Relis and uh, Trixo will be headed on head, and uh, you know, Clips just barely behind Stillo. Stillo's getting his second snake there. Yeah, everyone's really playing their best today. It seems like nerves aren't impacting everyone as hard as they were in round one. I know nerves were there, but now after a bit of um, grace period, a bit relaxing, this team's doing quite well now. Clips Flame stumbling a bit on tutorial there, but it's okay still. Oh, he's just making great pace through this whole thing. This is sort of the best Stillo we've seen in a while, I reckon of all of the tournament, and he's been playing exceptionally well today. Trixo and Rellas neck and neck at furniture there, starting orange at the same time. Trixo getting a bit of a better start than Rellas, but, uh, you know, you never know what will happen here. Both of which are still pretty much at the same level. Yeah, two players do not have snake counters. This is... yeah. Oh god. Not very good, but what can you do? Ever so slight st uh, stream buffering, which is putting their names on screen every few seconds. I apologize to the people who are mildly inconvenienced by that. I'll uh, make sure to try and not do it again. And uh, that's Trixo going down the snake a second time, and Relis just about following. Stillo on his third snake, while Eclipse is just about on a hat jump. He's really put some distance between him and Eclipse. Some impressive stuff. Um... Looking at the bracket really predictions, bad. everyone thought Stella was going out round one against Obamid, but he's really just been pulling his weight this entire tournament. I'm pretty sure everyone in the semifinals, no one predicted them to be in the semifinals. Like, uh, I've seen, I I've seen a few. Did. I predicted Eclipse would make it to the semis. Uh, but other than that, yeah, yeah so everything's been sort of not as expected, but. You know, when you have a tournament like this, I mean, I suppose a bit counterintuitively, you can expect the unexpected. Yeah, definitely. It, all, it just goes to show that getting over it is so situational, and tiny things can have huge ramifications, especially in a tournament setting. Oh, for sure. And uh, Trixo's managed to put a lot of space between him and Relis, getting all the way to hand jump, while Relis is still on orange. And, um, Absolutely. still is very nearly coming up on Limping Eclipse. It's surprising because just a couple snakes ago they were almost neck and neck, but he's misconstruction, but that won't be too big of a deal for him. And, uh, what's happening? Oh god, Trixo's going for the back end. What is he doing, Trixo? Trixo? You've got to take a few Trixo. Trixo. What are you, please, you Trixo? What are you doing? Oh, he's just figured it out. Oh, he's. Okay. Realize, right. But that's gonna be a lot of time lost for Eclipse and Trixo. Just gave him a solid like half minute. Almost, yeah. And Stingo, I mean, he's just gonna be capitalizing on that time for sure. No doubts right, in my mind coming, about Cody. it. Yep, so Rallus is on his third one, Eclipse is on his fourth. Stingo just about lapping oh, Eclipse bad. soon enough. Uh, at this That's pace, insane. I think it's favored for Stillo and Relis to win, but you never know, we've seen some upsets, some really big upsets today too, actually. Just as Relis' stream was buffering, yeah, yeah that's kind of an upset. <laughs> Relis' stream buffering every two seconds, therefore putting his name on screen. Free advertisement, it's genius. <laughs> Next slide. Oh god, that's a manifold from Trixo! Oh, no! That's oh, all the way geez. back down, and if we weren't worried enough that's... about that snake, miss, we were... Oh. Oh, that's definitely put a lot of that's time between weird. him and Stillo, and uh, Stillo's straight and stuck right on its after... frame, so let me try and refresh it real quick. That right after his, uh, his bucket 
thing. Oh, wow. Eclipse is on his fifth snake. Thank you very much, Cody, for keeping count. But, wow. Yeah, um, Stillo is on his sixth, just ready to lap Eclipse there. Trix is having a really hard time with that jump. Manages to make it. Having a hard time with Anvil Trixo. It's clear that the nerves are on him. He's falling. He's blundering. Oh, snowballs. All right, he makes it. Yeah, and Relis just Relis about missing it, but it didn't snowballs. look like it's from nerves. Relis has had a surprisingly cool head this entire game. This entire tournament, really? in fact. He's just been playing yeah. good goy, and that's all you can ask of him. Yeah, really. Stello is blazing. I, he's he's lapped Eclipse, which is really something to say for a player so good as Eclipse. Yeah, like, yeah I know. There's a wow. 10 second difference between their personal best time, but this just goes to show how good number two really is. You know, he's been saying some cocky stuff in the cool, but he's been backing it up every single time. Never underestimate Stillo. Oh, that's for Ooh, sure, but how move. how could you? But, uh, you know, don't put Eclipse out yet. He's definitely playing a lot of strong getting over but I really think after everything we've seen from Trixo that the time loss is just going to be too far for him to be able to pull it back. Yeah, Rel uh, uh, yeah he's on his fourth snake. Relis is on his fourth too, which, yeah... Yeah, I mean, with that and really the still a one snake lead, and another fucking major oh, another mess up from Trixo. from Trixo. I'm pretty sure Stillo and Relis have just won. I don't think Stillo is going to make any blunders. It's, it's I don't see it happening, but there's still Relis. He's been playing a cool headed game so far, but we just we don't know. We just don't know what will happen. He's got four more snakes, but anything can happen. It's so far looking in the lead for uh, Stillo and Relis. Yeah, Eclipse is on his seventh snake. Stillo, last lap, about to finish off. About maybe a minute, maybe two minutes ahead of Eclipse. Yeah. And I mean, in something that's only been going on for about, what, nine minutes, that's a lot of time to save. It's just a testament to his skill. You know, Eclipse, yeah. he's been, he hasn't made any major mistakes. He's been playing a really solid game of Goy, too. I think the only sort of major blunders we've seen have been from Trixo on that snake and then falling from Orange. Yeah, really heartbreaking to, to see. I, I, I bet he's nervous out of his mind. Oh, for sure, with the semifinals like this, and especially with someone on the line now, thanks to everyone uh, in chat who's been supporting and donating. Yeah, huge pressure. Did Stillo just fall from snowballs? Uh, I believe so. But you know, yeah, I think he, he just did. But he's really, got a that's lead. Not gonna do much for him. We've uh, got a freeze on Eclipse that I've got to fix. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Yeah, I think we've Still seen. Spriting amount of buffering this stream, or this match in particular compared to all the others, bit of a shame, Ooh. but what can you do? Stillo has a little bit of a uh, rough launch, but uh, he's going to it, it really isn't going to matter, he manages to get it, no problem at all, absolutely nails the rest of it, good recovery from Stillo. Incredible. What's that time? 10 minutes and 8 seconds, jeez! Wow, what a monster. That's yeah, an incredible pace that he played the entire run. He could I have know. got sub ten if he didn't blunder at the snowballs that one time. But really, you I can't mean, this is too much more. Than yeah, that. you really can't. He nearly played a perfect game of goy. This is just mind-boggling stuff. And uh, you incredible. know, How I just, well I just playing. don't the clips and tricks. So you know, Trixo's definitely been picking up the slack that he uh, made earlier. But I just don't think it's going to be enough. I really don't. Unless it's just been cool and uh, running through it, no problem. Yeah, Relis is on his sixth snake. He's pretty much neck and neck with Eclipse. I mean, not with Eclipse, with Trixa. Huge shoutouts to Cody for keeping count of uh, Eclipse and Relis, by the way. Oh, and now everyone's dark. Next slide, please. Next Huge shout-out to Virgin Media for being absolutely garbage. Welcome to Matt. Too, where everything buffered. 
<laughs> Welcome to Discord, where I'm watching the entire tournament in five pixels. Great stuff, truly. Incredible. <laughs> okay, Val. Okay, Val. Sure, dude. Yeah, Virgin Media definitely is the Virgin Media compared to all these Chad internets. True. Clips is on the tower. That's and true. He's, he's uh. A... He's on his last right. one. Wow, he fixes it. Bit of a mess up, but uh. You know, I just, I honestly don't think it mattered, even if he is making a bit of a blunder in space there. I just think the distance is too much between him and Stillo. Yeah, I I really don't think Trixo can play enough to, to close this gap. No, he'd really have to uh, lap Relis really once or twice, with uh, Stillo having a two-minute lead on Eclipse Flame. Absolutely insane. I mean, we've seen Stillo have some leads, but this is just ridiculous. Stillo is... he's playing off his mind! Absolutely. Uh, so, oh, Relis yeah. has fallen, though. This might be the start where uh -oh. Trixo pulls it back for his team. He's on seven. Might be, but Trixo has to play nearly perfect boy from here on out. That's true. I mean, anything can happen with the uh, current standings, really. Absolutely. Trixo almost falling through the uh, gap at the end of furniture there. Saves himself having a bit of Ooh. trouble. We might see another orange fall. We've seen uh -huh. a good time today. He's definitely having a bit of trouble. Let's see if he can recover. Oh, that's it. That's it. He's fallen oh. again. And I don't think no matter what happens, oh. unless Relis miscounts his snakes, that's going to be it. Oh, no. Stella and Relis have just pulled it. Yeah, I... What? They'll be on in the finals regardless. Oh, Relis is still on his sixth snake, Cody says. That is true, but with two minute time, I think he'd uh, have to be lapped again. I think so. That makes Relis on his seventh snake now, but I just don't think the time difference is going to be able to be caught up by Trixo, especially after that orange fall. Oh, Trixo's having a hard time at hat jump too. Whoa. Alright, he manages to get over it, but... Whoa! Yeah, that's another fool from Trick, so I really don't think this is going to be possible now. Every single mistake Trixo makes is huge. Yeah, uh, we Teddy see... pretty much has to play perfect goy, but... We see him doing a lot of these uh, tighter strategies that lose a little bit of time, like, quite finely. But he's making the really big blunders that are making a super impact, but he's still ahead of Relis. Relis is oh, Relis is having a really hard time with furniture here. Yeah, supposedly. Um, I don't know where I was going with that, but uh, yeah, I think the only possibility is if Relis miscounts and goes and finishes it this time around. Yeah, uh, Cody said if Relis Relis finishes, he'll go and recount. Yeah, yeah, I can, we'll definitely have to recount if he finishes it on this one. I can see it being yeah, his Trixo last one and a miscount. Tri totally frozen. Yeah, yeah Trixo's, slide, stream, Trixo's stream is ripped. Is he still live? Well, uh, pause and unpause and hope he's back. There oh, we go. He's good. He's back. Had a really good orange from what we saw there. Yeah, yeah, he, I mean, he just teleported straight from uh, chimney to orange. I mean, you just don't see that kind of gameplay anymore. Yeah, you never see this in the world record. It's crazy how these players are playing so well for this tournament. Yeah, you know, I just, I don't expect these kind of warps coming from them. But, you know, they're pulling off these consistent warps, you know, it's oh, just... Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, these teleports, man. Yeah, crazy. If, if Glitchless <laughs> finds out about this, if Blast, if Blast Bolt finds this, it's over. Uh, yeah, if only we, uh, if only I, Last Bolt I knew about the, having bad the internet. Flames and Trixo are gonna take the win. I don't think so. I, I think, uh, Trixo... I, so. I don't know, man. This is gonna be very close, actually, with Relis and his last snake. 
Yeah, Relis has two minutes to finish the, the game, maybe a bit more, but... And I don't know if we're seeing any late game blunders from Trick, so doesn't look like oh, it, hey. but the uh, space isn't too good for him, it looks like. Oh... Next slide, please. Yeah, it looks like he's finishing. Yeah, so, 16.45. Yeah, that makes a 28 minute time for Eclipse Flames and Prick, so his screen's gone dark. So as for the milliseconds, uh -oh. I don't know, but I believe it was 28 minutes. And, uh... Okay, yeah. I saw it on your stream before it went away. Cool, so that's uh, 28 minutes and, what, 56 seconds? Okay. Uh, 47. Time 47. Lol, I was saying, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, Relis has to uh, get just about a less than 18 minute time. Yeah, I mean, if he has 18 minutes, it will be very close, but um, I don't know. It will come down to this. He's got a minute 45 to uh, finish his run, really. He definitely has a lot of time. To yeah, work. he had a lot of time. It was like a minute 30. So, well, look at it. If he finishes this within a minute, a nice end. This could be the win for Stillo and Rallis. But uh, we just can't oh, wait, tell. No, it's it's uh, 28.56. The Eclipse and Tricks, though, sorry. Yeah, that's what I thought it's of. Having a, it's having a good tower so far. So yeah, good anything launch. over 1850, that's a very good launch, but he misses the last rock and he Ooh. isn't going to be able to stick the landing. I don't think he'll have to be going down, and I think that might be it. I think that, that miss might, that might may have just cost him the game. It may be Flips and Trixo moving on to the finals because of that. Oh, 17 minutes. He has a whole 50 seconds to finish, so it's actually Stillo and Willis who will be pulling it forward. 50 seconds to finish space, plenty of time! Yeah, what what time does what time did you get? 18. And yeah, that's it! Stilo and Relis yeah. will be moving on to the finals by 40 odd seconds. Oh wow, sorry, not 40, by yeah, here. a good 30 seconds difference. That was a very close round. Right Honestly, on. really had no which way of whether uh, of whether it was going, but um You know, Stilo and Relis win. What an absolutely incredible game from Stillo. And I know. It was really intense to see the battle between Trixo and uh, Relis, but True, yeah. Relis pulled it off. Relis did pull it off. He came and clutched those uh, nerves of Steel. He's just been playing good goy all day today. No real major screw ups. It's just, you know, good goy. Nice, calm, focused goy. Absolutely. So, uh,. Let's take a look at the bracket here. We've got uh, Stillo, Stillo and, and Rallis Rallis moving on to the final. To make money. Guaranteed making money. Tonight. No matter what happens, it'll be Shoko and Batfish. Uh, next up, it'll be a question of which one of those will be making money today. Yeah. I, I'm going to say this. I have a pretty strong feeling that Batfish and No Healing are going to take this. Really? Now, I don't I know. We've so. seen a lot of major, major things happen for no healing, from falling off orange multiple times to that really terrible launch, so I think it could be anyone's game. This is true, and we all know how no healing does on construction. He has some really big slip-ups sometimes. Alright, let's get a uh, word in with the teams. I mean, no one hey guys, that's uh, Stillo <laughs> and Relis' win by uh, about 30 seconds. But it How was a very... How fast did you go, Stillo? I only he... failed on boulders. He got 10 like minutes, 8 minutes. seconds. I know, but I want to see it. Like... <laughs> yeah, you'll have to... Uh... I, I, I just made one mistake in 8 a, a trans, that's it. Like, I, yeah, I, he just I, fell I... from uh, snowballs and that was it. Okay. I, I guess he just. Yeah. I only got. I actually made some. Time. I had a bad space. <laughs> I had a really bad space. That's probably where a lot of my time. Came. Yeah, the clips and Stillo played really good games. Stillo's just, he's just better. Like, wow. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean. That was it. But it was a. Uh, 
It was a well Gargan. thought game. It's because of Gargan. It it's was because of Gargan. The inspiration <laughs> that he needed to uh, get through the round. But Stillo and Rallus, we will see you in the finals. And Eclipse Whoa. Flames and Can Trixo. Can fourth place? Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it doesn't really matter who gets third or fourth because money is only going to first and second. Fire, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> matter anybody? all too much, but I'm more than happy to see an eclipse and uh, bat. Oh, not batfish. I'm assuming that they'll lose. Whoops! I just saw I'm that their name was at the bottom. Um, I'm happy to do a third and fourth place match so we can see who Eclipse will be uh, facing next time. But thank you guys for uh, stopping by. Yep. 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 All right. Yeah. Wow, that was huge. All right, next we got Shoko and Saint versus Batfish and No Healing. And I mean, yeah, honestly, this is deciding who gets money. Yeah, this is the money match for sure. Stakes out here. This will be. I mean, this will be a tight one for sure, no matter what happens. I can't wait. It looks yeah, like all of them uh, are yeah. ready, so yeah, let's uh, go get them in the call. Okay, hold on. Before we start, I need to go back, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well. Yep. So, no Welcome healing. The semifinals. Choco. Hexagon, <laughs> welcome. How are you guys feeling? Uh, a little bit better now. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Five times nervous, maybe? Yeah, this is the money match. If you lose this, you're not making anything, but if you win, you at least get guaranteed money, <laughs> so no pressure. No pressure, guys. It's that. We've come pretty far, so. That's true. Eight snakes, guys. If uh, you want to actually download the uh, snake counter hexagon real quick. Okay, great. Uh, where can I get that from? Uh, uh, the oh, resources that's... channel. That fish, you have snake counter, right? Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, we'd rather uh, see you or wait a bit and see you guys uh, have snake counter than see another squilly. Yeah. Right. I mean, squilly did have the snake counter, but he just didn't pay attention to it. <laughs> uh, just as a reminder, uh, you're no longer riding five snakes; you're riding eight. Yeah. Yep, so. yep. Just make okay. sure. No so, squilly uh, mode. It's no healing. Who's just quickly getting the snake counter, right? Uh, no, I, I already nice. have it. It's, um... Hexagon, right? Uh, resources. It's the third channel down. Ah, uh, thank you. And, uh, that'll just be a minute to those watching. Uh, he's literally just gotta replace one file in his game directory. The finals is, uh, 15 snakes. It'll be the, uh, ultimate match. True test of um, consistency, really. Still, it was scary. I know. I I really wouldn't want to be playing against him in the finals. I can tell you that much. Jeez. He's terrifying. Oh, for sure. Imagine if Blast Bolt was playing. Wow. Yeah, I mean, imagine uh, you know a Blast Bolt still a uh, Renji rhetoric. On the uh, roster would be pretty interesting to watch, I think. And but uh, distortion and luminen. Oh yeah, uh, I mean, actually, uh, for season two, we're gonna reach out to distortion because after seeing the prize pool for this, maybe he'd be interested in playing <laughs> for it. And the viewer counts, maybe he might be, you know. All right, so uh, Hexagon, how's it coming along? Um, I've got it. All right, perfect. So is everyone ready? I am. All right, let me go ahead yes. and uh, pull you guys up on stream here real quick. All right. Uh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Wait, hold yep. on, hold on. One second. Okie dokie. Uh, right, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, guys, um, we'll count you down now, all right? Semi-finals, round two, no pressure. No pressure. Three, two, 
one, go! Go! And they're off. I know, I think this will be a uh, really exciting match for sure. This is going to be amazing. A really good tutorial coming out from Batfish. Down. And a really oh. good chimney so far too. Batfish has uh, been playing really consistently today, that's for sure. Oh, speak of the devil. Okay, he, he fixes it. 22, still pretty good, but Shoko is not too far behind. It's yeah, Shoko, Batfish. Quite a bit. Neck and neck. Yeah, all those other matches have got Shoko all riled up now. But these guys, as they said, they're really nervous. So, uh, I don't know if we'll see Watch some, uh... Everyone is. Well, yeah, but these guys especially, I'm wondering if we'll see any super chokes. I'm, uh... Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fun Shoko's to see. taking his time on orange. Yeah, yeah St. Nice. Hexagon missed the uh, side skip there once, I believe, so having a bit of a hard time. But it looks like him and, uh, no healing are pretty much tied, almost. Oh, Hexagon? No. Okay. Not quite, but a bit of a fool. Yeah, he's ha he's stumbling. And that's it's already the first snake for Batfish. Wow, that's fast. Yeah, looks like uh, we're getting another Stillo on our hands, perhaps. Just about. He could sub 11 this, just like Stillo. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but I Shoko don't... gets his first snake, too. I don't know if it'll happen. I don't know if these guys are going to be able to play that consistently that well. It was definitely a really surprising Ooh, uh, match no coming from. Falls from the snowballs. Yeah, that's a bit rough. But I don't know. I felt like that was a uh, surprisingly good game for Stillo, even considering that it oh, is absolutely. Stillo. And uh, that's a it was snake incredible. for uh, Saint Hexagon too. Uh, no healing. A wonder to watch. Just got his first snake, so, uh... All players Hexagon. the snake once. Yeah, good bit ahead of, um, no healing, so... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Batfish playing really well. As I say that, he messes up hat jump. He's not too far ahead of Shoko, though. That is true. And, uh, Hexagon is quite a bit ahead of no healing. Uh, it's pretty neck and neck, just as Batfish is ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah. Batfish, second snake already, 2 minutes 40, that's a minute 20 each, that's pretty good stuff. Hexagon having a bit of a hard time at Orange. Yeah, struggling with Taking that thumb. That's always a hard one for me whenever I'm uh, stressed about something. I assume the pressure would be tenfold for him. And that's the Absolutely. second snake for Shoko, making good progress. Batfish having a bit of trouble here in the uh, chimney, but he gets through it. Very uh, respectable how all these players are still playing amazingly with all of this tension. I know, yeah, you really gotta uh, give props to the guys playing. And that's also the Absolutely. second snake for uh, St. Hexagon, with um, no healing being a bit behind. Yeah, a bit. But not too far, it's still a very close match. Could be anyone's game, especially with Batfish in quite a strong lead. Already doing Anvil now. Wow. At it really surprises me how, on how Schmack was the only person to ever f I think, oh, one other person, but two people follow Snake, that's it. I think it was only Schmack, yeah, actually. Um, I'm surprised. I expected to see a few more players fall through the snake, but I'm sure they've been warned. They've uh, worried about it a lot. Like, oh god, what if I fall through this? So I'm sure they're uh, just taking their time and making sure they uh, don't do it, because that's almost a game changer, really. Yeah, it looks like Shoko has caught up to Batfish. What happened? Uh, Batfish had a bit they're of trouble both. in Snowballs. I believe he fell, actually. Um, oh, so now wow. they're neck and neck. It looks like Team Rust yeah. is a bit... But no, we see that thing has to go right oh back God, to the beginning. That's a tutorial. That is catastrophic for Team Rust. Oh my All God. All the way no back to the start. No healing lead. No healing, Sick yeah. He's gone so far behind. He's really gonna have to pick it up. He He's really will. Almost perfectly. 
I don't think so. They've got six more snakes, so there's plenty of time to uh, make it back. But God, you hate to see it. He had such a lead over uh, no healing, but it's just all gone. It's incredible how hard everything can turn in just one incident. It, uh, wow. I know, and that's no healing and getting Shoko the third. And Batfish are still neck and neck. They've Pretty gone much, to yeah. The entire game at the same pace. I know, both been playing good, Shoko's having a bit of trouble on Hat, but he doesn't fall, doesn't quite get Anne for the first time, so Batfish is gonna be getting the snake a good few seconds ahead of him. Absolutely, Batfish is really pulling at the head, he's playing an incredible game. That's for sure. Got his fourth snake in at 538, a really Hexagon nice respectable Hexagon, playing time. on uh, Microsoft PowerPoint here. <laughs> Next slide? Next slide? Please. Saint Hexagon is two snakes behind Batfish, if I'm correct. That's true, he's yeah. uh, on his third now, but this is only to be expected after that massive blunder in orange. So uh, try and get his stream back here, there we go, just about uh, biting the snake. For the third time, but no healing! Oh, just yeah. about dropping from oh, orange my. saves himself. I was just about to say he's put good distance between himself and Hexagon. And uh, so is Batfish. Right he's really snake. capitalized over Shoko's tiny mistakes. And uh, he's got, okay. put really good distance between them. You know, solid 10 seconds ahead and uh, no healings. A good 30 seconds, maybe even 40 or 50 uh, compared to St. Hexagon. Yeah, 1.04 is doing absolutely incredible. I know. Oh, just as I say this, no healing falls through the snowball. It's really not going to be that much of a blunder because he's still so far ahead of I think, Saint Hexagon. I think we've got some kind of magic man. Every time we talk about how a team's doing well, they instantaneously fall. I like we should just stop <laughs> mentioning it. I, I feel like I'm killing them myself. It's, uh... Oof. Yeah, I feel like I'm single-handedly cucking them out of money. The commentator curse here, even though they can't hear us. They know, they feel it, the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Batfish and Shoko, I, and bounds ahead of, uh, I assume uh, that Batfish uh, made quite a big mistake that we didn't quite catch because him and Shoko are right at it neck and neck oh, once wow. again. What happened? And I uh, know healing, we he just- totally missed I know, he just can't stick construction right now. He's uh, allowing St. Hexagon to get back in the game after that massive orange fool, man. It's looking like it's gonna be a super close game, especially with no healing not being able to do the beginning of, um, Furniture here. Yeah, watching Batfish and Shoko is insane. They're both just right next to each other. It's really- Interesting to see how Shoko is trying to get this lead over Batfish. They're at the same snowball, at the same place. Shoko takes the lead, gets the fifth snake. I know. Before Bat sixth thing before Batfish. Compared to earlier matches, Shoko's definitely uh, shown up. Really, he's doing a lot better than he was in the first and second round. Absolutely, he's de-rusted quite a bit, but no healing. Still quite a bit ahead of Hexagon. That's really going to come down to, I think, how No Healing does versus Hexagon. Batfish and Shoko, they've been basically tied for, like, three snakes? Yeah, pretty much, uh, with Batfish getting the lead here and there, but it's Shoko taking the lead now for the first time, I believe. Uh, but oh, just barely, maybe only a second. Snake. But yeah, they're, they're both on right six. Next to each other. And, uh... Alright, both of these players getting to orange. Talking about and snake numbers, falls, that's no healing, just starting his fifth, while uh, St. Hexagon's nearing the end of uh, his four or fifth run here too. So I think there is a good bit of time to be saved between this. I just, I don't know. This is insane. insane how oh, Shoko has you know, a I... little bit of a blunder. Batfish takes the lead. Yeah, I saw Light saying that he uh, wanted a close match in chat. You know, these guys, they're definitely showing yeah. it, for sure. Even though Batfish took the lead, he's only seconds ahead of Shoko. He needs to the, he needs to play very well. No That's true, and no healing toilet. stuck in the toilet. This could be catastrophic! It could be 10, 20 seconds! It's terrible! This is really bad. He Hexagon's gets having a really back. hard time at Chimney. He gets unstuck. 
Yeah, he gets unstuck, but he lost so much time in the toilet, and he can't get over this chair well, either. He's stuck over the chair. Furniture, he's having a really, having a really time. hard time with this. This is insane. Shoko's he's... taking the lead over Batfish again. Yeah, and Batfish is falling at construction. Oh my god, he feels orange. He looks bad. Hexagon's back in the lead. He's made it back. Team Roth is now back in the game. They're ready. They've got a lead. This is insane. The tables have turned so hard in 20 seconds. This is what we're Batfish saying when it could be Joker anyone's game. Just right next to each other, though. I know. Once again, it's incredibly close. And we've got both Saint Hexagon and No Healing. But Orange, No Healing's obviously done a lot of work to get back there. Obviously, and he's been doing an incredible job of keeping a good pace. He's only a little bit behind St. Hexagon, even after his toilet blunder, his chair blunder, and his fall off of orange. Now, I don't know if you caught that at hat, but St. Hexagon was uh, being very smart and playing it very slow, because he just had the edge of it and uh, got over first try, which will be saving him a bit of time. So I can appreciate the smart plays coming from these guys, but it looks like no healing and uh, St. Hexagon just about going down the snake at the same time, so this would be down to the second. There's never been a- like, this is just- there's never been such a consistently close match in this tournament, I think. Ooh, Shoko falls off construction, gives a unprecedentedly big lead to Batfish, but it's still so small. It's down to everything. That's no true. Healing, again, takes the lead over Hexagon. I think it'll all come down to no healing and saying Hexagon, really? They've got two more snakes and no healing just cannot Ooh. stick construction. And he can't do it again! He's giving Saint that Hexagon a lead! Orange. Shoko's bringing back his lead, they're both basically at the same place. Yeah, this is so close. Both players nail that jump. This is absolutely insane. Incredible match. This is so close, yeah. And uh, Batfish barely missing the bucket, but he gets it on his second time round, but Shoko's already halfway up the mountain. He's fallen! Ooh, never mind! Oh, Shoko's having a really hard time. Batfish is an entire split ahead of him. Gonna start the tower. It's all gonna come down to space, though. The graveyard of runs gets a good launch and a stellar tower. Oh, Yo, but he get under the rock. Batfish. That's gonna be a bit of time loss, but he oh. will know that there's a rock Should above him that he can around. use. And uh, pushes away from it a bit. Shoko, if he gets strong, which he does, this is an amazing Shoko! space from Shoko. Humming in clutch for his they team. <laughs> yeah, one second oh, difference. Fuck. One second I difference. One point one second. This is insane. This is insane. You guys wanted a close oh match here. You have it. God. It's going to be between Saint Hexagon and No Healing. That's pretty much neck and neck. This is insane. No healing's got a bit to catch up on, but it's easily doable. You can definitely do it. There's one they snake. Think it's having some trip ups here. Now, obviously, the players don't know, but if they did know, they'd be taking their time because God, it is so unbelievably close. Saint Hexagon taking the lead. I think it might be Rust's game for now. It might be, but he's having a really hard time at the start of. Furniture, no healing is caught up to St. Hexagon, just a tiny bit behind. Having some trouble at the chair again, we've seen this before. Hexagon makes it to Orange. He knows that he can't be messing up at Orange. He knows it's all too close. St. Hexagon taking his time, just like he did at Hat. I can respect... I can really respect the plays. Absolutely. And I have a bit no of time in his turn! St. Hexagon's fallen! Oh. Not too hard, but it is enough to let No Healing get in the lead. They're still basically right next to each other. I know, there's about a second difference, which is all the rage. It's the only thing that matters one second, because it's the difference oh, between Shoko and Batfish. I think this is I think this is it for 1.04. I, I don't oh, know. No, I don't know. St. Hexagon got the negative pull. And, you know, he's a bit behind a good 10, 20 seconds, and he's falling from Anvil. He can't quite do it, but if we see a blunder at Orange, it could be all over. 
This could be anyone's game, but it's definitely looking, definitely looking like 1.408 round right now. Absolutely. St. Hexagon finally gets to the last lap. I mean, this is just... Vanya says that Hexagon is delayed, so this might be even closer than we thought. Yeah, this could... This is just... I have no idea. I have no idea. Now, will no healing mess up at Furniture? We've seen it happen a few times, and he doesn't. He nails it, but Orange is going to be the decider for sure. All eyes on no healing as he glides yeah, through it's Orange, it's but he's having a bit of trouble. We'll just hope that he doesn't mess up at the end, and he doesn't. He's cleared it, so it's Incredible. all going to be on the late game here. St. Hexagon having a bit of trouble near furniture. It's really looking like 1.048's game here. Absolutely. Executes the bucket perfectly. Very good start to ice. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this is it for 1.04. They've got it. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know. We Nobody saw have to really mess up. We Space saw the tower to launch in the first round. This could be it. Tower has yeah. been a graveyard Speak for so the many players today. It all comes down to the launch. It all comes down to the space. St. Hexagon could easily pull this back if no healing doesn't get it together, but he gets a good launch. Oh, very good launch. Oh, he doesn't push off the first asteroid as well. Actually? He's losing a bit of time here, yes, but I don't know if it'll be enough to let St. Hexagon get back in the game. He'll really have to pull it together at this end, and what's happening? No healing! Okay, he lands on the boulder, he pushes away, he gets the end, 16.46, it'll be a very close match, because supposedly Hexagon's on a delay, so when it all comes down to his tower. But I think this is 1.048's match here. I think they've just won. I yeah, think that may be it. We'll have to look at the end. A that's, a, that's a terrible did, space for St. Hexagon. We'll have to see what happens when his run finishes. What did Batfish get? Uh, Batfish got once. He's got a 1245. Oh no, 1246. Oh, no, sorry, I mean, Shoko, Shoko got a 12. Sorry. Shoko got a 1245. And that's it. Okay. 1.048 have won. Oh, my they move God. on wow. to the finals, and they'll be playing against Stillo and Relos. They were 28 seconds apart. Incredible. I mean, this, this was, was a really. A this match. was so close. Right up until the end there, it was neck and neck. This has been insane. Look at the players together to see how they're feeling and announce the winner. Hi guys. Good game, guys. Hey. Yeah, wow. so uh wow. incredible round. Uh, yeah, Batfish yeah. and No Healing pulling just ever so slightly ahead here and winning the game, but it was so close, Shoku wow. and Batfish being a second apart. It's some major chokes there, unfortunately, but Yeah, oh I oh my god, on my first run I almost instantly fucked up the orange. That would have that would have ruined us. Yeah, you would have Mm. That would have been the oh, decider, yeah. yeah, 20 seconds, it's all it took. But I saw St. Hexagon playing it smart I... at a few places, trying not to fail. I don't know how I saved that orange, to be honest. Yeah, that, that was some pretty impressive stuff. Incredibly. They were neck and neck for most of the game, and finished a second apart. Yeah, that was an incredible game, guys. We'll uh, be a minute or two while we set up this uh, finals overlay, and uh, we'll have you back in here, Batfish and No Healing. So take a break, take a breather. All You've right. earned Wait, it. How long is it? Uh, long? We'll, we'll give you a good three or four minutes. Please, and, uh, please destroy, just please to calm down. Destroy Stilo. Please destroy him. I mean, <laughs> we, can, we, we can try. Yeah, Goodbye. definitely the underdogs in this story. Alright guys, see you in a few. GG. See ya. Wow, that was Oof. incredible. That was a hype match. There's all that's all there is to say about it. That was some amazing getting over it. I just that uh decided the finals round. It's Dillo and Relis versus Batfish and No Healing. Either way, these team. these guys are gonna earn money no matter what. 
Yeah, it's just it just comes down to who's going to earn more. So like we said to Batfish and No Healing, we'll give them a bit of a break because we can't go and play two back-to-back -back games. But in that time, we'll uh, set up the overlay for the finals. It'll be a really hype one for sure. Uh, so stay tuned, guys, because this will be really crazy, I think. I'm making a straw poll to, for uh, the teams. Yeah, okay, yeah. Guys, vote in the straw poll. Roro will put it in chat. Okay, and uh, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. The Getting Over It Duos Tournament Finals. 
are uh, are upon us. Coming real soon. Uh, let's take a look at how that straw poll came out real quick. So People it looks really like Stillo and Rallis. yeah, majority vote Stillo and Rallis. So uh, yeah, our finals match will be Stillo and Rallis versus Batfish and no healing. You know, I honestly, I think it could go either way. I think a blunder could be made. I think it'll be a very close match, no matter what happens. Clearly. Uh, it's. I think it's going to really come down to how no healing plays against Drellis. I mean, uh, yeah. it's very clear that Stillo is going to be miles ahead of Batfish. I don't think we're going to see what we saw with Shoko and Batfish. I Stillo really don't think so, so either. Still is definitely yeah. going to be playing a strong game against Batfish, that's for uh, sure. But I think it will come down to the 1v1, like you said, between Rallus and no healing, but uh... Absolutely, no healing's going to have to be really well playing against uh, Rallus. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, bring their streams open real quick. Forgot to remove their tracks here. Yeah, Bear, the, the price pool has grown by just a bit. Yeah, just That's a tiny just, bit. Just a little bit. And, uh, yeah. Let me, uh, be no, 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 no. Beforehand, beforehand, let me, uh, give a big thank you to everyone who's contributed to the prize pot. So, uh, that's Codium, that's Blobfish, that's MTV, that's, uh, Alvaran, that is Renjay and Zaba, coming in with a massive support along with Alvaran and Andrew S. You guys have made this an amazing tournament and a very exciting one to watch. Absolutely. So Please we really appreciate one, uh, it. We're done here and we'll give you a supporter role. Yeah, in the Discord. Exclamation tournament will uh, give you a role in the Discord. It'll be a cool thing. Okay, let's, um, let's get him in. Alright. Hello. Hello. So you guys, is gonna the match off the finals. Yeah. of the month. Stillo and Relis versus Batfish and No Healing. How are you guys feeling about this? I mean, same as every other game, you know how I'm feeling. <laughs> 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 what a Chad. Giga Chad. Okay, guys, are we all ready? Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna go. Cock. Okay, then. Yep, cock. Let's do it. Getting over it. Finals in three, two, three, one, two, go! One, go! Alright. And, They're uh, off. Yeah, that'll be them off. The match that decides everything. This is going to be insane. Looks like we're a bit behind on Batfish's and Relis's stream. Everyone knows that they're doing 15 snakes. Nice, nice, nice. Yep, that's good. Batfish still hasn't started yet. I'm not quite sure what this is. Perhaps his stream is behind. Is his stream yeah. frozen? Yep, it's frozen. Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, he's playing great. We didn't see it, but he's playing great to start off with, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, next slide. Yeah, hopefully we won't have any next slides in the final, because I think it'll be a really close one. Oh, this is going to be insane. Both the semifinals were incredible matches. Still is wow. making some amazing progress, but so is Batfish, making a bit of a blunder oh, yeah. at orange, though. And you know, No Healing's Bad making good fish. progress too. He's also at Orange, and Relis is just catching up as well. I'm in a bit of trouble at Absolutely. furniture there, but. And still, as I say that, I look away for five seconds, he's already ridden the snake! What a guy! This is wow. That's it's one of 15. Bad. And if he's this far ahead on one, imagine what's to come. Batman just rode the snake, and still is already halfway through uh, the chimney. Having a bit of an issue with Chimney, but Stillo, he's Stillo, he'll be fine. Yeah, he's making good progress, but Bluefish isn't too far behind him, and his uh, teammate No Healing isn't doing as well as Relis. Yeah, Relis and Stillo are ahead of both of their counterparts by a bit. This 
1.04 is gonna really have to pull out all the stops they can here. Uh, but, 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 oh, has just made a massive Relis. fall, which gives no oh, healing, no. a huge advantage, which has fallen as well! Oh, they no. fall! Oh no! Velus is having a really hard time with hat jump here. But no healing is uh, getting ahead, riding the snake way before Relis. Stillo's already ridden Stillo it twice. He's so thirty ahead seconds ahead of Baffin. So that's Relis on his first snake. Batfish is coming up on his second. And Stillo, you know, he's just playing good boy as always. Nothing else to mention there. Oh, absolutely. Batfish getting a bit stuck on the snake there for a second, almost. And Rallis making swift work of the chimney with no healing. Surprisingly, making really good work of furniture. We've seen him struggle there quite a lot today, but uh, it's not happening again. Let's see how he fares at Orange doing... Whoa. I shouldn't talk about people doing Orange, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a curse. You can't, you can't, you can't curse people like that. That isn't fair. Sabotage. <laughs> Still is playing very well. And Batfish oh, no! falls off Orange! Oh, that's this good. is a huge mistake. He's trying to do furniture skip, but he doesn't And he doesn't get it. it! He's fallen again! This might be it. This might be the Some sole decider that puts Stillo and Relis in the winning position. But either way, Batfish and No Healing are going to be coming out with a good bit of money today. Ooh, No Healing almost went under the snake. Nobody really got it. Second here. snake. Relis is still on his first, so he's a good bit ahead, but not as far as the distance between Stillo and Batfish. He's nearly lapped the man. Almost. He's just about to. Getting lapped on the, what, third snake? That is insane. Ugh, you hate to see it. It's not even close between Batfish and Stillo. It's no, like this last round with Batfish and Show. I mean, it is really close, with the exception of an entire lap, and that's uh, Reynolds on a second snake. I'm not quite sure what happened. I believe he might have fallen from snowballs because he's taken his time, and no, he's got a good bit of distance between them now. Yeah, absolutely. Stillo is a snake ahead, though. This is going to be huge. I bet by the time it's over, he might have lapped Batfish thrice. Or oh maybe no! Twice, but... No healing's no. fallen from Orange! You hate to see this. He's still got time over Relis, but everything that was lost from Relis falling through the snowballs has just been gained back, really. And he can't do no, side skip! No, he can't do side a skip! Very hard time here. Gives Relis the time he needs to just about catch up. He's only a little bit behind. They're both in furniture. No healing is having a really hard time here. Both players on 1.04 have fallen from orange, and neither on Stilla's team have. This is huge. You can really tell that no healing's panicking here. He's just having a hard time. Yeah, no doubt. No he's doubt. he's almost neck and neck with Rella. Still is on five. He might even backfish twice or thrice even. Still the absolute madman. He's playing the top of his game. I don't think I've seen him play better than today. This is incredible. He's averaging like a 1.0 something bucket every single time, which is absolutely insane. I know you hardly see this man make any mistakes. It is insane. So that's uh, no heal and Remless falling the snake almost identically, getting three no e. Healing's having a super hard time with the tutorial here. Remless and no healing, this is really neck and neck. Yeah, uh, for no sure. Healing. He's gonna have to pull ahead by a lot if he wants to make up the difference between Batfish and Stiller right now. I think so. Batfish versus Stiller, everyone knows how that goes, but no healing versus Remless, this is anyone's game. Absolutely. Kira. 
Oh, no healing's having a really hard time at furniture. His distance between himself and Relis is just about zero now. He had a good amount, but now it's pretty much just all gone. I know. Relis 3? All right. Just, I don't even know what to say. I mean, as both No Healing and Relis go up to Orange, I'm just worried for them. Neither of them make any blunders. No, that's true, but Relis has been playing a very cool-headed Goy this entire day, something that I didn't know would come from him. But he's just been chilling, he's been having a good time, can't see any really big mistakes coming from him. He is absolutely vibing, but even with this, he's only a little bit ahead of no healing. Uh, really, any big mistake from Relis, or even a small mistake, could put no healing back in the lead. If That's really true, and talking about mistakes, no healing quite can't land Anvil there. And he can't do it again! Really he can't get out of Snowballs! Relis is well ahead! He's on his fourth snake now! He's a split ahead. No healing, finally getting the snake, but Relis, you know, he's a good 10 seconds ahead of him. And I feel like it would just be cruel at this point to mention Stillo and Batfish. Oh yeah, uh, no chance Batfish is getting anywhere close to Stillo. No, but Batfish is playing a really good game of Goy today, he just, you know, it really goes to show the difference between number 2 and uh, number 20. Yeah, there's really so much you can do when you're against Stillo, best player on the planet. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say. Well, he's yeah, certainly the most consistent here. player. He's certainly the most consistent player. He's just been going absolutely ham. I don't think if we had Blast Bolt in the competition. He'd be being as consistent as Stillo is. Yeah, Blast Bolt resets way more. Oh my god, no healing, and uh, Relis, they, through all this time, they're still right next to each other. Really, yeah, I it's... Think Relis might have made a, a mistake or two, because he's not as far ahead as he was before. Well, it's sort of all these minor mistakes that are adding up together. It's all yeah, it is. that's true. Ooh, no healing. Lands the snowballs quite well, gets some speed, and he takes the lead on Relis. He's gonna get his fifth snake before Relis does. Oh, oh, Take your time. yeah, Thank yep, you. yep. Yeah. I wow. would be very disappointed to see someone fall through the snake, especially at the finals. Oh, just cancel the round. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no healing, making a good bit of progress uh, in front of Relis here. Stello just rode the snake for the ninth time. Ninth time? Yeah. He's, uh, the I mentioned it earlier that it might happen, and it looks like it will. Stillo gonna be lapping Batfish twice, which is something I didn't think was even possible in this tournament. Yeah, player as good as Batfish being lapped twice. Wow. I mean, Only this is like impressive. Three or four people can do that. It's only been 10 minutes, he's been lapped twice, I just can't believe my eyes! No Healing has a pretty good lead over Relis right now. They're That's both true, split yeah. Apart. But it just isn't going to be enough to cover the time that Stillo has over Batfish. No way, yeah. I, I mean, we have the tournament set up so that a uh, good player um, must play with a uh, not-so-good player, so we don't see teams like... Um, Last boat and Stillo play, but you know, when we say that they'll have to slightly carry, Stillo's just saying, forget that, I'm going hard carry mode, and he's just lap after lap after lap. The most consistent Goy gameplay I think I've ever seen. Absolutely. Especially when the snakes are so high. I mean, we heard him before the tournament, he was confident, and he's showing. Yeah, and Relis is a, a really good player too. Like he's he's pulling his weight, like as much as Stillo is, is pulling him along. He's still turning on himself. That's true. I mean, Relis, you know, um, for a two-minute player, he's definitely been pulling his weight too. Just a cool-headed goy game. We've never seen him fall at orange, which we've seen a lot of players do in this tournament. Absolutely, no healing has just messed up on construction a whole lot. 
He has but a he's... really solid lead over Relis, but it, it might not be enough to take it uh, to the extent to which it would make up for Still and Batfish. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. It just, I don't see it happening unless we see something like Relis missing the snake or falling orange multiple times. Failing orange, sorry. Yeah, it, it, yeah Relis would be hard-pressed to throw away this lead. Stillo is about to let Batfish for the third time. That's true, and uh, Relis here back playing uh, Microsoft okay. PowerPoint, Goy. Next slide, please. Next slide. <laughs> oh, <laughs> network error. Uh oh. Here. Uh oh, that's a refresh. That's something I was that's... hoping I wouldn't have to do. Uh oh, please, please load, please load quickly. I'm like on the edge of my seat here. Like I just need to see what's happening. Me too. Welcome to a professional tournament. <laughs> His streams are playing. Uh, what happened to We thought it was. We thought it was internet. Oh. It is. He's gone offline. Oh no! This oh, is him. The... Someone needs to let him Relis. know he's gone offline. Oh no! Someone allow Relis Mongo to is stepping in anything. This can't be it. <laughs> Believe my eyes. This can't happen. I mean, obviously. There will be a good chance of a rematch, or maybe, you know, Batfish will just accept the laps, but... God, we can't just... I can't believe it! In the finals! Oh, no. The stream! This is oh. terrible. It was so intense. It was! He's back! He's back, ladies and gentlemen! Huh? Ramos has returned! He listened! But his screen is black, he's not capturing Goy! Oh... I... yeah... His PC crashed! His run's over! It doesn't exist! No, 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 we can still... We said that if uh, things like game crashes happen, we'll know that it isn't obvious splicing, so we'll uh, let him continue, but... We'll uh, just have to sort of commentate over what's happening now, but it's very hard to because Batfish and Stilo, they're just playing very good games of Goy, and, you know, it's just... It is as it is on screen. Stilo's playing the best to his abilities, and Batfish is playing really well with a few minor mistakes here and there, and oh. as I say that, the curse of the commentator has returned. Oh god, no healing. Yeah, no oh, healing no. spec. Yeah, uh, Re Re I told him he could just continue, and, uh, he's working on it. No healing stream going a bit on and off here. Might have a Relis, but no, he's back. PowerPoint mode. Uh, Pixic, we'd have to tell everyone to, to stop, which is hard to do because some of them are not paying attention to anything else at all. Yeah, I think it would be wrong to stop everyone with their current momentum. We'll just have to see how Relis can uh, pick it back up. Yeah. You know... Oh, he's back! Oh. He's back on the game, oh. he's not too far behind. He was what I believe is- He created a new game! He created a new game! That's it! No, Control error is a disqualification! It. We said it! We said it was! He hit a new game! If he had continued, oh, it would have been fine, no. but that's it! Oh no! We've said explicitly and repeatedly, if you restart, it's over! And Relis! What has he done? Is that it for Stillo and Relis? I think so. We've said explicitly rematching just it would be handing the win to Stillo. You know, it's not our fault that he just didn't listen. We've said it on multiple occasions before the tournament. Yeah, no control R. Wow. We oh, even pinged everyone so letting them know. He's on his last lap. I know he's playing amazing, but... 
But we've oh, already no, set. We've tragic. The day. rules are set in stone. This is the most upsetting, upsetting game of Goy I had seen. I cannot believe he my eyes. To... He's going he still to not play a new game, and then he did it. Oh. Now, Val, we changed the rules because his stream went offline, but we said explicitly that if you hit new game, that there will be no do-overs because it is basically like just taking a second attempt. Yeah, it's, it's control R. New game just does the same thing as control R. Yeah, new game is control R. This is the I feel so bad this for biggest Stella. upset oh, I've Relis. seen. I can't believe my oh, eyes. Oh, poor Relis is never going to be able to step foot in the Goy community again. Stillo's going to flame him hard. I don't know what to say. I mean, we could always rematch, but we'd be bending the rules so we can give Stillo and Relis the win because it was very obvious that they were in a stronger, like, standpoint. Yeah. Oh. I just, I, you know, I just think. To be fair, it's on Relis that he should have hit continue. We told them four, five times before the tournament. He just ate to see it. Nothing Still, you can do about it. Relis reset, and we've yeah, said explicitly he, his, computer... his computer crashed, and then he hit new game. And we've said explicitly, if you reset, you're disqualified. This is the most. 1740 for Stello. Oh my god. I mean, god. that's just an amazing so time. He lapped back fit four times. Possibly even five. I wasn't paying attention because it's almost all over. Oh, fuck. I mean, rules are rules. We can't bend them specifically to give Stillo the win, I feel like it would be too unfair. It's on the player to know that they cannot restart. We've told them multiple times. Yeah, and rematching would... we all know what would happen. It would just... I don't know. And it would... I don't think it would be fair. I don't think it would be. Should we... Mm. No, no, it's on the player to know that they can't do it. We've yeah. told them multiple times. Internet cutting out, that's an exception because yeah. there's nothing we can do about it. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's Batfish and No Healing. Who yeah, the most disappointing finals match ever. Batfish. You want to. Try I mean, everyone in? We're more than. A okay, if they're all okay with it, I like Shoko's idea of splitting the money evenly because it would have been their win. But it is really on the it, player to know that they shouldn't be control Ring. But his PC crashed, so I can understand the muscle memory of it. So if they're all okay with splitting the money, we'll split it evenly. Yeah, you want to bring him in and tell him what happened? Uh, yeah, right. I'll just- I'll wait till Batfish- I'll just wait till Batfish and No Healing finish off. Cause uh, they're probably really stressed out right now, I don't think they know how it's, uh, been panning out. But yeah, I don't think it's fair to do a rematch. It's on the players to know otherwise, and if we counted the uh, real time, well, that is a good idea. It completely resets the mood, the mojo. It's giving them a minute break between, which is just an unfair advantage. And while they would probably end up with the win, it just it isn't fair on Batfish and no healing. And it gives too much to Relis, because in the end, he did press new game. This is That is, him. you know, it is completely his blunder. While we hate to see it, and while I am really disheartened to say it, it it's just on him to know that this is something that shouldn't be happening. Yeah. But we'll talk to them after their game. I don't know if there's much else to be said. Batfish is uh, closing in his run naturally. Yeah. But 
Wow, so far behind Stella. I mean, not even in an insulting, just wow. He's been playing top of his game as far as I know. Yeah, this is tragic. Jeez. I just, I, I can't believe, I can't believe my eyes. This is just, no matter which way you slice it, the only thing that really seems fair to everyone is if the players agree on splitting it. Like, either way, we're either giving uh, no healing or batfish, you know, an advantage which is reasonable because it is in the rules. You cannot reset or we're, you know, just handing Stello and Relis the win for something that Relis really should have known better for. Yeah. The rules say resetting is a disqualification. It's up to them if they want to, but this is Batfish's win. Yeah, Team Batfish one point... can definitely say, give us the money, and he's perfectly entitled to do so. Yeah, rules are rules. That's what we're saying, guys. What, uh, Snake is Relis? Batfish, yeah, just, just wait. Wait till no healing's done. We'll drag you in the call. Something unimaginably tragic has happened. I mean, we're splitting the money between first and second place either way, so they'll be getting prize money, it will just be less, Choker Eagle. Batfish, just wait till it's no healing's still... done, we'll drag you in the just Discord. Wait, just, wait. just wait. Yeah, but Tactics, there's a minute break between that. It's resetting your mindset, it's... Taking, it's alleviating the pressure. We don't know that Relis could have fallen through the snake once or twice and given Batfish and no healing the win. But now that he's got yeah, an even cooler head on, you know. And everything is decided by uh, in game time, too. And so. we can't just bend the rules on the final. I feel like that would be the worst yeah. thing. Ever. We can't bend the rules on the final. Rules we are rules. We've told these yeah. guys repeatedly don't do it. We ping them with an at everyone so everyone knew. Don't do it. Yeah. Oh, I think Relis knows. I think he's found out. Please stop playing. Relis quit. I think he understands what's happened. I think the only one who's yet to catch up is no healing, but he's finishing off his run. Oh, there's no way that fish isn't, like, telling him something's happened. Uh, what's happening here? No healing. We should have, we should have just had a double disqualification if uh, no healing continued to go up that bucket there. Hey, then they could have got a rematch. Then they could have got a rematch, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're just waiting. We've got one snake and a full run coming from no healing. You know, he's playing pretty all right. The chimney, it's pretty strong. Not seeing uh, any minor mistakes coming from him this time around, actually. Yeah, Vanya, yeah, it it doesn't matter unless no healing also breaks the rules. But yeah, it doesn't ha I've it doesn't really matter. But this. I just for his sake, we're gonna let him finish. Because as the player being dragged about, where you're like, oh my god, I didn't even know what's going on, is just too disheartening for him. So we'll leave it. We'll wait, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see how this plays out. I mean, obviously. Batfish and no healing, they're the winners by default. Yeah. As sad it is as sad as it is, but if you wanna see how this is uh played out, you know, you'll just have to wait until um no healing's finished his run. I'm glad you guys had fun in the tournament, and that's this, all this was meant to be. Just good fun for everyone. For those watching, for those participating, I'm glad we all had fun. And I'm glad that uh, those who did sponsor the prize pool did. It means a lot to us as uh, tournament hosts. And it tells us that you obviously want more things like this in the future. Yeah, season two. I, I hope it goes as, as well as season one. Yeah, I mean, this has just been insane, guys. Yeah, we've, we are going to learn from the few mistakes we've done, make this a much better tournament. 
now that we know you know how much hype is around it we'll probably have a bigger bracket mm, there was a reset we've said explicitly that if you reset you're donezo and his pc crashed he hit new game so by the rules as really heart-wrenching as it is that's the match uh, this tournament rules. has never happened before. This is the first installation, so we're not quite sure. I mean, Val, if we, we have that again. the rules and we are following them, we're just not being total dicks, you know? Right, if your internet cuts out and your opponents agree to rematch, then rematch. It's, yeah, rematch. Ah, uh, Shoko, that wouldn't be very, very good, I don't think. Yeah, we just wouldn't be able to um, capture it all, and I think it'd be very jarring for the players with so many things on their screen. Yeah, I if I see like a Diogenes in the chimney and I'm on multiplayer, I uh, my chimney is scuffed. Yeah, what Cody said. Screen share just doesn't work through Discord because it's so low quality. I mean, Aurora's been watching the stream through uh, my Discord screen share and it obviously hasn't been the best. Yeah, I see like five pixels per person, but it works, so... Yeah, Cody, Rhett had that too. I was part of the crowd. <laughs> Yeah, I think having a recording backup would obviously be the best. And uh, we check yeah, the yeah, recording. Hello, fly by every two minutes. Something fly we didn't think of, but minute. fortunately, it's only happened once. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's Sam. Thank you, Stillo. Putting me on stream, I appreciate it, man. All right, let's get the teams in. Alright guys, so, Relis, Reset. Yes. By the rules, that means that that fish and no healing win. I really don't feel good about that though. Neither do I, but, if you'd like, yeah, I... you can split your uh, prize money with them, make it a 50-50. Yeah, what, what yeah, what I was thinking was something like, he, uh, like we split the what would normally be a 66, 33 to 50-50. Or like maybe Relas could just do a run alone and then add up Stillos or something like that. Yeah, but the problem know. with that is he's already gotten so much of a break that the tournament uh, settings are already alleviated from it. You know, the pressure from the run's gone, we just don't know how it would have played out. So, but if you'd like to split it 50-50, we can. I'm fine with that. Stillo, what do you think? Well, what... I... whatever you choose, dude, like, I... like, it's the rules, but whatever you choose like if, if you say like we split i'm not gonna decline getting more money but yeah. that's basically it like it's what you think it's, it's fair it's fair so is that us we're splitting the money 50 50 is that okay no healing i'm fine with it okay do you want to split so it's 125 bucks per player. I mean, that's still a considerable prize. You guys made it this far. You definitely deserve it. Well played to everyone involved. Incredible stuff. Thank you so yeah. much for participating. That's nice yeah. you guys. I mean, if, if Brellas didn't, you would get trolled anyway, but yeah. It's <laughs> no, I'm, there's no yeah, doubt in anyone's right. mind rolling was going to happen, but it's just unfortunate. So, uh... Batfish and No Healing are our winners. Woo! So. Congratulations. Yeah. Bat Batfish just doesn't play the game for two years, comes here and picks up the money. Easy. That <laughs> is a close. <laughs> that is a close to the first Getting Over It tournament. Hopefully, we will come back soon enough. I appreciate you guys stopping by today. I won't keep you too long, but let's do something fun while everyone's gathered here. Let's grab a streamer, raid him, everyone get a uh, yep cock in his chat. Yep cock. Let's get the biggest get getting over it community yep cock spam. Everyone ready your yep cocks. 
We're gonna raid Shadows the God, one viewer. Oh, wow, one viewer. Oh. Let's get our yep box ready, guys. 69, 79, 80, 83. Let's get our yep box oh, spam. For an ad to play in right talking. now. <laughs> What is this? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 that was a good game, you guys. Yep, Cock Spam, everyone. He's so confused. Interesting. What a big <laughs> Yep Cox in the chat. Wow, thank you so much for the raid. Oh Dude, I, I built up my consistency. I should do some runs, I think. Andrew, Zab, yes, I will continue. Oh Get world record. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the more I, when I do so snake runs, the, the more, I don't know if you saw, like the more I go into the runs, the better I play. Oh my god. Yeah, you didn't slow down, you just got Dude, faster. I yeah, I just get faster because I get like more consistent the more I play. I was playing this so, so that's, calmly I don't know, that's you guys good. raided me and I just... Play like 500 snakes, get a 109, runners? easy. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, do you know how to, do you know the uh, snake hunter? Can I remove it Dude, from in-game? I've been trying. Uh, yeah, you can remove it. You just oh. disable it in the menu. Uh, like put to zero? I don't uh, know. no, you could just turn it off. Oh There's an option in the menu. Now I'm uh, actually like really nervous. How? I don't see it. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Wait, what's, is there a button game, for thanks. this? I'm pretty sure there's an option to toggle it on the menu. Oh, yeah, yeah, the it's on C, yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. Rhetoric, thank you so much for the raid. Control R. Nice raid. Thank you guys so much. That was insane, guys. Oh, I'm still streaming too, cool.